What's up, friends? My name's Aaron Ciotti, everybody calls me Ciotti, and welcome to the 12 hours of FPV Christmas. Let me turn this down a little bit. Thanks for coming. Uh, first and foremost, here's what's going on. I'm gonna tell everybody to rewind to the beginning that asks about this. As you may have seen from the thumbnail, I own a giant embarrassing red onesie. <laughs> and they also say that you can't put a price on dignity. Well, screw that because I've put a price on my dignity. For $100 an hour, I will wear that stupid thing. <laughs> so here's how it's gonna work. Um, Super Chats and PayPals, we're gonna track it here. I'm gonna replace this in a minute. I forgot to do that. <laughs> um, for $100 an hour, I will suffer for an hour at a time in that, um, in that onesie. <laughs> so, for example, I'm not wearing it for the first hour, but if by the end of hour number one here, we get to $100 via PayPal and Super Chat, I'll put that stupid thing on for hour number two. If by the end of hour number two, we're at 200 bucks, I'll keep it on. Hour th if we don't get to 200 bucks, I take it off for hour two. And I don't wear it for that entire hour. If at the end of that hour, we've hit 200, I'll put it back on for the next hour. Right? Make sense? Um, and I'll do other stupid things <laughs> in between. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. The green man suit is just never happening again. Um, that onesie is a lot less awful. <laughs> Mainly because it doesn't have gloves. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm here for the next 12 hours. Um, I just posted this over... <laughs> well, <laughs> there's hour number one. Um, a notification just popped up that said, You've got $100 for your PayPal. <laughs> Again, I'm not putting it on now. <laughs> Zachary Silvestri sent $20 before the damn stream even started. And then just now, Frank Nicholas sent 100 bucks. He says, Merry Christmas, put it on. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so let's get... Uh, I'm going to actually... Well, no, I'll, I'm going to leave this one. Uh, we're going to swap this one out, though. All right, uh, so we were at... You guys remember, we were at 38 bucks. <laughs> Nobody's gonna remember that. Uh, gear fund, we're gonna go um, 100 an hour for onesie. Is that how you spell onesie? I think that's how you spell onesie. So we are already at 120. So, like, for example, right, if we get 80 more dollars, I'll have to wear it for hour number two and hour number three already. It's not like, uh, you know what I'm saying? 120... Dash, 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 dash. Um, well, okay, Jesus, okay. So, the, I guess the goal is 1,200. That's ridiculous, but um, we did 600 last time. I... I very specifically wanted this goal to be high enough that <laughs> I might not have to do it the whole time. Because <laughs> that onesie's a little hot and it gets really hot in this room. Um, but uh, yeah, my dignity for sale. 100 bucks an hour. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome already. Um, cool. 100 bucks an hour for onesie. 120, 200. That makes sense, right? Look at us go. Um, if you would like to donate via PayPal, you're going to go to ciatifpv.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's a PayPal button. If you would like to support me in a million other different ways, same deal. Go to ciatifpv.com. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can support me. Um, here's how you go to a website. You type in ciatifpv... Oh, nope, 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 nope. And then it just pushes over to my link tree. And uh, these are all the different ways you can get in touch with me. I've got t-shirts on Teespring. I've got stickers and hardware over on Etsy. I've got a bunch of gigs over on Fiverr. Let me work for you. I've got a bunch of affiliate links here. Amazon, Get FPV, FPV, Create, Banggood, um, uh, um, Camera Butter, 
and AliExpress. There's the PayPal link. That just opens up a, uh, a PayPal.me, and you type a number into it, and away you go! There's the Fiverr page. Look at that. I'll edit your FPV drone footage for you, or talk to you about how you can get it better at editing. I will provide FPV flight instruction for you via sim, or I, at some point, maybe we're going to try in real life. Uh, I will tune your rig for you. You can send it to me, or I'll work with you remotely to tune it. Um, I will spec out the best parts for your FPV drone. I just did that for CMYK FPV, um, and he was thrilled. He's now going to be building two rip squeaks, um, and he's going to build them with parts that I've found over three plus years of buying hundreds and hundreds of different things and breaking them and testing them and all that good stuff. So he's going to have two awesome rip squeaks when he's done. He's not going to have two piles of dog shit that don't quite fly right because the components aren't right. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> In the chat, Private Island Zanakis is here. Uh, Zanakis did some pretty crazy giveaways today on uh, FPV Exchange. Check this out. If you go to, I'm going to actually, I'm going to post something for sale on FPV Exchange in a little bit here. I came in and I put my inventory in there for Pyro Drone, which is now working again, Get FPV, RDQ, and Race Day Quads. And look at that, I've got a big old inventory in FPV Exchange's system now of everything that I've ever bought. And if I decide that I want to sell one of these things, all I gotta do is flip this little switch. It's hysterically easy, and I can't wait to do it with these little M3 stick ends at some point. I've tried to like stack up a million things for us to do because 12 hours is a shitload of time. Um, Mustang Pilot, Richard, BeepTube, Geo Fairbanks, Lord FPV, B-Man FPV, B-Man says reporting for Christmas duty. Um, BeepTube, Geo Fairbanks, F Private Island FPV, Jafar Zaidi is in the house. Joshua Bodwell has made it. He's come back from his vacation. Oh wait, no, that's Joshua Bardwell. We've got Joshua Bodwell. Uh, Dauntless H. Ken Hill, CMYK FPV is in the house, he says ho ho ho, Zanakis says, uh, can't miss Ciotti's stream, the thumbnail alone is worth, <laughs> worth waking from a dead sleep to tune in. Um, oh hey, by the way, I had to, I started, I'm a, I'm a smart boy, um, I started this stream at 420, because if I started it at 4 o'clock, and ran it to 4 a.m., that would probably be 12 hours and one minute, and then YouTube would delete the whole stream like they did with the 24 hour stream. So I realized what was going on, and uh, yeah, I delayed the stream by 20 minutes. So, those of you lunatics that are here now, that are gonna be here at the end at 4 at 3.59 a.m., do me a favor, at like 4.01, just light the fucking chat up with, yo, stop streaming right now. <laughs> we have to make sure that this stream stops before 4.19 a.m. Um, if it goes beyond that, we will lose this whole thing to the magical outer space land of YouTube where the amazing 24-hour stream is and is unfortunately unable to be ever seen again. <laughs> so, I'm gonna count on you guys for that, although I'm sure at 3.59 a.m. I'm gonna be good and ready to stop streaming. <laughs> um, what else is going on in the chat here? We've got Jafar Zaidi, Raccoon FPV, Tiago Ramos is in the house, getting ready for some moderator duties. Dauntless H, John Dyson, Go-Kart Mozart, RC and FPV, Arctic Ice Quad, CMYK again. Uh, Geo Fairbanks again, Dauntless again, Kind FPV, BeepTube, Private Island, Zanakis again, C. Joe, Jafar Zaidi, Ken Hill, Geo Fairbanks, Chuck Toast, Richard, Don Lads, Dauntless, Geo Fairbanks, Brock Lee in the house. What's up, Brock Lee? Uh, Joshua Bodwell again, there's Frank Nicholas, Richard Zanakis, C. Joe, Super Deluxe is in the house. What's up, brother? Uh, Super Deluxe, we're gonna be working on your, uh, your Acrobat, you're on the, you're on the list of a million things that I want to get done in the next 12 hours. Uh, Richard Dauntless, CMYK, KVFPV, Joshua Bodwell again, uh, Don Lads, Tiago, Super, oh, 
farts. Super Deluxe with an $80 Super Chat. So... Uh, hours two and three are going to be spent wearing a fucking onesie. <laughs> Shit stinks. I thought I made the goal aggressive enough that I would only have to wear it for a little bit. Maybe it'll... Maybe, maybe things will slow down and my dignity will come out of this intact. Um, up to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Super Deluxe. Holy shit. <laughs> Tiago says, Siata, you never learn. <laughs> um, C. Joe, B-Man again. Mr. Huggy is here. Maniac FPV. Uh, random FPV in the house. Jafar again. Uh, we've got Super Deluxe. His mom says hello. Hello, Super Mom Deluxe. Super, super... Mom, mom Lux, Super Mom Lux. I don't know. Uh, obese quads in the house. The fattest of quads have arrived. Uh, John Coopy is here. David Kernika is here. There's Broccoli again. Uh, David Kernika can't stay, but he wanted to say Merry Christmas to you and the collective. Merry Christmas to you as well, David. Hopefully you're still here. Um, I am behind on the chat already. Go figure. Uh, Random FPV says Merry Christmas, my droner from, <laughs> from another boner. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Random. Uh, Daryl Hickman, uh, Mr. Huggy Chuck Toast, uh, Jared Schnell, Pedro Tomei, uh, Diggerek FPV, we've got a little bit of Dustin Gable, Pesky FPV, 84 FPV, or 84 FPV, Yarbs FPV, LCD FPV, look at all these people coming, holy crap, uh, Mozart, Go-Kart Mozart again, Josh Feltz with a 499 super chat, he says Merry Christmas, thank you Josh. We are going to add you in here. 205. Much appreciated and Merry Christmas to you and yours as well, my friend. Uh, Rumi Tim says, no, I'm late. Merry Christmas all. Uh, yeah, only a couple minutes late. Chuck Toast, C. Joe, Squints FPV in the house. All right. That's it. You, you guys had 15 minutes to get in and post a comment for your shout out. <laughs> um, all right. Rumi Tim... Got that one. Let me make sure I didn't miss any other tags. Um, if you want to talk directly to me, all these fine folks whose tags I'm reading out, all you got to do is type CID FPV. No space in between. If you type CID FPV, what's going to happen is... That's not the right button. Uh, your comment is going to light up like that, in orange. You can type the at. You don't have to type the at. As long as you type CID FPV like that with no spaces in between, uh, YouTube will pick it up there. Random did it. Um, YouTube will pick it up, they will light it up in orange, and for the most part, I try to read and, and do a pretty damn good job of, of reading every single comment that's lit up in orange. Um, I'll do my best. I'm going to be over here doing a lot of work, so there's a chance I'll miss it. That's fine, just repeat yourself. Any Super Chats or PayPals will not be missed. That is for damn sure. Fiverr email just came through. Tiago Ramos wants me to tune his drone for smoothness and stick response. Thank you, Tiago. That's going to be fun. Um, we will talk via the messenger on there to figure out how we're going to do it. Zoom call, um, whatever. Emails, phone calls, whatever's going to work best. That's what we're going to do. Um, C. Joe owns two NASCAR fire suits. <laughs> There's Frank saying hello. Dauntless says we want red and green suits. I have red and green shirts. Um, I don't have a green suit, though. Uh, oh, I do have the green man suit, but yeah, I think I can go fuck it. I think I burned it after the uh, after I had to wear it for that stream. It just chokes me. Like it, It's got that stupid hood. And I, I can't wear the hood because I can't see through the hood, which is... I don't know how anybody would wear it. You're just... just Put a blindfold on. Um, Jafar Zaidi said, Merry Christmas. Don Ladd said, Hey, bro, Merry Christmas. Uh, Geo Fairbanks says, I sure hope Ciotti's going to wear those red pajamas for the stream. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. I think I'm caught up. We got that. We got that. We got that. If I missed your chat, just leave it again. It's all good. I'm hitting the bottom of the stream, uh, the chat rather, and that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to really try to not scroll back up in the chat. So basically, this is how big of a chat window I've got. If you think that your chat has rolled off the top of this, 
feel free to leave it again. That's totally cool. Um, Yarb says Super Deluxe is right. Uh, it's as arousing as, <laughs> as it is thought-provoking. Broccoli says high five. Super Deluxe says, have you seen the new Super Deluxe video? That guy is crazy. I have not, but let's check it out. Super Deluxe is an OG supporter of your boy Ciotti FPV, and he's a fantastic pilot and an even better human being. So we are going to head over to his channel, and we are going to hit Going Out rest West from A. <laughs> I can't play the audio because I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, actually, this doesn't help. This doesn't help Super Lux out. This does. Here you guys go. Go watch his video so that you can get the actual audio. I'm just gonna give it a shout out here and watch a minute or two of it here myself. Look at these rocks. Get the hell out of here. God damn it, you bastards that are out west. Ugh. I'm so 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 looking forward to flying stuff like this. What a cool rock formation, man. Really cool little surf up on the up on the top edge too. That's slick. Man, I'm going to lose a lot of quads flying shit like this. <laughs> I feel like I need to get uh, I need to work on like rock climbing before I fly stuff like this cuz it's pretty much guaranteed I'm going to have to retrieve <laughs> in some impossible spot. Damn, dude, ridiculous. There it is again. Everybody click that link or I'll punch you in the throat. Your choice. Uh, that's super dope, dude. I can't wait to rip you the, with you when I get my ass out to the West Coast. Um, C. Joe says, is there going to be clothes or do we have to watch you strip? Nope. I'm just going to I just put, put it on right over this. I have to wear, um, I have to wear shorts for, for when I stream because it gets really fucking hot in here. And I have some like... I don't know. I have some issue with my armpits. They sweat, like, a lot for no reason. Um, so, yeah. I'm half naked under the desk. <laughs> most most streams. <laughs> um, there's Squints calling it out. Type at Ciotti FPV or just Ciotti FPV. And... Tiago Ramos with 42 Reals. He, he says, I think Fiverr should also count for the PJs. Um... I hate wearing those PJs, so I disagree. <laughs> uh, let's look up what 42 Real is. 42 Real in USD. I think it's spelled R-E-A-L, right? Yeah, it is. Um, awesome. We are going here, and I'm going to have to do some math. 13, right? Yeah. Thank you, Tiago. You are the man. Good try on the on the on the Fiverr thing. That was a, good, that was a valiant effort. <laughs> Superlux says us Italians got to stick together. Broccoli says I don't blame Ciotti for not wanting to play the sound. And Go Kart Mozart says West Coast is the best coast. I've grown up on the East Coast, but I've visited the West Coast a couple times, and I might just agree with you. Squints FPV says, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Remy Tim says, check PayPal. I am checking PayPal. I am seeing that Remy Tim, Daniel Maurer, sent $25 with the message, deck the fucking halls. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. You are going on here. Oh, farts. What are the numbers? What do I do with the numbers? So that becomes a three, and that becomes an eight. Got it. 238. Look at us go. It's like a runaway train that's carrying my dignity. <laughs> Mr. Tuck said, sorry, I can't really watch your streams and stuff currently, but just wanted to wish you a merry and chat a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Tux. Good to see you. Hope you have an awesome Christmas as well, man. Super Deluxe said, uh, it's because we have Italian genetics. We spe sweat mozzarella from our pits. Dude, Super, do you do you sweat mo lots of mozzarella from your pits too? Is that is that like a thing? It's like a fucking, it's like a couple faucets. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm going to have to do a wardrobe change at some point, just because my shirt's going to get so sweaty that, uh, that you guys aren't going to want to look at it. Uh, look what's going on over, over here. Look at this red hot mess. Um, we're going to, I think, I think we're going to play with some whoops first. So, uh, on the agenda for the next 12 hours, 
we are going to take these two tiny whoops that uh, I've been having trouble with. Too many vibrations getting into the gyro. Uh, and we're going to move these into cockroach frames to see if that gets any better. Um, I tried putting one of these onto Emu Flight on yesterday's Whoop Wednesday stream. Um, it didn't seem to, to really help. Uh, so, yeah, I really prefer to, for, for my first crack at two, so if I build a rig and it's not quite right, um, I, I will make a couple light changes in the tuning, um, to see if I can just kind of bring it around. Um, if it doesn't, like, immediately kind of come around, I will mechanically, I, I approach it, like, mechanically rather than software and, and try to figure out what mechanically is going on um, that's putting so many vibrations into the gyro, or whatever the problem is. Typically, it's it's too many vibes into the gyro. Um, so that's what I'm gonna. That's that's what I kind of have been doing, and, and I'm gonna continue to do with these. We took a crack at you know using software to try to put a big ass band aid over the problem, um, and surprise, surprise, right in our eyes, it didn't do anything. Um, I knew that was gonna be the case. Uh, I've been, I, I've built. Probably 50, maybe closer to 100 rigs at this point. Um, and 100% of the time, when there's a mechanical problem, putting a Band-Aid on it with the software, it makes it flyable, but it never flies well. Um, and I really don't have any interest in rigs that just fly. I, I, I want rigs that fly well, and, and I kind of need rigs that fly well because I'm trying to do more cinematic stuff nowadays. So, um, yeah, we're going to continue the, uh, the whoop adventure with these two guys. Um, this is the Full Speed RC Tiny Pusher. Um, I... We're going to talk about this one. We're, we're going to talk and, and try to figure out what the deal is with this fella because he the the flight controller is hard is is pretty much hard mounted it, it's got rubber o-rings on the top and the bottom but that doesn't really do anything um and it's it's not acting right it's there there are too many vibes the motors are getting really hot um as is the battery uh, yeah we're gonna talk more about this at some point i, I don't I kind of don't know what direction to go with it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're also going to build a moon goat, but without a receiver. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the entire moon goat build sans Crossfire Nano. I, I, I found somebody selling a bunch of Crossfire Nanos, uh, and they are on the way. But as with many things they're stuck in the in the mail system uh but i'm sick of waiting to build the damn thing so we're just gonna build the whole thing i'll run the wires for the for the nano and just leave the wires bare in the back and then when the nanos show up i can just zap them in there and away we go uh in the chat we've got lord fpv with 250 rsds thank you lord fpv Lord FPV coming off some uh, some wins in the in the giveaways. Uh, we've got 250 RSD in US cheeseburger dollars. Serbian dinar. Ooh, dinar. That's a fun word. Serbian dinar. We're gonna go. Where'd the gear fund go? There it is. We are going to go 230. Oh, thank you, Lord FPV. 240. Nice round number. Oh, oh, I should not have said that. I should not have said that. I should not have said that. Someone donating an odd number in 3, 2, 1. Ciotti has to do math again. Um, here it's, it's coming. I'm sure it's coming. Broccoli says, hey, honey, can you increase my FPV allowance? I want to give Ciotti FPV some onesie money. <laughs> Super Deluxe says, oh, we got that. Um, Broccoli says, talk more about FPV exchange. Okay. Uh, let's sell these little guys. One of you guys can go buy them. You're going to have to buy them off of FPV exchange, though. Ha, 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 ha. So here's what I bought 
uh, from GetFPV, and I didn't look. They are uh, M3 on the inside, and the M9 gimbals for the Tyrannus QX7 are M4. So, perfect example. I bought these silly little things. I can't use them. I don't ha let's say I don't have any local friends that want them. What am I going to do? I'll show... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to get to the, the three asinine super chats with <laughs> just, just an absurd amount of money in them. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I have already imported all my stuff. So, I, you know, I, I, I've got a humongous inventory of stuff because I've been buying all different wacky shit for four years. Um, lots and lots of super random micro stuff in here. Um, so, what I initially did is came all the way to the bottom and I told it to show 250 rows, right? The, the default is like 25, which is, you know, good for, for normies. Um, so I brought, I brought it up to 250 rows per page and then I just did a quick command F and I just typed the word stick in because, you know, this is a stick end. So I just used the word stick in a quick control F find and look, sticky EMF blocker. It found that, that I've bought at some point. Uh, hey, look at that M3 stick ends. These are not the right ones, but it did find them. As it turns out, um, when you get set up as as an affiliate with GetFPV, um, your your account becomes like a vendor-ish affiliate account, and then you can't use discount codes on that account. So as it turns out, and, and I have a I have like a, a specific discount code for just me. In order to use that discount code, I have to to check out as a guest. And as it turns out, that, that must be what I did uh, with these because I can't specifically find these in my list of, of orders. Um, you guys obviously wouldn't, won't be dealing with this issue, but um, I'm going to stop searching now because I've already done this and, and I couldn't find them. But yeah, this is like the ability to do... I've, I know I've been banging on about this for months, but for me, the ability to do what I just did and search down an individual item in in 680 or whatever the hell it is different items. That's pretty awesome. I don't have to try to remember, shit, where did I buy these from? Was it Get FPV? Was it Race Day Quads? Was it um, uh, Pyrodrone? Was it Ready Made RC? Look at this list. Look at this list of, uh, of resellers that they can import from. Oh yeah, Newbie Drone is on there. I got all my Newbie Drone stuff in there. This is crazy. Look at all these different. So thus far, I've imported from GetFPV, Race Day Quads, um, Ready Made RC, Pyro Drone, and Newbie Drone. Those are the shops that I've ordered the most stuff. And like literally, you just you just click the one that you want. You type in your username for that website. You type in your password for that website, and you hit the Start Import button. As long as you got the password right. It just magically goes and pulls everything in. It's ridiculous. Like, it's so cool, right? So, in this case, I can't just click this button and have it be for sale because the stick ends are not in my inventory yet, right? Because I, I had to buy them as a guest from GetFPV. But that's okay. Um, I just type the, the name of the actual item in up here. Ready? STP M3 color stick ends. I looked, I remembered that I bought it on GetFPV and I looked it up, right? So type that in, search for it. It finds all the items with that, of course. That's how searches work. This is the one right here. Click it. Opens up. Uh, that one is saying that they're available on Rotor Village. Well, it actually... It really doesn't matter. Although, let me see if I can find the listing for them on GetFPV. Although, it really doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Because I'm going to list it for sale... So it, and so yeah, it really doesn't matter. I, I get, well, yeah, actually. So there's the actual listing from GetFPV. Um, oddly enough, 
I'm going to use this one because I like this picture better. So that's kind of interesting. You get to pick which... If, if there's multiple items from multiple resellers, right? I know um, Nevin has done a ton of work to try to get um, the duplicate items, like, like what we're seeing here, uh, consolidated into one. But, like, how on earth do you do that? Right, because everybody, everybody, uh, I'm not not everybody, but I'm assuming a lot of these manufacturers will s use a little bit of a different description, right? And to a to a program that doesn't understand that. Um, uh, but yeah, I like this picture. So look, there's this button that says "Have one to sell." I'm gonna click that, and I actually don't know what's gonna happen. I haven't done this yet. Uh, okay, so it asks you for the name. It asks you for your price. I'm gonna go. I don't know. Eight. I think they were ten bucks new, so eight dollars, and I'll cover shipping. I guess quantity one. Willingness to sell. This is the the super cool thing about this. By default, it's private. Or no, wait. I'm uh, sorry. By default, it's open to offers. If you're really not looking to sell it, you can go to unlikely, or you can go to not selling at all. But I'm actually gonna go up here to selling. And then there's also like a must sell, fire sale. That would be cool to sort by must sell because there's probably some really good deals in must sell. But I'm actually just going to put this to selling. The publish switch is turned on. Condition is new. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I could upload images. I could type notes. I could, uh, you know, I probably should type a note um, that I'll cover shipping. So, uh, oh, look at that. There's a there's a private and a public notes section. That's super cool. Um, so I'm going to do the public notes section. I'll cover shipping and throw in a holographic Ciotti FPV sticker. Look at that. And then update. And it's just that easy. So now if we search for that item again, I'm assuming I can... Yep, see? So it says there's two. There's two for sale up in the corner. So if I click it, I should be one of those people. Hey, look at that! Seattle FPV in Atlanta, Georgia. Somebody else is going to have a buy button there. And they should also be able to message me if, if they had any questions about it. Look at that! It's just that easy. That's super cool. I haven't actually done that before. Um, Nevin kind of walked me through it. Um, so I got to see how easy it is, but that's scary, right? That is a lot better than having to take pictures and make a Facebook Marketplace ad, is it not? Um, and more secure, because it has nothing to do with Facebook. Super Deluxe was $6.66. Here we go. All right, you know what? Screw you guys. I've got a calculator. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the calculator open. How do you? What do you think about that shit? Um, you guys can try to trick me all you want. Two four zero plus six point six six plus. Shit! Tiago sent reals. Oh god. Okay. One point three six real to USD. <laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> um, oh, I can't remember if I hit the plus button or not. Oh, God. Please. I'm going to hit it again. Please, no. Oh, good. All right, cool. Uh, plus 0.26 plus 5.62 from Schnoids. 252.54. Oh, man. I forgot there was a calculator on this fancy computer here. You guys are doomed. <laughs> 252.54. I'm going to round that up. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. 253. Just in spite of you lovely people. There it is. Thank you, Schnoids. Thank you, Tiago. Thank you, Super Deluxe. Good try. Good try. But your boy... Your boy's been thinking... Oh! Chat just... I thought I was caught up on chat. It, it looked like I was at the bottom, but I was not. Your boy is getting smart. Nathan Hack says, is this really a 12-hour stream? Nathan, you're just going to have to find out, man. I don't know. I cannot confirm or deny. You're just going to have to sit here for 12 
for the next 11 hours and 23 minutes to see if I die. <laughs> Pro Hat Mexico says hello. What is up? Uh, Broccoli FPV with a $4.99 super chat. He just took the garbage out and got paid for his chore. Keep it, 99, he says. I'm thinking of... No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't keep it, 99. Uh, I also can't do the math. Uh, wait, yes, I can. I can do that math. Eight. Ha! Thank you, Broccoli. You're the man. Chuck Toast with $4.20. It's the weed number! Thank you, Chuck Toast. We are going to come in here, and we are going to type... Carry the one... 62! Wait, is that right? Hold on. Oh, boy. 58? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. 62! Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas to you, Broccoli, and to you as well, Chuck Toast. Uh, Zanaka says, search for, uh, search for inventory pages coming soon. Oh, <gasps> even better. Uh, just had to wrap some other stuff up as we're wrapping up the iOS and Android versions. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that was a, um, I didn't even, yeah, that's super dope. Hey, Zanakis, too, I saw, um, uh, Spatz's excellent, uh, video last night. I can't believe I didn't think to do that, for the record. Um, I felt like such an asshole when I saw his video. I was like, whatever the hell? I could have done that a month ago. Um... He said that you guys are like childhood friends. That's insane. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, um, Zanakis and Mark Spatz of UAV Tech, um, as it turns out, were like childhood friends that got separated by life and somehow miraculously found their way back to one another through FPV. Uh, small world, man. Lord FPV says, thank you. You are certainly welcome, sir. Full CT with $24.99 and some Christmas coronavirus mask wearing love thank you full ct very very cool of you i'm gonna do some math 262 plus 25 is 287 the third hour of wearing a onesie is rapidly approaching <laughs> if we get to 300 dollars in 20 minutes from now, I will have to put this goddamn onesie on, and I will not be allowed to take it off until 8 o'clock. Oh, well, that's interesting. So it's 5.01 right now. Um, okay, we're going to get back on the the, the, the hours. we got to do everything by the, the hours because I need to stop streaming at 4 o'clock. So here's a video of me flying. I will be right back. Oh shit, I forgot to post about this on the Discord. No, I did remember to post on the Discord. Hey, I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave Discord running. And then maybe I'll look in there. I dude, I'm try I swear to god, guys, I'm trying to get Discord in my rotation of websites or not websites, but things that I do every day. I swear to god, someday I will get it. Someday. Um, okay, I know I'm not caught up on chat yet, but <clears throat> I gotta stay with the hours. It's five o'clock. Uh, here's some more, here's some more, hey, here's another thing that we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go through a bunch of, uh, of, of my flights from 2020. So, the opening of the stream was January 12th, 2020 at, well, I should, I'm not gonna talk too much about the names of the spots because... Um, yeah, we, we, we try not to like burn spots out. Uh, that was a tiny whoop race. Those are all just pictures. Uh, but yeah, we'll do like a little, uh, 2020 recap while we're at it. What is this? Tiny whoop. Oh, cool. This was, um, yeah, this was a little, uh, stop on the side of the road spot. This was super fun. All right. Yeah. Check this out here. I'll be right back. Uh, that looks like a good one. 1.92 gigs. In theory, that's not just me crashing and staring at the grass the whole time. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> face only a mother could love. 
Come on. Do I fly at some point? I'm flying! Look at me go. Be right back. for this guy to come back in his onesie. My dignity. I'm trying to like... My dignity. I'm trying to like do all the things. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. He's in his onesie. I bought him that onesie like <laughs> 10 years ago and I forced him to wear it on the holidays because I look like this on the holidays so he gets to look like that on the holidays. It's not a great look, but, you know, she it's doesn't cute. It. I mean, she bought it for me, so she's the only I one that has to suffer through it. All right. You don't have to see my mug anymore. You can see his mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God damn it, you sons of bitches. Mm, 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 mm. Nobody meme this. Nobody meme this. <laughs> okay. 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 Got it. Mm, mm. All right. To business. <laughs> kind FPV with a five dollar and three cent super chat. He says, "What size motors for a 4S three inch gank multi rotors Nemesis Micro V two would you recommend?" If there was a hood, I would. Oh, oh boy. These are cute. <laughs> 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 Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, if you don't have a onesie, you don't have to get one. It's, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> All right. Uh, kind FPV. Uh, let's talk about your build. Gank Multirotors Nemesis Micro V2. I need to look that up. I've certainly heard of Gank Multirotors. I just don't know their uh, product line, top to bottom, upside down, backwards. Oh, hey, I know that one actually. Um, this is one of the uh, this is one of the few frames that uh, one of the few three-inch frames that I actually really am kind of down with. 
Uh, it's top mount, which is great. The um, There's some actual motor protection on the ends of the arms. So that's awesome. And it's not super heavy. Uh, 27 grams for the 3 inch version of this frame, uh, which is awesome. So this, that build is going to be very, very similar to uh, A, the uh, the rip squeak build, which we're also going to be finishing here on the stream, uh, as well as my CB3 build, which I don't know where it is. I think it's in a bag over there. Um, so you can go with, I would, my recommendation for motors, is that what you're asking? Yeah, motors is going to be either the Emax 1306, <laughs> either the Emax 1306s. I'm looking up the, uh, the, the motor hole pattern. Okay, so it's 9x9 nine nine or 12x12. 12 12. Where did you go? Oh, oh, I have another thing. Oh, Jesus. Give me that. The button, you can find the button. It has different holes in it. I don't know what, to, uh, is that more of an, well. Oh, that ain't gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, the seizure mode. You're gonna go with either the Emacs 1306s in 4000 kV on 4S 450s, or you can go with the Brother Hobby 1504.5s in whatever the highest kV is. Uh, those are the two motors that I like the best um, for that setup, and dude, that thing's gonna rip with either one of these motors. This. I'm just going to put an end to this right now <laughs> because <laughs> there is there is a limit. There is a limit for sure. Um, and that takes us over the limit of <laughs> what I can handle. Um, kind of PV, we're going to put your five on the gear fun, which brings us from 287 to 293 bringing us that much closer to me having to wear this goddamn onesie for a third hour in a row. Yes. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> there. As chat gets caught up, I can already see super chats. Oh god, I'm getting I'm getting behind on chat. Okay, here we go. Uh, Private Island says screw them all, just round the odd numbers down, way down. <laughs> um uh, Doc Murdoch says, good afternoon, buddy! B-Man FPV says, I'm gonna call until 7.30 in the morning, so I'll be rolling with you all night. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Uh, Ken Hill says, hey, set an alarm on your phone so you know when to stop the stream. What fun is that, Ken? I, no, we don't do, we don't do smart things like that. I rely on you guys. That way, it's your fault. Because if I set the alarm and then I miss it, I'll feel like an idiot for having missed it in the first place, and then I'll feel like a double idiot for having missed the alarm on the phone, whereas if I leave it on, if I put it on you guys, um, and you know, you can't really fight it because you're inside the camera and I'm here in 3D, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Weirdo with a Skateboard is here! What's up, brother? How's it going, lad? And Merry Christmas and all that shit. <laughs> Brock Lee says, FPV equals magic. Indeed it does. KV FPV says, hoping to finish my SMO camera mount for the Flywoo Explorer and put it on Thingiverse. Very cool, KV FPV. Um, when you do that, make sure you get us the uh, the link. I'll, uh, I'll spread the link around. I'll probably actually throw that link up on um, uh, the Patreon page. Speaking of, if you really want to support me the most, Patreon is the closest thing that I've got to an actual paycheck. Um... And, uh, yeah, it makes me feel good that, that I can give you guys super secret content for the support that you give me. If you'd like to join the collective, which is what we call ourselves over on the Patreon page, just go to ciadifpv.com and there's a Patreon button. And you can join. Uh, the Patreon page is what drives uh, three of the four giveaways that we do every other Monday. Um, so it's also a way to get entered into a bunch of giveaways. And the people that have have won all kinds of fun stuff for the last, like... We've been doing the giveaways for a long time, boys and girls. Like, coming up on a year, a long time. So, think about that. Four to... Wasn't... Had, I guess, yeah, it's always been four. Four give four uh, weekly giveaways every Monday for an entire year. 
that's pretty gnarly. Uh, Tiago says it would be a nice feature to share our list with friends in it's FPV snowing. exchange. What? It's snowing. And it's snowing. In Georgia. Really? Alright, I gotta go see it. Hold on. Here's another, uh, here's another me flying. I haven't seen snow since I lived in New Jersey. That's true. It did not last long last time. Yeah, we got like 30 seconds of snow and I didn't even get to see it. Um, there you go. Merry Christmas, it's snowing in Georgia. That's just banana pants. Uh, okay, getting caught up on chat is what we do on this channel. Uh, yes, Tiago says it would be a nice feature to share our list with friends in FPV exchange. Tiago, I had the same thought. I actually, I, ha that's, I had that thought for like a weekly show. Like stream rather, um, I I I would love to be able to. So now that I have, um, now that I've imported everything here, right? Cool. I think it would be super cool for you guys to be able to look at my whole inventory. There's probably a way to do this. Um, Nevin, is there a way to do this? Is there a way for these guys to look? at my whole inventory and and then you guys can just kind of browse through here and be like all right I can ask Siati questions about all this shit because he's gotten them at some point so you can kind of come through here and be like oh my god look he bought this fan control module upgrade for fat shark goggles I wonder how it is I'm gonna ask him and then I would I'd be like yeah I didn't install it yet <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I know somebody who did, and he loves it. Um, so yeah, that would be cool, right? You guys can can look through stuff. Would it be cool? I don't know. I think it would be cool because there's a million like completely insane products on these on these uh, on these websites. You know, like uh, there's a there's a QX7 telemetry mod. There's a 5x5.3 five five gate breaker in Wild Willy Pink. Hey, Siati, I was thinking about getting that prop. D did you like it? And I'd be like, no. They have a weird resonance to them. And they add vibrations to a non-vibration, to a system that doesn't have a problem with vibrations. That was my experience. Um, so yeah. Getting more caught up on the chat, Metal Gy uh, Melted Metal Gyro. Melted Gyro says, I see your stick ends up for sale. Look at that. Metal Gyro is about to snag him, I heard. Maybe. Private Allen says, Merry Quadsmiths. Uh, Tiago says, Speaking about Italy, we are baking panettone for Christmas. Very cool. That's going to be delicious. Um. <laughs> Tiago says, Siati got much better. Maniac says, wow, Siati has changed. S. Grace says, look at Aaron. <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Doc Murdoch says, wow, Aaron got pretty. Maniac FPV says, does it have a butt flap? Huh. It indeed yeah. has a butt flap. Yes, that was me. Fondling my own butt cheeks. Um... 
Bman FPV says Merry Christmas, Kristen. Joshua Bodwell says views just went up. <laughs> Tiago Ramos says, LOL candy cane zipper. It's at, believe it or not, it's, it's, it kinda is. This is, um, this is actually, uh, back when I was into Airsoft, um, I had a, uh, I, I got into like, ta this is gonna take a weird turn, but just stick with me. Um, I got into, ta so, in play, we, we, we played a, a very, very mill sim version of, of Airsoft. Um, limited magazine quantity, limited number of magazine. Like it, we we really went nuts to to have it be a, a full milsim experience, and a lot of the people that that would attract were ex-military, um, current military and whatnot. And um, eventually we got into um, tactical folding knives, and not just folding, but tactical knives in general. And um, one of the guys would make these things out of 550 paracord. Um, as knife lint, basically knife, well, yeah, here, look. Um, they make really good for, for a folder, which kind of disappears in your pocket. Um, you could put this inside of your pocket, clip it to the outside, and then you can let this guy hang, and then you can just grab that to, to get it out. And it's just, they're just really nice to have on a, um, yeah, on a knife. So he, he would make them all the time, and he made this one in red and white, and he was like, I don't know what to do with this. And I was like, I'll find something to do with it. And then when I got this thing, I remembered that I had it, and it kind of does look like a candy cane, right? So yeah, there you go. There's a story for you guys. There'll be a lot of stories on this 12-hour stream. It's the only way I know how to fill up 12 hours. Don Ladd says, cute, bro. Uh, CMYK FPV says, so does it have a flap in the back is the real question. Uh, Private Island FPV says, you've never had such present, uh, presents, uh, <laughs> presents. I see what you did there, Private. Kind FPV with $5.03, he says, now tell her to turn up the heat five degrees. You guys know how to torture. We got the gear fund. We're going from 293 up to 298, but only for a second. Thank you, Kind FPV, because Zanakis FPV with a 1999 super chat he says we absolutely have to preserve this for antiquity that brings us up over three hundred dollars so i will be wearing this goddamn onesie at least until eight o'clock tonight merry christmas to all but me most of all uh, 298, so that goes 318. Look at that. Damn, you guys are animals. And I love it. Because I'm gonna buy health insurance with it. <laughs> Frank Nicholas says, hello, sexy. Uh, Carbon Cage says, where's Waldo? <laughs> B-Man says, uh, we're dressing him up like a little holiday puppy. <laughs> Uh, YouTube did the thing, scrolling back up. Uh, Weirdo the Skateboard says, check the Discord real quick. Okay. Uh, Toxic said, uh, ah, nice. Uh, over on, well, here, look. It's, I'm uncomfortable already in this thing. <laughs> it's getting hot already. Um, wait, no, I want to move that there. Move you down. Over on the Discord page, which you can get access to on ciadifpv.com, or if you want full access, you can join the Patreon page, and it'll automatically give you a bunch of perks. Um, Toxic FPV in general nonsense says, Ciadi, I just picked up Rebel Galaxy th uh, for three freaking dollars on Steam. It should run on this laptop, seeing as how um, uh, it's an ROG. I think that may maybe means like gaming laptop. Uh, oh no, okay, I think it means it's an old laptop. Need a power supply, want to know something? Uh, t toolkit RC power supply, that's awesome. Use my LiPo, uh, that I use for my LiPo charger, my soldering iron. <laughs> Here's the hoping we can get the controller for the laptop because I suck at playing games with the keyboard and mouse. Nice. Um, if you guys didn't know, Rebel Galaxy is this, like, super kind of under the radar, um, spaceship game that I've live streamed a couple times now from my PS4. Um, it's an older game. The the soundtrack is incredible, and 
it's just fun. It, it's just like a not so serious, super cool little fun, yeah, whatever game. And it looks like it's three dollars on Steam. So go treat yourself. Go buy that shit, man. That's awesome. Um, scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm looking for. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Good. Oh no. Good. Yep. Oh no. Yep. Keep doing it. Oh no. I'll punch you all. Don't you dare. Do Alright. <laughs> Join the Discord or else. Um, I guess we could even like have some voice guests in, in the Discord if we really run out of ideas. Um, Icky is here. What's up, Icky? Icky's a friend of mine from uh, Miata World. Um, Icky, are you still watching Broadbent a lot? I, I, I don't catch him as much as I was for a while there, but... Um, I watch all of his edited stuff. Uh, Dustin Gable says, you two are great. Frank Nicholas says, nice hair piece. Dauntless H, hopefully we get some bored people on here throughout the day from my Instagram story. <laughs> nice Dauntless. Ruby Tim says, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Dustin Gable says, does the onesie have the feet too? Sure fucking does. <laughs> Wait. Sure fucking does, bro. Do they think I wouldn't buy, like, a proper onesie? Come on. Oh, I can't see the chat from here. Hold on. There we go. Kind FPV with a $5 super chat, he says. Up five. Thank you, Kind FPV. Shit, I'm at the bottom of the chat. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, I have to add this, or I will I will not remember. Oh, God. Uh, 318 goes up to 323, thanks to kind FPV. How kind of him. Uh, I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> okay, getting the chat into a good place. And... Ah, oh, oh. You fucking son of a bitch, you oh. fuck bastard. <laughs> no. Oh, you scumbag bastard. Fuck you, world. Maniac FPV says, just saw a few flakes over here. It's snowing there as well. Jack Lanois, oh no, weirdo posted more. Oh, uh, there's me hurting myself. <laughs> uh, Jack Lanois says, how many batteries do you smash in comparison to your smashed motors and or arms? That's a really good question, Jack. Um, batteries... I just went through, um, so I just got this on my FPV Exchange inventory list, so you'll find this little guy. Um, this is a Lipo Sucker, I think it's called. Or no, I'm sorry, this is the Lipo Killer. I forget who makes it, but, oh man, it got hot. It got hot enough to, uh, to put a little hole in the shrink wrap, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is called the Lipo Killer. It has a um, it has uh, an XT30 and an XT60, a little LED, and then just a couple little resistors on the bottom, or I don't know what the hell they actually are. Um, but you plug this into your lipos, and it pulls them down to 0, 0.00 volts. Um, oh God, weirdo! That's the worst one yet. Um, and it's me like adjusting something. Um, so yeah, out. 
in 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 front of our front door there's always been this little spot that's like the safest little spot i could find for uh uh failed lipos so i've been just like piling them up there for the whole time that we've lived here um and then i got this like a week or two ago uh on one of the black friday sales i think maybe maybe not um so i've been going through those lipos and plugging this in until it, it drains them all the way down. That if, if, if the, the LED on it comes on, that means there is juice. Once the LED turns off, there's no juice left. Um, I just did that with all of the, uh, all of the 6S Tattoo 1300 version 1s that I've blown up over the last like year and a half. And I want to say that there were five of them. I'm pretty sure that there were five... Um, and then there was, uh, there were a couple 4S batteries, um, but I know that I've, I've, I've brought 4S batteries to Best Buy before, um, so that's not a good representation of how many 4S batteries I've blown up. That is a pretty good representation of how many 6S batteries I've blown up, because I, I don't think I've brought batteries into, into the little Best Buy, you know, they have the fucking crates in the front, um, for recycling stuff. Yeah, I don't think I've brought any 6S batteries in there. So, I, I think five. I think five is the number. Um, most of them were physically damaged. Most of them were, like, I had slammed them so hard that I just didn't feel comfortable with how jacked up the, the individual cells were um, to keep flying them. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, and if you go back one or two streams ago... Um, I opened up the big bag of Glide broken carbon that I had, and I counted the number of broken top plates, broken bottom plates, broken X plates, and broken arms. So um, I have a feeling you're, you you saw that, Jack, and, and that's why you're you're asking this, um, because that's when we were talking about smashed motors and, and arms as well. Uh, Private Island FPV says, fly in the snow. It's a, it's a very wet snow, and it's been raining pretty much all day, so I'm... Oh my god, the world is a very strange color right now. There's something going on outside. I gotta go look. Hold on. It's, it's a fucking crazy color. I'm going to take a picture of the color the, the, the world is on my fancy new phone. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Best Christmas present ever. Um, my fancy new iPhone SE. That's the uh, best one yet. And I'm going to post it on Instagram. Oh, God, it looks like I'm farting. It's the best one yet. <laughs> this, this is my job. Yeah. Weirdo Escape Word says this is my job now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go post a picture, and then I'm going to put it up on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you won't get to see it. It's Ciati FPV over there, the just chat? like I am everywhere else. I'll read the chat. Oh, my God. Kristen is wearing a hat now. Um... I was gonna put on a flight video. If, if do you want to swap in? No, just sit. You're, right. gonna be, you're gonna be like what? Thirty seconds. That's true. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Hi. I don't really know what to do. What are you watching? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to sign you up for it. Scrolling, 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 oh, scrolling, man. scrolling, scrolling. I know he says that a lot. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. YouTube did the thing. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi. Hi, Oh Aki. my god, the world's orange. The world is orange. It's now Ready? Too. Here. See, when I'm reading the chat, YouTube doesn't do the thing. It's, it's you. I'm clearly better at this. Some dirt. What if I said it was a totally commando under that onesie? It'd be kind of gross. It's not. I wouldn't let him do that. It's gross. Come on, chat. I'm never here. This hat's annoying. I shaved my head. Let's see. There it goes. Bad. Well, no, I can't answer that. Sorry. I'm not Seattle FPV. Sorry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is the chat really that delayed? No one wants to ask me anything. He's not here. He's literally not here. It's just me. Well, that didn't work. Hey, Dauntless. Hi. The 
phone is just white balancing the orange to be white. No one wants to ask me anything. They're you boring. You fucking bastards. They could have asked me anything. All right, get out of here. Boring. Boring. They're boring. <laughs> Don't insult my viewers. You have to insult You're boring. them. boring. You have to insult them in a in a humorous way. You can't like actually call them boring. Get out of here. Dirty habits. Get out of here. Oh, you got some weird habits. They're kind of gross. I'm not going to get into that. You don't want to know that stuff. It's gross. I'll tell you guys all her oh, habits, though. That's a good super chat. <laughs> that's the real that's question. That's the real question. All right, guys. Oh, man, you guys could see me this whole time? They could. Oh, shit. I was making, like, weird adjustments. Right. Um, yeah, isn't the sky crazy? I'm oh, not my God. I'm not gonna post those pictures because it just looks normal. Literally, the white balance on my phone just turned the orange world that we're in right now to uh, to a white world, and that's less fun. Uh, scrolling back up, here we go. Where were we? Oh my God! How am I so far behind on this already? Uh, Don Lad says flying in snow is fun. WD forty things up and rip. Um, that's true. Water dissolve. Did you know that the WD in WD forty stands for water dissolvable? Right. Water dissolvable. Yeah, it's dissolvable. I think. Um, it chases water away. Most people don't know that about WD forty. Mister Huggy says looks quite heavily snowing on radar. Um, it is snowing much more just now than it was a minute ago. It's like proper snowing right now. Uh, FPV Hawk is here. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Dustin Gable says, I can make you some of those. Spent 15 years in the Army uh, and a few years in Iraq. It's called a box spray. Let me know what color uh, combo you want. Dustin, I've got more of these than I know what to do with. I started, um, uh, I started making um, pace counters with these little skull beads on them. Um, and when I was doing that, I was trading my, my buddy that would make these, I would trade him these for pace counters. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a, a, um, I've got a D ring with like a thousand, <laughs> like, like just completely filled up with pace counters and, uh, and these things. Um, I never actually, uh, learned to do this though. He was always going to, he was going to teach me, um, not that I can't just go on here on YouTube and search for it in three seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? That's pretty much our marriage. That's the, <laughs> yeah. that's the last fit. We've been together for like 14, 15 years. We've been married for um, three yeah. and change. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my God, um, Dustin, you don't happen to have, uh, you know what I don't have though? I don't have one of these in purple and red. If you have purple and or red 550, um, that's the only thing I can really think of. I, I think I've seriously got like every single other color combination, including like weird color combinations like neon green and all different colors because neon green uh, used to be the like the color of um, this tactical knife forum that we were all over called the uh, USN, the United Suspect Network, I think. Um, I'll walk down memory lane. Steve FPV says Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you as well, Steve. Uh, B Man says you should set up a little fan under your table as a, <laughs> as a nut cooler. <laughs> FPV Hawk says, I became a Beta FPV Meteor 65 at Crossfire to Christmas from my dad. It flies amazing. Uh, yeah, man, the, the Meteor is, is a really good rig. The, the Beta FPV Meteor 65 is legit. Um, that's super cool that it's got Crossfire. I think I'm going to end up buying and trying one of those Beta FPV Crossfire boards. Um, Mr. Huggy says, should get you playing EVE Online. I've heard of EVE. And it's one of those games, I, I think, that um, you put like 11 billion hours into. And I kind of try to stay away from those games other than um, driving simulators. Driving simulators are the only games I'm really willing to pour a bunch of time into. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to look it up because I'm curious now. Which, which I, I think I know what game that is, but I have to know. 
Um, dur, 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 dur. Carbon Cage says, apparently Maniac here reckons Cage is a scam. Uh, trashing us in bots last stream. What? Maniac. How dare you? Don't, don't, don't trash people. I thought, at the beginning, I thought it was, was, it was, was funny. No. Don't. Oh, okay. Looks like you guys are working it out. Uh, Frank says, it's obvious Mrs. Ciotti loves Mr. Ciotti. It is. Um... Daltz says, Merry Christmas. Hope you got the lipos. No. What lipo? Oh, 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 right. From um, Newbie Drone. No, I haven't gotten them yet. I, Dude, I, I have, I mean, I'm sure everybody, we all um, here in the U.S. are dealing with this, but um, I've got stuff that I ordered like two weeks before Black Friday that's still not here yet. Um, so, yeah. Kristen's going out um, for some drinks with some folks at some point, and she's going to check the mail on her way back. And hopefully there's some stuff in there. Hopefully her presents are in there. I ordered her three things, and I don't have any of them right now. So <laughs> I bought her, like, a few stocking things from Target, and I have those, but no actual presents, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But I think uh, at the end of the weirdest fucking year in the, the entire 39 years that I've been alive, um, I think a very fitting way to round this year up is without many presents, um, which forces us to just kind of say, you know what? Merry Christmas. We fucking made it. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of folks didn't. Um, so, yeah. Presents are not as important as as being alive. Um, wear your masks. Appreciate everybody in your life. Um, because, yeah, there's a virus rampaging through the earth killing people. So um, it's a pretty cool Christmas if, uh, if everybody in your life hasn't died <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> right like each and every person that that we all love um 2020 christmas is just a day to celebrate still having those people in our lives and that's pretty cool so we have we all have um a lot to uh, a lot to be thankful for this christmas um mr huggy says fly a whoop in the snow if the snow sticks to the... Well, actually, no. It's it's full-blown dark now. So, um, out the window with that. Uh, we are going to do some whoop flying, though. We're going to fly around in here a little bit. Um, uh, Dauntless H says, I missed that glide count. Do you think a glide will be dur durable enough for a first 5-inch under 650 grams? Um, I do, Dauntless. Uh the new Glide base plate and X plate are extremely strong. Um, and I haven't even broken that many of the X plates. Um, the only times I've broken the X plate on the bottom were were basically crashes where, like, nothing survived. Um, so the X plate has never been an issue. Um, the front of the base plate for a little while was an issue. Um, but the new design completely fixes that. And then the arms are a very specific strength that when they break, hopefully the motor has been saved. Because that's basically how Bob um, went like stronger, weaker, stronger, weaker with the arms until we found a spot where um, the, the, the arms will break right before the motor completely grenades in, in the, in sort of the best case scenario. Um, so yes, with a glide frame, you're going to break arms. Would you rather break $7 arms or $25 motors? Um, I would rather break $7 arms. The arms don't break a lot. The arms break at the point where the motor would have blown up. So, and, and that's kind of perfect in my opinion. Um, I have no interest in an arm so strong that every time the motor hits the ground, it completely explodes because the motors kind of explode every time they hit the ground anyway. Um, if I, if, if to me, the perfect scenario 
is exactly this. An arm that is just strong enough, and then when the forces get to the point where they're too much, it lets go. Um, that leaves you with the least weight on the ends of the arms possible, which makes the rig fly a lot better, and it also leaves you with a skinnier arm that creates less turbulence when air is being blown past it from the propeller. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, the, the Glide is the perfect mix of strength, durability, and quite frankly, cost. <laughs> um, it's, it's a big deal for a frame to be that inexpensive. Uh, Carbon Cage says, okay, mate, uh, yeah, right, you guys got that taken care of. Dauntless H says hello to Kristen. Doc Murdoch says, hey, Kristen, you need to be on with him more often. Um, and there's Mr. Huggy saying, what are his dirty habits? RC Ritter F... Come on, Facebook. Or not Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Uh, RC Ritter FPV with his $2 super chat. He says, Merry Christmas. How do you put up with him? Oh, yeah. That's right. We got that one. Thank you, RC Ritter. Let's get this. Oh, a nice round number at 325. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but thank you. And Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Carbon Cage says, Maniac is a good guy and I love him. That's what Carbon Cage says. Um, and he says it was a it was a big misunderstanding. He didn't actually say that, but that's that's what he's saying in his heart. Dauntless H says, Kristen, my phone uh, white balanced the orange day here in San Francisco. Uh, I will put one up a decent pic on the Discord. Please look at it. Uh, Dauntless, did you do that already? Let's see. Holy shit, there it is. So there's a non-white balanced picture of how orange it is here. Yep, we got that same color going on right now. On top of snow. It was very odd. Uh, Dauntless, where are you? Uh, this was earlier this year, and they're taking around noon. It's the smoke from the fires. Oh, that's not what it is here. Uh, it was even dark in ours, but my phone is white balancing it. Um, yeah, that's, oh my god, weirdo. Oh, no. Please, no more. <laughs> okay. Furball Kim FPV says, click the like, everyone, for Ciotti FPV. Thanks for the reminder, Furball, and fantastic name. Um, yeah, click some stuff if you'd like. It helps me out. And it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, Don Ladd says, WD-40, you're right, it's great. Uh, I use it so much of it at work. William Carlson says, hey man, what's up? Frank says, Mrs. Ciotti should be your production manager. Um, I would bug her to do that if she weren't so busy with her own business. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, my wonderful wife is three years into running her own business. And um, I am constantly shocked at the at her ability to do it and the 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 aplomb that she i just wanted to use the word aplomb just now and I, I couldn't figure out a way to shoehorn it in there so i just yeah um yeah siati creative she does graphic design um uh, and marketing packages for companies and it's just insane to see some of the stuff that uh, and and this year has been pretty good for her as well she's gotten some she's got some pretty some pretty cool clients this year um She's going to be using whose house? R&B singer Keith Sweat. R&B singer Keith Sweat. She's going to be using Keith Sweat's house here in Georgia to shoot a bunch of photography. I don't know. Because the world is very weird. Yes. Ken Hill says, okay, I have to go to dinner, but have fun collective C in a bit. See when you get back, Ken. Dustin Gable says, uh, ah, okay, yes, uh, I used to, uh, I, I used to use pace counters for land navigation, lol. Yeah, pace, pace counters are such a funny thing. Um, uh, we, the, the way that we would play airsoft would have a lot of navigation. Like, we would, we would play in, like, really big areas. Um, and we would, like, lose people. It was, it was, yeah. At the at the end of like I would um, I would plan these like evolving scenario storyline games um, that would run for like four to six to eight hours um, and like fucking clockwork at the end of the games we would have to get a head count and then we would inevitably always have to go out and find people. <laughs> 
William Carlson says, hey, CID FPV, is E600 like conformal coating or can I just use silicone? Uh, and what about heat dissipation? E600 sounds familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on... Oh, E600 is the is the formal name for welder. Okay. Um, is... Oh, no. No, no, no. Nothing like conformal coating. Um, E6... Or not 600. E6000, I guess it is. It looks like here. Um, E6000 and welder is... Uh, it's basically contact cement. Um, so it's... It's like kind of glue... Well, here. Here, here. I'll show you. Uh, it's kind of gloopy and, and it's kind of thick and it's, it's just, it's really just for an adhesive. You would only really want it to be used as an adhesive. Um, but yeah, see how it's kind of gloopy and it's like, well, that's a bubble, but yeah, you see it like hanging out there. That's how thick it is. You know what I mean? See, it's, it's like not moving. Yeah, it's got like a real thickness to it. I, I would definitely not want to uh, to layer this over an entire board. Um, yeah, if you want to do that, just get conformal. I, I, I know I know conformal is a little expensive, but it'll last you forever, and you'll you'll probably find other uses for it in the rest of your life. Um, or you can use clear nail polish. <laughs> Uh, all of the, uh, not all, but a lot of the uh, the old school um, RC airplane guys uh, like s snort at conformal coating because they've been using clear nail polish for 20 years. Um, and it works totally fine. I actually, I don't do anything. Um, I, I don't conformal coat. I don't do anything. Um, and I've... I've been flying when it started raining and it's been totally fine. Um, I think as long as it's not like absolutely torrential, but if it's torrential, then the video is going to be all jacked up anyway. So yeah, um, I would at some point like to do a fully conformal coated rig to have like a fully waterproofed rig. Um, but I've not had a problem and I've flown in, uh, my rigs have gotten wet quite a bit. That's a weird thing to say. Dustin does. Dustin says yes. I do have purple and red. Well, there you go, dude. That 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 would be that would be a super cool Christmas present, Dustin. Awesome. Um, uh, let me know if, if you need anything from me. Uh, message me on uh, uh, at CIDFPV wherever you'd like. Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, uh, fucking smoke signals, whatever works for you, man. Um, weirdo with a skateboard says I'm off have a good one catch and sorry for the discord pictures don't you dare apologize for the discord pictures <laughs> that made my fucking day uh, scrolling back up trying to find where I was because YouTube has it out to get me Dalt says uh, newbie drone tech support and USPS are trigger words for me right now yeah I can only imagine Espander says, hello, what's up, Espander? FPV Hawk says, whoop flying in the stream. Also, I'm also flying my new whoop at the moment. Um, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a whoop giveaway, too. What do you think of that? I don't know when, but we're going to do it. God damn it. Wait, no. That's better. Um, Got to make sure I look good in, in my fancy. <laughs> Um, Dauntless is in San Francisco. That would explain the smoke. Um, ooh, from Russia with re with respect. You are like a really fly. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm pretty fly. <laughs> um, KVFPV says it works. Thingiverse link. I think this is the SMO mount. Let's have a look. That looks like an SMO mount. There you guys go. If you need a uh, to mount your SMO on a rig that has a little GoPro um, thingy on it, KVFPV's got your back. Here comes the link. It's already in the chat, but I know I'm a little bit behind. There's the link. Go get it if you've got an SMO coming. 
Uh, all right. William Carson says thanks. <gasps> the chat won't go any farther down. What does that mean? The chat always goes farther down. What? What do I do? Is it broken? KVFPV says, check the other link in the Thingiverse. Here's another link. Hey, there's the piece that you need on the other side. Or I know you can get um, you can get this piece for specific frames from uh, from Brain FPV and uh, BMC 3D as well. Um, since I think yeah, this is specifically for the Flywoo Explorer. Um, but yeah, that's the universal GoPro thing. Very fucking cool. Uh, here comes a link for that. Eddie P Fund is here. He says hello. Dustin Gable says, all right, that works. Much appreciated. Dustin, Merry Christmas. Wow. Caught up on the chat. Oh. That means it's time to do some work. I hope you're ready. We are going to get some shit done over the next 10 hours and... Oh, my God. Is it almost 6 o'clock already? Look at us go. Over the next, nah, no, wait, 10 hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, you get out of here. You're, you're, you're misbehaving, tiny pusher, and, and angering me. Uh, I'm considering putting the smoke-colored frame onto, onto this guy, um, just so that, like, when, when this guy has the Insta360 Go on it, um, if I, if I, like, pitch back to stop, it, the, the frame will, uh, will come into view of the Insta360 Go, and the fact that it's a white and, and, like, clear frame, it just looks terrible, uh, whereas if it were black, it wouldn't look nearly as bad, so... That's a good, you know, that's a nice, uh, let's, let's start... Let's start slow. FPV Hawk says, which whoop will you give away? That's a good question. It's going to be the Isheen UZ65. Um, this is actually a really cool whoop. It's the first time. It comes with a whole bunch of Kristen's hair for free. Um, this is uh, pretty cool. It's a bigger prop. It's, it's like, so there's the 65 whoops and there's the 75 whoops. This propeller size is in between, but the frame is 65 motor to motor. What they did is they, they squished down the, the inside of the, um, of the AIO board and they were able to make the ducts a little bit bigger. Um, so this is really cool. It flies exactly like what it is, which is in between 65 and 75. So like if you ever wondered what it would be like for a tiny whoop that was in between those two, that's exactly this. Um, four batteries, a, uh, little charger pluggy thing, and an extra set of these propellers, which is good, because these are, like, a very specific sized propeller. Um, it's like, uh, one point I, I, I think the really small props are 1.2, and then I think the 75 props are 1.4. Um, so yeah, I think these are, like, basically 1.3. And yeah, this thing flies great. So... We're going to do a giveaway for it at some point. I don't know when. I mean, in three minutes, it's six o'clock. Is that a reason to do a giveaway? Should we do a giveaway every two hours? That's what we'll do. We're going to do a giveaway every two hours. Um, so in three minutes, we're going to do a giveaway. 87 people watching? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So... Um, how are we going to do the giveaway? Should we do the standard, uh, the standard super chat and or PayPal route, I think? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, here's what we'll do. We'll start getting ready for it. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to post. I'm going to post. I'm going to post. What do you guys think of that? I'm going to post. 
Isheen UZ65 giveaway coming up. I'm gonna put this here. Look, you guys get to see what a what a what a YouTuber does for a living. I will not call my I refuse to call myself a YouTuber. Come on, get out of there. Alright, well that hair stays. Isheen UZ65. Here it is. We got some batteries. We got some of this. We got some of that. And I'm gonna grab a light. I'm gonna put it onto daylight balance. I'm gonna turn on the camera. And I'm gonna go right here. Right like that. And we're gonna get a little bit of light. And then I'm gonna push the button. Um, cool. That works. I forgot to turn that light on. Look at me. Now I look better. Uh, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit this button and then I'm going to go over to Instagram and then I'm going to go to fucking stories and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to push this button. I'm going to push that button. I'm going to push this button, that button, this button, and I'm going to type in Esheen UZ65 giveaway on my 12 hour stream right now. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to hit that button, that button, this button www.youtube.com <laughs> And there it is. That's how you internet. Oh, what did I do there? That's a different feature. And huzzah! Your stories. And then that should push to, uh, to the donkeys. Hey, Bot Grinder calling out that fucking book, yo. Somebody wrote an FPV book, and it's super cool. Uh, it's called FPV Flight Dynamics, and I think you're going to be able to get it on Amazon. Um, he sent me some uh, some examples, and I was pretty impressed, man. It's, it's pretty cool to see some things uh, that we have, like, in our brains actually, like, drawn out on, like, paper and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, what time is it in the U.S.? It is 6.01 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. at the moment. So, now that it's 6.01, we're going to get this giveaway going. Uh, let's do in... So, this is not this is not going to count... The, the giveaways don't count towards that because it's just too much math. Um, Geo Fairbanks with a 9.99 super chat. He's going on here. Um, Geo, I, I hope that wasn't for the for the giveaway because I didn't explain the giveaway yet, but I'm going to add it here. Uh, 325 goes to 335. Thank you, Geo. Much appreciated. Um, I didn't think through the, the giveaway, so I'm, I'm having to think through it right now. Um, um, let's do... Uh, let's do... $2 to get in on the giveaway. Everybody gets one. I wish there was a way for me to like to get a list of you guys. The 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 participant like here look at look at how broken the participant list is. Like the, the according to YouTube, this is all the people that are in the chat right now. <laughs> like Thanks for making something useless, YouTube. Um, this is actually different. You Managed Moderators was never here. Toggle timestamps was... What the hell does that mean? Oh. Oh my god, that's really nice. Did you guys see what just happened? It's putting timestamps. <gasps> I can see how far behind I am. Holy shit on a shingle, YouTube. Thank you for the, the actual useful feature in your goddamn stream chat um yeah i can't i can't use this participant list because it, it just I, I don't know i don't know what it's showing but 
it doesn't really uh, work well. Uh, okay. Uh, getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up. Um... <laughs> Here's where I was. Uh, there's Geo, there's FEV Hawk asking which whoop, awesome. Uh, William Carlson says tour there. Geo Fairbanks says need to head out for dinner, we'll catch you guys later. CMYK is Batman. Uh, William Carlson never wins anything, uh, but his wife needs a whoop. Uh, FPV Hawk needs the whoop, he loves whoops. Chris Mel FPV just, uh, got here. Merry Christmas to you as well, Chris. Uh, Uncle Dad's Garage says okay. FPV Hawk says yes, give away every two hours, please. He didn't say please, I added that. Marcel Robert says what's up? He has arrived. William Carson is broke and it's Christmas. You should just give it away. I, I wish I knew how, William. I, I... Ah, YouTube, make this easier. God damn you. Um, I'm, I'm hoping maybe $2 is, is so little that everybody can afford it. I, Raw Picks FPV says, which simulator would you recommend for low-powered laptops? Um, Raw Picks, I have a 13-year-old computer that I'm streaming from right now. Uh, and it manages to play Velocidrone just fine every single Sunday on our Sim Sunday streams. Um, it has a lot harder of a time with liftoff. Um, so I'm, I give the big thumbs up to Velocidrone. You can really, you're going to have to go into graphics and turn everything down. But yeah, I mean, go, it's easy. Um, Remy Tim says $2 for a whole tiny whoop. Yeah, because it's Christmas. Um, uh. Ah, I caught up on chat. Look at that. Um, yeah, the, the the other thing is um, I try to do giveaways for people that are specifically interested in it. Um, not everybody. I'm, I'm sure there's somebody that doesn't want this. Um, and, you know, if that person's person wins, it's like, oh, that's no fun. Um, so, yeah, I always try to have some sort of an entry um, so that you can choose to enter. I, I can't, I can't, there's this one long hair and I just can't deal with it, guys. I have to, I have to deal with this. Hold on one second. Okay, much better. Um, so yeah. Um, two bucks. Two dollars via Super Chat, uh, which is the little thing in the, in the chat on the bottom. Or PayPal. If you want to PayPal me, you can just go to ciadifpv.com, scroll down, there's a PayPal button, put $2 in there, you'll be entered to win an entire Tiny Whoop, and a really good one at that. Um, giveaway is now opened at 6.10, which is four minutes from now. It shall close, and we shall spin a wheel. Uh, speaking of, I gotta get them wheels opened. Oh no. Where's my Where's my tab with the Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Shout out to Broken Prop Crew. They sent over a bunch of awesome lanyards and goggle head straps and I love them. I've been using their stuff forever. Wheelofnames.com. Hook a brother up. I've got my email open. The first $2 came from Tyler Sherard. Oh, he, po he posted in there, 6 p.m. giveaway. That was intelligent. Good job, Tyler. Wow, that is smart. You guys don't have to do that, but it's a really smart thing to do. Uh, I'm going to leave Alec Dvornik on here because that guy is spending a horrendous amount of time ripping through all of our past streams and coming up with time codes. And the least that I can do, since I don't really have any money to offer him, um, is put them into every single giveaway that I do. I just paid Alec two whole dollars. <laughs> um, Frank sent 10. He said, giveaway and rest to the year, to the year wearing red. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Um, everybody's only going on the wheel one time, though. I didn't explain that. Sorry. Um, so two out of Frank's $10 is going onto the wheel. The other $8 I'm just going to keep, and I'm going to use it to buy um, something to tomorrow to help my brain. What just happened? 
<laughs> Everything just shut down. My brain is a wasteland. Steven Steinbacker sent $2 for the giveaway. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Alec. Merry goddamn Christmas. <laughs> And Daniel Maurer with a $2 PayPal. He's going on the wheel. Thank you, Mr. Timmy Rim. And Greg Letty, he's getting in. 6, 10 p.m. giveaway. Huzzah. He's on the wheel. And all right, cool. Let's take a look at the Super Chats. What do we got going here? Marcel Robert with five Californian dollars. He's going on the wheel. Thank you, Marcel, for the California money. I've heard the exchange rate on California money is very similar to the Canadian exchange rate. Damnedest thing. It's almost as if CA before an amount of money means Canada rather than California. <laughs> Eddie P. Fund is getting in. He sent a $2 super chat. Thank you, Eddie. On the wheel you go. Gator FPV with a $5 super chat. He overpaid because he loves me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, I got this. Uh, Gator overpaid by three bucks. And Frank overpaid by eight. Eight plus three is 11. And that's going on the gear fund. 335 goes to 346. I think that's how math works. There we go. And Morning View with $2. He says, word up. Oh, shit, it's 610. Uh, giveaway is closed unless you want to send a last, last second $2. That's totally fine. Squitchy FPV with a $5 super chat. He's going on the wheel once, and I'm going to take the other $3 and put it towards the, uh, the 100 an hour for the onesie torture. <laughs> Uh, Eric Allen FPV, he's getting in. He says, Merry Christmas. All right. And Brandon Scott, he's getting in. He says, Merry Christmas. Thank you for the opportunity. You're certainly welcome, Brandon. Get you guys over here. And Buddha FPV is in. Thank you, Buddha. A little bit of... Marcel Robert says, that's Canada money, you horse head. <laughs> I've never heard horse head as an insult before. That's a fucking good one. I'm stealing that so fucking hard. <laughs> uh, William Carson said, Where, uh, where's PayPal? CiatiFPV.com. Scroll down the bottom. There's a PayPal button. Um, when I'm done, uh, when I'm caught up adding people to the wheel, I see that there's two PayPals I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, once I get everybody on the wheel, that's when this actually ends. I know I said 6.10, but it's 6.11 already. Um, so, yeah, we keep going until I get caught up, basically. Um, did I get Buddha on there? I did. Schnoids is getting on there as well. Schnoids with $2, and he says, whoop, whoop. Got you, got you on there, Schnoids. Here's Felix FPV coming in with a little, the little green pear guy that says cool and has a headband on. All right, Felix, you are in. Ben T says, Merry FPV Christmas. Merry FPV Christmas indeed. Thank you, Ben. Horsehead. <laughs> oh, was it Hoserhead? Did I read it wrong? No, you did. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, Hosehead. Fuck that. No. Horsehead, yo. It makes no sense. And that's why I like it so much. He said Hosehead. Yeah, it's, that works. Um, Ben T, I got you on there. Let me get over here to PayPal. Better hurry. There's only two PayPals in here, and then we're going to spin this goddamn wheel. Um, $2 via Super Chat or via PayPal. If you want to do PayPal, CIDFPV.com. Scroll down. There's a PayPal button. Uh, Chris Hugman sent $2 on PayPal. Only one left. You better hurry. If you want to be entered to win the Isheen UZ65, it's a whole goddamn tiny whoop for $2. And Dustin Gable with two dollars. Although I think I saw another super chat, so we will uh, uh, delay this another second longer. I'm clicking Get Mail to make sure that PayPal's not behind. 
If you do, if you haven't seen your name go on the wheel already, let me know. Uh, Felix FPV says mine isn't showing. I've got it right here, Felix, for you. Uh, B Man FPV says hook it up, ho ho ho. <laughs> Are you calling me a ho? B Man. Kristen's shirt says ho ho ho. B Man is on there. Um, the extra three dollars from B Man, and there was another extra three dollars a second ago are gonna go in here on the gear fund 46 becomes 52 when we hit 400 I will have to wear this goddamn onesie for yet another hour loon FPV with a two dollar super chat he's in he's going on the wheel and once I've added loon to the wheel that is going to be nope Another PayPal came in via email from Jason Crabtree. But now that I'm copying and pasting Jason Crabtree's $2, now the giveaway is officially closed and we're going to win the wheel. Uh, Chuck Toast doesn't see himself. Let's make sure he's in here. How the hell did you not get on here, Chuck Toast? That makes me worry that I maybe missed you and somebody else. I'm going to blame YouTube's horrible scrolling. Wait, Chuck, where did it come from? Uh, did it come in PayPal? I'm going to look for PayPal's from Chuck. So I've got Tyler on PayPal thus far. I've got Tyler then Frank, then Steven Steinbaker, then Daniel Maurer, then Greg Letty, then Chris Hugman, Dustin Gable, Jason Crabtree. Those are the only emails that I've gotten from PayPal. Sounds like Chuck Toast PayPal'd me since I don't see him in the Super Chats. So I'm actually going to go to PayPal.com and we're going to take a quick look. Uh, anybody else that doesn't see themselves in the that hasn't seen themselves in the list, uh, type at C audio. Oh, 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 Chuck Toast, I got you. Um, Chuck, I don't go like backwards. Wait, when did, I think you did the the 420 before, right? Um, I don't go like I don't go backwards and, and find people with the with the giveaways. It's like, you know, giveaway opens. Um, uh, yeah, if you want in on it, it's. Uh, I think that's what you're saying, right? Unknown Drew Kid sneaks in. He sneaks in. Fake. <laughs> Jasper says fake. What's what's that mean? All right. Let me get logged in here. It would be no, I, I should have uh, a tab open with PayPal. That's a really good idea. Uh, so let me do that. Tab is opening with PayPal. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the wheel and I'm going to add Unknown Druid. And what do we figure out, Chuck Toast? Um, uh, okay, yeah, Remy Tim just explained it. Thank you. Um... <laughs> TPMG <laughs> sends two chuffs uh, and says, what's the giveaway? It's for a uh, UZ65 Isheen Tiny Whoop. Um, um, yeah, Chuck, if you want to get in, um, just let me know. Uh, don't reveal your PayPal, Horsehead. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm finally getting good at doing things off stream that I should be doing off screen. Um... TPMG is going in there with, I don't feel like doing the exchange, so hopefully two CHFs is somewhat close to two cheeseburger dollars. Here we go. And got that. Private Island with five Canadian. Oh, I said Canadian that time. Sorry. Five Californian dollars. He's on the wheel and it's over two dollars U.S. Awesome. Uh, I can tr I know I can trust you guys. You know, you guys are, you guys are the best. Uh, license to drive is getting in. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Sixty seconds. This shit closes for real this time. 
Putting a stopwatch on. 60 seconds. You've been warned. Timer. Uh, no, not one hour. Uh... Here we go. Starting. Ah! Okay. Uh, license to drive. You are going on the wheel. That's private on FPV. Is it just me? Or do computers sometimes not actually copy when you hit the copy keystroke? Uh, going back over to PayPal to check that real quick. Ooh, actually, I got to do that right here. And 27 seconds left, $2, Ishin Yuzi 65, an entire tiny whoop. And I want to go to summary, or wait, no, I want to go to activity on PayPal, make sure I didn't miss anybody, make sure they basically didn't not send me an email. Um, and we will be good to go. Uh, LCV, if you're gonna, if, if anybody is, there it is, uh, LCV, I'm gonna put you on the wheel because you're stuck updating your card info. Um, if anybody is updating their card info frantically right now to try to get their $2 in, tag me in the chat right now. Type Ciati FPV, I'm trying to send you $2 or just whatever. Just tag me in the chat right now and I'll put you on the wheel, um, in, in advance. So, do that right now. Uh, I'm going to put LCV FPV on the wheel because at some point YouTube will allow him to update his card info. I know that it's a pain in the ass. I've, uh, I've been in his shoes before. So I'm going to do this and add him. And then I'm going to add strip. He sent $5. I'm going to take the extra $3 and put that towards the, uh, the torture Ciati goal. Um, strip tagged me in the chat. I got you on the wheel. William Carson says I was. I give Ciati FPV um, uh, changing my password. Okay, so William Carson, I I think I'm putting you on the wheel, right? I, I mean, I'm putting you on there regardless now. So, <laughs> all right, got you. And S. Gray sent some Norwegian kroners. We're going to get him on here and all right, I think we're good. It doesn't seem like there's anybody else frantically trying to update their credit card info to send $2 to get in on this giveaway. So I'm going to continue to talk slow just in case anything comes in at the last second here because I feel bad when that happens. We're done. Here we go. Ready? Wait. This. Uh, Rumi Tim says, put Chuck Toast in. Done. And Nukem. Putting Nukem in. Putting Chuck Toast in. I don't know why I'm putting Chuck Toast in. I'm just basically doing it because I was told. Um, I'm sure that you guys have worked it out, though. And away. Wait. Wait, no, that's the right button. And away. We. First Christmas, first Christmas giveaway of a, an Ishin UZ65 and a bunch of batteries and a super cool carrying case. Here we go. Goat at the ready. Push the right button here. Where's the goat? Ready? The second, the second that I clicked the button and pushed the goat the thing came up and said that somebody had sent me money via PayPal. I'm going to get them in on the next giveaway because Gator FPV just won this giveaway. Congratulations, Gator FPV. You've won, goddammit. Um, I need you to send me all your info. I'm going to write Gator FPV on the top of the instruction manual. What I need you to do is message me on either Instagram or Facebook, hopefully Facebook or Patreon, at Ciati FPV, uh, with, I need you to tell me first and foremost that you're Gator FPV. Um, basically, I need to be able to go into my search because I get a million messages. I need to be able to search message content for 
Gator FPV, which I wrote down right here, um, and I need for it to find the message that you've sent me that says, Yo, Siati, I'm Gator FPV. I won the Ishin UZ65. Here's my address. Here's my real human being name. Here's my uh, email address because I would like you to send me the tracking info. And if you're outside of the U.S., here is my phone number as well. Um, you do that, and I'll send you a Ishin UZ65. Congrats, buddy. Merry fucking Christmas, Gator FPV. Hell yeah. That's how you get Christmas going. Thanks, everybody. Congratulations. Who, uh, so who was the, uh, the scratch? <laughs> nice. Perfect. Daniel Maurer sent $2 for Chuck Toast. I had already entered him into the wheel. So nobody got left out. Holy shit. That's the greatest. Uh, Newcomb 720 says, did you get enough for the naked GoPro? Uh, not quite. We were at $38, I think. Um, we're going to do, we'll, we'll jump back on the naked GoPro fundraising thing, uh, after this stream, basically. Um, and then Gator FPV says, thanks. Merry Christmas. Hell yeah, Gator FPV. Um, cool. All right. Loon FPV says, say it for me, fools, you fell for one of the classic blunders. <laughs> All right, everybody. And back to work we go. One giveaway down. Five to go. Um, upcoming giveaways every two hours. So we're going to do another one in an hour and 40 math minutes. Uh, there's going to be a Source 1 frame giveaway. There is going to be an RC Crazed large t-shirt giveaway. Because it's too big for me. <laughs> uh, there's going to be... Oh! Um, Gator FPV, you also just won a... Um, you actually won two... 2S whoop pigtail cables because I accidentally ordered like a thousand of these things. <laughs> I think I ordered a quantity of five, not knowing that they ship five per little package. So everybody gets uh, tiny whoop 2S pigtails. <laughs> I'm putting two of them in the UZ65 case. There we go. And uh, I've got some other stuff. I got some other stuff. There's a, there's a little SMA antenna over there. There's some there's some tiny whoop stuff. Um, fuck it. I'm gonna give away this. Uh, I'm gonna give this away too. It's a um, it's the uh, what is it called? Tiny Hawk Freestyle Two. Uh, this will be another another giveaway. It's been sitting here. I've been meaning to do giveaways, and uh, what a better time. And Christmas. Ah, okay. Back to work, I guess. Put these over here. And let's do some tiny whoop things. William Carlson with the latest $2 I've ever seen. He wants to get in on the next wheel. So I can do that. I can do that. It's it's we're not gonna do that giveaway for a while um but i'm assuming that william sent the two dollars for the giveaway nobody else send two dollars yet wait until i do the actual actual giveaway um if you don't mind but there we go alec is going on again and there's william carson carson not carlson uh jasper says i would love to watch the stream until the ending but it's 12 25 here jasper you can do it what do you got going on tomorrow? It's Christmas tomorrow. You're just going to get drunk and and anxious about dealing with your family, maybe. <laughs> William Carson says, sweet, I'll be here. Thanks. You're certainly welcome. Um, Guillermo sends 500 arses, and he says, it's $5. Thank you, Guillermo. You have just got yourself in on... The onesie gear fund. 352 goes to 357. Thanks to Guillermo Nespolo. Thank you, Guillermo. And just, just like that, it's time to get some work done. 
Here we go with this. Chat is opened. I can see it. Let's do some things. Uh, yeah, let's start nice and gentle with a, uh, with a tiny whoop cockroach frame swap to go from clear to black because the black is going to work a lot better in the cinematic sense that I'm using it. Uh, Loon says, I'm working tomorrow and look outside, it may be snowing. Yeah, it was, it was just snowing here in uh, Alpharetta. Newcomb says, um... What's the $1,200 going for? Guys, if you see this before him, let me know. Uh, Nukem720, $1,200 is the price that I've put on my dignity, basically. Um, <laughs> if you want a better explanation, rewind all the way back to the very beginning of the stream real quick. Um, but yeah, uh, every, every $100 that we get to, so thus far we're at three, um, Every hundred dollars we hit has me wearing this goddamn itchy fucking hot as balls onesie for an additional hour. So, for example, I didn't wear it for the first hour because when I started the stream, there wasn't a hundred dollars there. Um, but we very quickly got to a hundred dollars. So at the end of the first hour of the stream at five o'clock, basically, I started at four o'clock. Um, at five o'clock, I put this goddamn onesie on over my clothes. Yes, I'm not naked under it. Um, and we've continued to rack up hundreds, right? So we're now at 357. So I put this fucker on at five o'clock, which was an hour and a half ago. So at the moment, I've got another hour and a half of wearing this goddamn thing until I can take it off. Unless that 357 turns into 400. If that hits 400, then I'll have to leave this on for yet another hour. And so on and so forth. So, like, yeah, I, 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 I'm I, secretly hoping that it stays at 357 until I can take this off. So that basically what will happen, I'll be able to take it off for a whole hour. Um, uh, Dauntless, Guillermo donated 50 um, of his local form of currency. Arses. He donated 50. Wait, but then he said it's five dollars. I just assumed... Guillermo, were you trolling me by saying it's five dollars? Is that, is is there any... Is that... Like, can we agree that that's the ultimate troll? Is sending fifty dollars and then saying it's only five dollars? <laughs> what? Five hundred arse in... USD. No, it is five dollars. Um, so that's not what Guillermo did, but I mean, is that like the ultimate troll? <laughs> would it would it have been? Um, LCVFPV with two ninety nine. That goes on the hundred dollar an hour for a onesie torture mission. Which brings us up to a nice round, $360. Thank you most, most of all for the nice round number, LCV FPV. I appreciate the $3, but the fact that it's now at a round number, I appreciate that even more. Uh, Remy Tim says, fuck you in the PayPal. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Oh, shit, you... Bastard, you. Daniel Maurer sending $43. <sighs> Which not only puts us back to a not round number, but it has me wearing this fucking thing for another hour. Uh, what's that put us to? 403, I think, right? I know math. 403. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Another hour in the onesie, thanks to Daniel Maurer. Merry Christmas, brother. I fucking love you. Um, I'm very glad that uh, that you can be here hanging out with your buddy, lanky, big tooth goober man. Dauntless H says, yes, you're right, it's five. Jason Crabtree says, uh, what, do you, what do you have against free falling? Oh, so many things. 
Nukem seven twenty says, "Yeah, Guillermo's money should count toward uh, should count towards more." Remember how bad his exchange rate is. That's true. Uh, we did this before, and you were like, "Holy shit! How do you stay in the a, a, a lot? It's not just Guillermo. It's a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys. Um, your exchange rate to the U.S. dollar is just brutal. Um, crazy." Guillermo says, "No, dude. Uh, uh, that's the exchange." Uh, Ruby Tim, uh, we got that, and then Guillermo says, uh, "Say." Uh, Say to your wife that his laugh. Huh? Say to your wife that his laugh. <laughs> and then he says, hey, I love your wife laugh. Oh, he likes my laugh. He likes your laugh. Okay. Can you guys actually hear her? I did move the mic. I, I, I moved the mic to here because I'm going to be over at the workbench for a while. My, I fucking woke up today and my neck hurt like shit. I'm, I, I, I kind of couldn't believe it. I'm like, really? Of, of all the days? Of all the goddamn days? I have to be like sitting upright for 12 hours straight, neck, and you're going to, you're going to betray me like this? Um, Strip says, I thought you just had a pet hyena. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> she didn't like that one. <laughs> Newcomb says, we all love his wife. She is awesome for dealing with him. That, my friends, is the goddamn truth. Uh, here we go. Doing something simple. I wonder how it'll explode and become hard. Are you good? Do you need water or anything? I am good to go. Are you going out? No, no. I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard of Okay. All right. Hey. Here's how you want to remove your whoop props from now on. This is uh, the company Weha, and they call it a chip lifter. If this piece of shit Logitech will focus, you guys will be able to read the number off of this. So if you go to Amazon and you type in Weha 26810, you can buy your own chip lifter. Look at the head on this thing. I swear to God they created this to remove tiny whoop props. And then they just named it a chip lifter. You put it downwards like this. You put it right in between the prop and the motor bell. Right? <coughs> and then here's the important part. On the on the tiny whoop cockroach frame, you can pinch the motor like this. This is a sometimes these propellers get really, really stuck on here, and it's easy to bend motor bells doing it. So this is how you hopefully don't bend a motor bell. Pinch the motor like this. With your fingers so you got a nice grip on it put this guy in wherever your fingers aren't and then it's just a little lever and you just er, 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 and it pops it right off um yeah those of you who have been in the tiny whoop game for a while will will right now be going oh my fuck i'm going to amazon Wait a second, why do I not have a affiliate link to a chip lifter? Uh, maybe I do. Do I? Do I have an affiliate link for the chip lifter? If I don't, I really should because the, um, look at that, I don't, I'm the worst. Uh, tiny whoop prop remover. And we go to Amazon and we type in, with, what is it? 26810. And just like magic, it finds it. God damn it. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit more in stock. Oh, look. Oh, that one's ESD safe. Is it expensive because of that? Yes, it is. Well. <laughs> suspenseful movie mu music plays, it says. Um, well, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of silly. Although that is with free shipping, so that's good. Um, I guess the 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 I guess we're gonna go for the for the ESD safe one. Yeah, because it's gonna be cheaper in the end. Okay, cool. So the ESD safe one, if I take this, I can go to Amazon Affiliate, 
and sign in and ah! we got that come on come on go here put that hit that hit this get link shorten link highlight html copy and bing bang boom you're fired bob there you guys go chip lifter link in the description below get this cleaned up a little bit here and awesome uh tiago says tell your wife to bring back the head thing um why did i read that out loud dauntless says i wonder if it will explode and become hard that's what she said. Uh, Alexander Romanenko says, exchange rate does not equal cost of living. Uh, Japanese yen is 104 USD, but a cup of coffee in Tokyo at Starbucks is five to 600 yen because math. Um, Alexander, uh, on, on a previous stream, we looked at um, Guillermo's exchange rate and we, we, and we figured out what it costs him to buy FPV stuff. And uh, that was the... That's I didn't fully explain that when we were talking about exchange rate before, um, but yeah, that's the story behind that. Um, and yeah, it was it was ridiculous. It, it, I think we figured out that he basically pays like ten times what we do, and it, it, with the exchange rate factored in, it's it's just it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, Guillermo says if you add your wife to the stream, you will be hitting a million in a day. I agree. But she's so busy, man. She's so busy. She doesn't have all this time that I do to, to live stream and hang out with you guys. Yeah, right. Well, your boobs, but, you know. Uh, Luna Phoebe says, I need it. Uh, Joseph Ben... Bej... Joseph says, uh, and those just sold out on Amazon in seconds. <laughs> uh, Nukem720 says, can't find why. I don't know what why is. Schnoid says, what was the FPV book you mentioned earlier? Uh, it is on Bot Grinders Instagram, and it is called... Damn it. The story is now pushed down. It is called... Go to Bot Grinders Instagram page, and it's there. It is called... FPV Flight Dynamics. There it is. FPV Space Flight Space Dynamics. There you go. Um, Nukem720 just bought a Whoop tool. Use your link, buddy. Hey, thank you, brother. Um, all of you guys who have somehow managed to remember to use my affiliate links in the last year, thank you. I don't know how to remember to use them. I don't. I fucking forget to use my own goddamn affiliate links, which somehow you're allowed to do. Um, yeah, Zanakis is here. Hey, Nevin, um, uh, and chat. What was the what was the idea that we had before that we wanted to uh, to bounce off of off of Nevin? Oh, oh yeah, Nevin. Hey, um, and I know I messaged you about this, but is there a way? Uh, here's Nevin's lovely website. Somewhere. There it is. Um, Nevin, is there a way for the viewers in the chat to look at my inventory? Um, I only have this one thing. I have a feeling that I would have to publish it all, and I don't necessarily want to publish every single thing. Oh, hey, here's my other question. Is there a way for me to batch um, the, the selling uh, setting? Because I would love to to turn to publish these to, to publish all this stuff, maybe maybe it's not a good idea to do that. But my thought was, um, I would love to to on my whole inventory of six eighty five. So I know I can click this and that selects a lot. Um, is there a way for me to bulk put these all from open to offers to unlikely? Um, is that what I would have to do for the chat to be able to see everything? Because what, I, what I'm thinking is if chat can sit here um, while I'm just blabbing and blabbing and blabbing and scroll through these things, 
they might be able to go, oh, shit, I've been looking at these Speedy B 160 millimeter battery straps, but I haven't been buying them because I didn't know if they were any good. But now I know that Ciotti bought them at some point, um, so I can ask him about them. But please, nobody ask me about these because I don't remember buying these. I, maybe they just haven't arrived yet. I hope that these haven't arrived yet because otherwise I lost them. <laughs> I think these haven't arrived yet. I have a get FPV order that is on the way and, and I, I bet you those are in it. Um, Guillermo says, wait, boob in YouTube is like a big thing. Uh, I follow a guy that makes tiny houses and his wife is in all his videos. Uh, my, my wife also has great boobs. Cool. Well, congratulations for that, Guillermo. It's, it's, a, it's a real win. Like, in life, as a man, it's, I gotta tell you guys, it's, it's a real win to, to lock one down with, with tremendous hooters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Um, but it's true. <laughs> uh, William Carlson says, Hyperborean, word of the day, ever, word of the day, yay. Hyperborean, did I, I didn't say hyperborean, did I, are you suggesting a word of the day? Newcomb720 says, uh, those guys that were having problems with F, uh, Pyrodrone and FPV Exchange, get that figured out. Yep, I imported all my stuff from Pyrodrone last night. Uh, I'm going to be doing it soon, just curious. Um, and then, uh, here, hey, we got an answer. Uh, Nevin says, for right now, we have to do it manually, working on a batch operation now to batch posts to Facebook, Marketplace, etc. Also working on a way to batch change willingness. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um, guys, if, if you're farting around on FPV Exchange and you have more suggestions for Nevin, he's in the chat right now. Now's your chance. Um, I'm sure he's got about 7,000 things that he's got in store, um, but I'm sure it'll help for him to, you know, if, if, if a bunch of us have, like, the same request, maybe he can move that forward in his, in his list of a million things to get done. Um, super Merry Christmas to Nevin for the huge uh, giveaway that he did. I think, would you do a stream uh, at noonish? I think, today? Uh, I was still sleeping. <laughs> um, with some amazing giveaways. So, yeah. Uh, lots of Merry Christmases. Uh, brought to FPV people from FPV Exchange today. Uh, William Carson says, it's another app uh, I have. Sorry, I'm, I don't remember what we were talking about, William. Oh, 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 Hyperborean. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a cool idea for an app. It gives you a word of the day. That's that's a really good idea. Dauntless says, um, or join the FPV Exchange Discord. Yeah, that's right. There is an FPV Exchange. God, I gotta get it. I gotta get better with Discord. Uh, Loon is on his PC. I'm gonna switch a tiny loop frame. I'm getting hungry. Are you hungry? There's like shrimp and stuff that you didn't eat earlier. Yeah, that's true. I I, I left that out on the table because I had a feeling I'd be going. Uh... I shrimp back in the fridge though. So if you want any cool. of cool. Tell me I'll get it for you. All right. Uh, I think. I'll make it easy for you to eat. I'll cut it up and stuff. I think I'm gonna swap this frame, and then I think what I'm gonna do is throw up some. Uh, uh, some flight footage for you guys to watch while I go and get a little snack. But first, we're going to see if I can break this <coughs> magical tiny whoop that punches way above its weight with an Insta360 Go on top of it. So the only issue that, that I'll have sometimes with this chip lifter is that the tip of it is not super sharp and sometimes it's hard to get it in between the prop and the motor bell. Um, the easy fix is just to pry up on the the blade of the propeller but it leaves a little mark when you do that so I, I, I try to not do that. There we go. Just gotta just gotta work it a little bit. Uh, okay. So, away we go. 
Let's put this into a black frame. The, the reason that I put this into the clear frame is that I originally built this I originally built this in this exact frame and then I moved it over to the black frame for the exact reason that I am again now um, but then the black frame broke and there's this seemingly constant conversation in the FPV community about dye about the dye used in plastics potentially weakening those plastics. I have yet to see any kind of like proof in, in any way. She, like I've yet to see anybody post like, yo, I tested this in a somewhat scientific way and it's true. Um, so I don't know. It's one of those things that like whenever somebody says it, I'm like, yeah, I wonder if that's real life. You don't have like scotch tape in here, do you? I do. It is in there. What, in the bamboo, in the thing? bamboo thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's uh, hopefully, hopefully this black cockroach frame doesn't uh, fail like the previous one did if it does if I break another so I haven't broken uh, one of these brushless cockroach frames in clear yet um, so if if I break a second black one oh yeah Nukem says file it sharper of course the fuck didn't I think of that uh, Alexander Romanenko says uh, hit that thing with a grinding wheel or a file you guys, they, they, see the power of the collective. Every goddamn stream, the collective comes through with with stuff like that. Uh, Luna FPV says, "Dude, today I dropped my work bag, and you know I told you I hold like eight monsters in it. Uh, well, when I dropped it, it cracked like two of them, so I ended up shotgunning them." <laughs> oh God! Oh, Luna FPV is gonna be awake with me until four a.m. June Loco with a $5 super chat. He says, Merry Christmas, Seattle FPV. Here's a little something something. Thank you, brother. We are going to go from 403 to 408. If we get to 500, I will have to wear this goddamn onesie for, for yet another hour. Basically a fifth hour in a row. As it stands, I'm where I am two hours in to wearing this onesie. So I have paid off the first $200. I still have to pay off the next $200 with my dignity. And that is well worth it. God damn it. <laughs> okay, let's get this camera unplugged. Well, uh, nah, it can just it can just flop around. Oh yeah, it's pointless to unplug the camera because the receiver is up in there as well. The other thing that I did want to do on this is uh, tighten up these... Oh, I can't really get at them. Eh, they're fine. I'm not going to tighten it up. Uh, let's just pull these infinitely small motor screws and then we'll be able to just swap this frame over. <laughs> Loon... <laughs> Loon's going for three. <laughs> I didn't get anything like that. I, I didn't, um, although I kind of can't, man. Caf like, me drinking caffeine is just basically me pooping. Um, it's, it's, it's like a literal light switch. Like, it, yeah, it, it's, and then my head explodes. Because, like, the reason why I'm so unbelievably skinny is I have a crazy metabolism. Um, so I, I live a life where I can't gain weight, which as a man is kind of annoying when you're trying to gain weight to put muscle on to, you know, look better for the ladies. Um, but once you've found an awesome lady, then it's kind of great because... You don't have to worry about getting fat. But 
the flip side of that is you live your entire life hungry as hell. Like, just stomach pain is just, like, it's just my life. Like, I just, hey, what'd you do today? Well, my stomach hurt all day. Um, I got some work done. I, I had some lunch. My stomach hurt, like, ten minutes after I got done eating. And, um... But yeah, so if, if I uh, if I drink caffeine, it's like doing a line of, of black tar heroin. Not that I would have any idea what that's actually like, but um, from the movies, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Guillermo says you're skinny because you poop a lot. I mean, I do poop. But only like once a day. <laughs> yeah, the the I don't think the metabolism has anything to do with uh, with pooping habits, because like the my body is burning it off. I guess you could say my body is being extra efficient. Although I guess it's actually the sort of the opposite. Um, it's not efficient because I have to keep feeding it. Um, tell me that these, tell me that these motors will go through, okay, thank God, ugh, sometimes the, uh, sometimes the motors won't fit through the hole in the frame, and this is a newbie drone AIO board, and the newbie drone AIO boards use, uh, proprietary plugs. So if you want to run non newbie drone motors, which I do because I don't like the I, I, the the newbie drone motors the uh, the KV is way too low for me. I need much more KV than that to be able to uh, really comfortably pick up the Insta three hundred and sixty Go. Um, yeah, so I, I can't use their motors, so I I'm sort of forced to direct solder. And that's a nightmare. Um, having to direct solder motors really sucks. I'm just going to say it. Uh, but it is worth it because these Happy Model 0802 25,000 kV motors are the only 0802 motors that, that you should be getting. They're, they're that good. Um, tinywoop.com has a set of danger onesies which are 0802 27 thousands but they're always out of stock um jesse was supposed to be holding one for me but um i i just haven't had any luck communicating with him um so i i just i ended up telling him not to worry about it and uh, i bought another set of these happy models because yeah i just i needed to i needed the motors uh, but someday, hopefully, I'll be able to get a set of those Tiny Whoop Danger onesies because they are a little bit nicer than these uh, Happy Model motors, mainly in that they have a one-piece bell. Um, so, yeah, still still crossing my fingers that someday I'll be able to get my hands on some of those Danger onesies. But in the interim, uh, these Happy Model 0802-25000s are fantastic. So, let's get these motors pushed back through the holes that they go through in the frame here. We got one in. Let's get this second one. Um, the, uh, the, the whole direct soldering these motors thing, it's, it's doable. Don't get me wrong. It, it's, it's totally doable, but... Um, it is one of the more challenging things that you'll ever that you'll ever do uh, with soldering, and the pads are not quite big enough that like I have a lot of hope for the strength of, of these pads. So I'm being like incredibly gentle right now, in hopes that I don't break um, one of these wires off. Because yeah, I mean the tiny whoop. AIO boards have like no room to spare. Uh, so yeah, the pads are really, really small. And when pads are really small, they're really fragile. 
one of the easiest ways to make a pad not lift is to make it bigger. Uh, you're giving yourself a bigger area of glue because basically pads are literally glued to the PCB, um, which is why typically uh, when you lift a pad, it's because you had the heat on that pad for too long. And what's happening when you have the heat on the pad for too long is that you're getting that glue real hot. And then that glue will, um, well, yeah, I mean, you guys have probably gotten glue hot before. It doesn't love it. And it'll, uh, that's when it'll fail. So there we go. We are in the black cinematic frame, let's call it. Cinematic cockroach 65 frame. We've got all four of those grommets down. They're nice and happy. The motors are peeking through. Let's get the let's get the motors into their little happy home areas. Come on. Just being crazy gentle. Crazy, crazy, crazy gentle. Looking over at the chat, what do we got? Um <laughs> Alexander says, you are describing a gastrointestinal issue, like a food intolerance uh, you don't know about. What do you mean, Alexander? With with caffeine? You think I have a, an intolerance to caffeine? That could be. I don't like caffeine anyway. It makes me so fucking jittery. Because my metabolism, my metabolism is so nuts, like, I'm kind of naturally nuts. <laughs> Cruel and unusual punishment, lol, but hey, we're all having fun. Uh... Dustin says, and then Loon says, change the plug out, just desolder the pins. Uh, the plugs are completely different sizes, unfortunately, Loon. You can't do that. Uh, Guillermo says, did you see the new Mobula light? I did. I watched Nick Burns' video. I, I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't really impressed. I, I don't really, I'm not into the long range thing. So it's just sort of not for me. And that's okay. Loon says, uh, more tiny whoop go. I might not have a whoop, but I can still fly one. Um, Loon, I checked, uh, I watched a, uh, a trailer for that. Uh, I can go ahead and guarantee that there is, is, there is not a snowball's chance in hell of this ancient fucking computer playing that game. It looks gorgeous. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, games looking gorgeous means games ain't gonna work on this, uh, on this old computer. So yeah, no tiny whoop go for me, um, on top of the fact that yeah, if, if I was going to fly a tiny whoop, I'm going to do it for real, not in a simulator. Um, those tiny whoop racers, though, the, the guys that are getting into tiny whoop racing, uh, that simulator is going to be huge for them, man. That, that's going to be great for those guys. And front on the goober canopy, it does not use the front screw hole, so I just put a... Um, I have uh, I have tiny whoop hardware in like various different lengths, so I always run a short one in the front. And now let's just make sure that all the cables are happy. Yeah, they're good to go. So now we're gonna drop these other three on. What's up, Athix? Glad you made it. Merry Christmas. Um, Nukem720 says, what do you think about the new GNB27 connector? I use XT30 on basically everything, not 5-inch. Uh, lightweight 5-inch, I might still use XT30. PH2.0, I can feel the difference. Um, I, it, 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 I like that it's black. Um, I like that it's low resistance. I, I don't care who makes the connector. I just want somebody to make it. And for the fucking industry to say, okay, we're going with this one. Um, I don't care if it's BT 2.0. I don't care if it's this GNB 27. I don't care if it's a, a goddamn monkey fucking a coconut. Um, somebody just needs to make a goddamn tiny whoop connector that doesn't suck as bad as PH 2.0. And then everybody else needs to go, okay, this is the one that we're going to use. Because this bullshit with like... You can only get these certain batteries with this connector has got to stop. It's not helping anyone 
it makes all of our lives more difficult and yeah it's just stupid let's all get together and not be stupid for a change fpv manufacturers please for the love of all that is holy Get your shit together and pick a goddamn connector. Apparently the, the issue with the BT 2.0 connector is that Beta FPV didn't want to license it to anyone else. So, if, if yeah, I mean, we, we can't really blame anyone other than Beta FPV for that. Um, you could totally say, well, they're in their right to do that. And you'd be correct. Um, but sometimes making money isn't everything. Um, and, and if they hadn't done what it's looking like is going to happen is that somebody else is, is going to, well, like this, so this GNV connector, right? Um, basically the first person that makes a connector that they don't pull that shit with and try to control it, um, Hopefully, that'll be the connector that everybody goes with. And at that point, it's like, well, was it worth it, Beta FPV? Right? Like, like was it worth it to do that? You could have just been cool and and not done that. And that this is, uh, for the record, this is hearsay. I, I heard that that was the issue. It makes an awful lot of sense, right? Which is why I'm, I'm willing to, like, regurgitate it without emailing beta fpv i guess and asking them which is technically what i should do but i'm not gonna um so yeah somebody pick everybody pick the same connector and let's all get away from these ph 2.0s how about that for 2021 there's a goal for fpv for 2021 we're going to pick a goddamn battery connector for Tiny Whoops. How about that? Gemfan already saved 2020 by coming out with these insane LED props. Um, if you haven't seen it, jump on their Instagram page. They did a live stream yesterday um, where they gave a lot more details about the, uh, about the LED propellers. And they look super cool. The, uh, the battery is in the hub. And the hub is, uh, I guess, reusable would be would, would be the word. Basically, you can take the um, you can take the hub off and move it in between the propellers. So the the um, the battery it's it's a non rechargeable battery in the hub, and it lasts for like an amount of time. I, I want to say, I feel like they said. Uh, I don't know what they said. I, I forget the amount of time that they said, but it lasts for a good amount of time so that it becomes the, the immediate question is, well, like, what the fuck? I put a set of these propellers on and then I, I, I crash right away and they blow up. I, you know, that, that battery is worthless. So they, um, yeah, they, they made it so that you can remove the center hub with the battery and put that onto a fresh propeller, which is great. Um, I was actually kind of worried about that. I, I didn't say anything, um, but I was worried about that. You guys know I'm a, I'm a little bit of an eco hippie, um, and yeah, batteries are bad, man. Batteries in landfills are uh, bad, which is why you should always try to recycle your batteries. Oh, fuck it, don't try to recycle ba your batteries. Actually, recycle your batteries. Um, all you got to do is bring them to like Best Buy or I think even Target has the little bins in the front. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. Batteries and landfills is, is a no-no. What else we got going on in that chat over there? Family Guyver says, I just picked up the new iFlight A65 Tiny Whoop Christmas Edition. Did I make a good choice? Hopefully, Family Guy, uh, Guyver. Let me, uh, let me look that one up. I've not heard of that. iFlight... A sixty five. That looks 
Looks reasonable. I'm going to go to my favorite site, GetFPV, and take a look at some of the specs. Good looking canopy. Canopy looks to be um, like some kind of a molded plastic, and it, and it looks strong-ish. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell, of course, but um, looks pretty good. Uh, what kind of specs we got? 65 1S 5 amp AIO whoop board with a VTX. Now we're talking. Oh, okay. Do they sell? Hold on. I got to take a little detour in my own self interest and figure out if they sell that board. I am currently on the hunt for uh, AIO boards with. The VTX is built into them. I, I really prefer that. I really prefer my tiny whoop boards to be um, VTX built in, external receiver. Doesn't look like they sell that board. Well, it doesn't look like GetFPV sells that board individually. Yeah, Mr. Huggy, that's the connector we were talking about a minute ago, the, the GNB27. Um, is this it here? What is this thing sitting on top of it, though? Is that the VTX? I bet you that's the VTX. God damn it, that's the VTX. All right. Um, for you, uh, Family Guyver, this is fine. Th this setup is totally fine. I have a very specific, like, weird, tiny whoop build that, that I'm trying to, to accomplish, and this... VTX will not fit under the Goober canopy. I have to run the Goober canopy because it has these uh, Insta360 Go loops available for the top of it. Um, so this ain't gonna work for me, but for you, um, this should be totally fine. Uh, what else? Uh, 24.5 grams without the battery. That's a little bit heavy. It's it's heavy because the VTX is a is a daughter board that's pinned like that. So that's but it's not that heavy that I'm like super worried about it. Um, let's see what they got in the way of motors here. Um, tell me what the motors are. Gyro is an MPU 6000. That is really good news. That is a fantastic gyro in my opinion. It's the best one. Hey, um, uh, uh, speaking of gyros, Brain, Brain FPV. Uh, just released a Radix 2, and it has a different gyro. It is still a Bosch gyro, but it is di a different gyro. So I am eagerly looking forward to UAV Tech hopefully testing the Radix 2 to see if this new gyro has more hardware filtering built in because that was the issue that he and I also had uh, with the previous Radix boards is that there wasn't enough filtering built into the chip you would have to add that filtering in Betaflight, and that ended up with quite a bit more latency than the MPU 6000, for example, with that hardware filtering bit, uh, built in. So, yeah, I would love to... Um, th their flight controllers are, like, ridiculously well made, but I, I gave two of them a shot. I tried the Lee and the regular one, the 20x20 and the 30x30, and I and neither one of them ran as good as my flight controllers with the MPU 6000s. They just they were harder to tune. They had less headroom. They had more noise getting through. Um, Mark Spatz has a video where he breaks it all down, and he just yeah, it's like a 25 minute video, and he just shows you that Bosch uh, a flight controller with that Bosch gyro versus an MPU 6000, and the difference is real. And yeah, so. Fingers crossed that the new Radix has a, um, a better gyro in it than the previous one. Um, no info on the motors. Let's look it up somewhere else. I love it when they call them whoop drones. <laughs> Tiny whoop drone. Thus far... The specs look completely fine, and you're good to go. But I am curious as to what uh, size. It's probably they're probably 0802s. Um, I'm mainly curious about the KV of the motors that they put on there. 
Come on, tell me about the motors. Zing 0802 22,000 kV motors. Awesome. I have those motors and they're great. You're going to love my nuts. Uh, you're going to love that quad. Uh, tiny whoop. Jesus. Uh, scrolling back up a little bit to get caught up on the chat. I am going to miss chat messages. Uh, if I miss it for more than, and it scrolls a bunch, you can just repost it. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to be able to, to keep totally up on the chat. Uh, TPMG says, same, I just want a good, uh, connector. I don't care what it is. Just put batteries with pre-install it. Exactly. Athic says, I have a feeling Santa brought me a Crossfire Nano. Nice. Uh, Nukem720 uh, says, uh, I'm really tired of soldering XT30 connectors, uh, and I've done a shitload. Pick one and let everyone make it and use it. Yep. Family Guyver, uh, we talked about that. Dustin says, my wife has short gut syndrome, so she deals with a lot of GI medical issues. It's no fun to see something, someone hurt constantly that you care about. Um... Uh, Athix FPV says I fly nothing but BT2. Uh, I was starting to go that direction, Athix, and then I stopped. And I'm glad that I did because I have a feeling BT2.0 is not going to survive. Um, and then Dustin says that looks sick, a little ninja whoop. Yeah, it does. Whoops look cool in black. They're really hard to find when they're black, though. Uh, Raccoon FPV says the battery lasts 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, Raccoon FPV, what uh, rig are we talking about? And then Mr. Huggy says, uh, we talk, we got that. Loon says, only issue with, only issue is the Beta Flight 1 is Bayang protocol. Uh, or I'd buy one going with the Alien Whoop Zero board. Alexander says, uh, you're going to get a 3D printer for the holidays. Uh, start printing your own canopies. I am not, Alexander. Uh, Chris and I live in a very, very small apartment. Uh, there's just no space. Um, it would also have to go inside of this room. And this room gets ballistically hot. So the last thing I'm going to do is put, uh, yeah, 3D printers get hot as balls too. Um, so yeah, no 3D printer for me. I can get away with that because I love uh, BMC 3D's uh, designs uh, for for the Glide. There is nobody that makes a better uh, Session 5 TPU mount than BMC 3D. Um, I've looked at all of the ones on Thingiverse and none of them can hold a candle to the BMC 3D1, um, so I have no problem supporting them. Um, and also, you guys really are kind of the other reason that I don't need a 3D printer, because anytime I've ever actually needed something printed from Thingiverse, I've said, hey guys, anybody want to print me something from Thingiverse? And like two or three people go, yeah, send it to me. And then I usually forget to send it to them, and then like a month or two goes by, and I go, hey guys, I need something printed from Thingiverse. Who can help me out? And then a couple more people say, yeah, I can help, send it to me. And then I forget to send it to them, and then a couple months ago. Nukem says, uh, had the same problem with Brain FPV boards. I tried both, uh, and they were good, but too much noise on the gyro. Yeah, it's, um, once you've watched Mark Spatz's video, it's it's kind of just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I had already spent $100 on those two boards, and then I watched Mark's video, and I was like, oh. Uh, I wasted my money. But that's okay. Nukem720 also says the new Amex board in the Nanohawk is really good. I snatched one up for 20 bucks on my FPV store uh, before I think they might have gotten shit from Amex selling them too cheap. <laughs> 20 bucks is really cheap. Damn. Uh, Raccoon FPV says gem fan LED. Oh, right. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Gem fan LED props. The battery lasts 30 to 45 minutes. That's what it was. Uh, thanks for confirming that, Raccoon. Uh, and then Don Ladd says it's Christmas Day now, 1215. Just opened my gift from the. Uh, Mrs. and I got new orca goggles. Oh my god, Don. That is gnarly. Don Lads' his wife. Respect. Respect. That is an awesome present. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, hurry up, Don. G get your tiny whoops up in the air and fly them. Let us know how you like them. Um, okay. Any, any chats that I missed? Sorry. Um, I will not miss Super Chats. Super Chats will never, ever, ever be missed with me as I scroll up and make sure that I didn't miss any. Okay, I didn't. Good. Um, back to work we go. Okay. Two more motors. Uh, yeah, I'm going to blast through this, and then I'm going to give you guys some, uh, some 2020 unedited... Raw Ciotti flight footage to watch, and I'm gonna go get a little snack because I am the hungry.
I have the hunger. Okay. I'm also I also need to start thinking about my voice. Um, on the 24-hour stream, <clears throat> starting to already feel it now. Uh, on the 24-hour stream, after about four hours, I think it was, my voice went to shit. And um, luckily, it, it didn't go all the way. Uh, but, yeah. I don't... Um, I don't talk much in, in a normal... I mean, there's... I feel like there's days that go by that, like, I only will say 20 words. <laughs> because, like, I don't know, Chris and I have been together forever, so, like, we don't always have a lot to talk about. <laughs> right? Um, and, like, if I don't stream, who am I really talking to, you know? I'm just kind of doing editing and... Doing, uh, doing other things. So yeah, my voice is not, uh, is not ready for, for 12 hours of straight talking. Let's get the, uh, I turned that Christmas music off. Let's get that Christmas music going. Um, what happened? What happened? Uh, for anybody wondering, oh, the, the speakers are just turned down. For anybody wondering, uh, this is what? what this is the Christmas music that I'm playing. If you go onto Spotify and you search for stream beats, uh, you'll find they've got these. Uh, there's a there's a fifth one, but yeah, th these this is really decent. Uh, not great, but decent copyright free music, and uh, I'm playing this Christmas one. But for some reason, I can't hear it. There it is. There it is, a little bit of background uh, Christmas jams. Merry Christmas forevermore! Hope you get something cool. Uh, Alexander says, something is beeping. Really? What's beeping? Don Lads is setting up a tiny whoop as we speak so he can test out his fancy new orcas. Uh, Greg Womack says, made the ribbon swap in my T16 Pro, but now the numbers don't change. All the switches work. Should I be worried? Uh, I have no idea, Greg. I I'm a QX7 guy. Um, I have not gotten into the um, into the Radio Master stuff at all. Checking the, uh, the levels. Looks good. I think that looks like it's it's about right for background music. Let me know if it's too loud or too soft or if you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Last motor going on. And then it's snack time. Snack time is the best time. All right. Get in there, you. Huzzah. Sound is good. Awesome. Uh, I will encourage everyone to uh, also go hang out on the Discord channel. Because, uh, especially if you need to post a link, it's one of the things that the Discord channel is really good for. Only moderators can post links in the chat here on YouTube. Alright, last impossibly small, super annoying tiny whoop motor screw and we will celebrate putting this back together with a flight I think that does it yeah uh, 
now's my chance to try a different propeller. What do I got? Do I got anything? What's this? Are these the big azies? Yeah, these are the big azies. I, st I still haven't, uh, I still haven't tried these. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna leave them out. We're gonna try them tonight. Where are my tiny whoop props? What are those? Nah, I don't want those. Uh... Oh wait, no, I know where they are. I put them over here. This is my little box of tiny whoop goodies. My oh, God, look at all these double connectors. Okay, here's my little container of, uh, of Tiny Whoop hardware. Here's a bunch of my extra canopies. A couple of Bee Brain brushless boxes. This is the, the I managed to lose one of these. Loon uh, FPV. I owe him a, um, a Bee Brain AIO. And it's in a box that looks exactly like this that has just absolutely vanished in this room. Um, I've looked for it twice now, and I can't find it. Uh, I think I'm just going to end up buying him an extra one. Um, hey! Here's another giveaway. Uh, Newbie Drone 0802 18,000 KV Motors. Yeah. These ones don't have plugs on them. And the wires are really short. Um, uh, maybe this is not... Maybe I don't want to do this as a giveaway. Well, fuck it. No, I'll do it as a giveaway, and if nobody enters, then, uh, th yeah, then it's fine. Then I'll know that you guys don't want them. Uh, I kind of may as well do the giveaway for the ones without the plugs, because you're just gonna have to cut the plugs off. <laughs> anyway. Because the plugs only work on the, um, on the, uh, words eluded him on the newbie drone boards. So, yeah, cool. Set of 0802s for the giveaway. Maybe somebody will, uh, maybe somebody will want them. What else do we have? I just, I can't believe that... Like, I can see losing, like, a, an envelope of some, you know, like a plastic bag or something, but I don't know how the hell I lost a fucking plastic box like this. God damn it. Here we go! Here's my stash of propellers. Let's see what we got. God damn you. Get up there. Get out of the way. Okay. All right. So, oh, I already had the big Azzies. What a jackass. Wait, no, these are the... Oh, 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 oh. These are the small ones. Oh, okay. Let's try these small ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was kind of hoping for. I was, I was kind of hoping there were um, quad blade small Azzies. Oh, wait, no, this says... Shit, that says 0.8 millimeter. I know why I got these. I got these for the uh, brushed, for the brushed tiny whoops. Okay, I put those up with the brushed tiny whoops. Uh, oh, a battery connector bag. That's perfect. I'll put these. Oh, this is just a random everything bag. Well, that's fine too. One of those. Now, nah, two of those, and one of those. Two of those, just in case. Rest of those are for giveaways. Oh man, getting organized. Look at us go. You go over there now. Okay, I think this is all the gem fan props, and this is all everybody else's props. Yeah. So it looks like I actually have a set of these Azzies in here. Um, the smaller Azzies with the one millimeter. Um, center shaft, but I also think that these are the these are the ones that I bent the blades when I was putting them on, and then they were all unbalanced and angry and 
and just generally pissed off at the world. Wow, it's funny. No, Nobody has tagged me in the chat. Look how weird the chat looks without any orange in it. I'm so used to seeing orange in the chat. I looked over and it was, it, I thought it was like, mon I thought it was like broken. Like black and white Monoch monochrome. <laughs> hey, there's some orange. Rabbit Island says, if your garbage can is not situated under a counter or lidded, uh, my bet is the little box fell into the garbage at some point and then you walked it to the curb willingly. Yeah, could totally be it. Dan Richmond says hello. Ed K says Merry Christmas, bro. S Grace says here's a tag. Merry Christmas to all you beautiful bastards. Anybody that watches Philip DeFranco will know where I stole that line from. Uh, Luna FPV says it's cool, man. Like I said, no rush. I can see, uh, and I can see you ordering a replacement and needing one later, uh, and it just shows up. Caustic FPV says Merry Christmas. Yeah, buddies. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's try these Azzies. Uh, I've yet to be able to put them on and have them be balanced. Um, here's the last one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little trick. For the record, here's all the other here's the all, here's all the other propellers that I've uh, most of which I've tested. These are the new four blade HQs. These make a really weird noise. Um, it's it's very strange. They they make like this rhythmic like brrr kind of noise, which I don't know. I, the, they didn't perf they didn't seem to perform like all that better or different. And the noise just freaked me the fuck out. It it just didn't sound like a really good noise for them to be making. Here's the the three blade version of them. Um, these were okay. I, I really like the four blades. For, for me, the biggest problem with Tiny Whoops is their lack of power. Um, so putting the the most pitchy, uh, most bladed propellers available is the right move. And Sebastian Ruth, SR13, agrees with me. He runs these quad blade gem fans um, and is diehard about them. And I've yet to find anything that that can match these, but you know me, I'll keep I'll keep looking. Um, these I am actually really looking forward to running. I have not had a chance to uh, to try those. They're for the uh, the bigger whoops. So I will try those um, along with these three bladed uh, forty millimeter Azzies. Forty millimeters. That's the the. Um, 75 millimeter tiny whoop propeller size 40 millimeter see if i can remember that for more than 10 minutes uh so yeah let's try these azzies what one of the ways that uh that i try to figure out if a prop if prop blades are jacked up is i line a bunch of them up like this and then i look at them from the side so I'm gonna line a bunch of these up and then this is not like foolproof but if they're really bad you'll catch it All right so I line them up like that and then I just put my head down like level with the level with the uh, with the table you know what I mean and like sometimes if you just if you just like put your finger on it you can flatten out the hub and yeah, you can just like look at the tips of the propellers to see if they're like kind of equidistant. And this one is definitely not. This one is definitely not. The only problem with this is the, the base of the propeller has to be perfectly flat. And it's not even remotely flat. That's why these all look like they're off. Oh, that's interesting. The red ones, the red ones, the the base is much flatter. So the red ones, I can actually tell. Oh, that one's wrecked. Uh, that one's actually not bad. 
sure it is. That one's wrecked. Okay, these are all fucked. Um, I'm gonna take the four red ones, I'm gonna slap them on, and we're gonna see how it is. If uh, it's messed up, I'm just gonna take them right off. Hopefully they don't take a million pounds of force to put them on so that they're easier to take off. Um, so the other way to do it is to put them on the shaft and then you can kind of sneak your little your little pinky in here and just hold the uh, hold the, the the frame flat to your eye so like for basically like that right so that you can just barely see the props above the duct and then just sit here and spin it and you'll you'll see when one propeller is sitting up too high. Did you say something, Kristen? Guess not. Yeah, so that's the other way. Neither one of those uh, methods are particularly foolproof, but they're better than nothing. Those two guys on there. I just want to get that one down a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, these. I can almost guarantee that these won't stay on. Um, but we test shit on this channel, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna back to back these Azzies with the gem fans. I believe. I've got two identical batteries charged. Let's see. And, okay, they're not in there. I had a stack of Tiny Whoop batteries. Where the hell did they go? Ah, right in front of me. I do! I've got two of these Nitro Nectar 300s. Um, am I good to fly out there? Yeah, I'm leaving in like a few minutes. Oh, cool. So. All right, I'll give you some time then. Uh, all right. So we've got these. These gem fan props are probably gonna go back on there, but um, yeah, let's see how these are. Let me let me check the these other three. To uh... Squitchy FPV with five dollars for compromising positions. Thank you, Squitchy. You are going into the gear fund. Four oh eight turns into four thirteen. We are getting closer to another hour of torture and punishment wearing this goddamn onesie. Thank you, Squitchy. <laughs> um, Raccoon FPV is going, is gonna go. Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, Rumi Tim says, you're three hours in, you uh, you already have 84. 84 what? Dan. 84 what? All right, guys, watch him. I'll be back in a few hours. Keep your eye on me. Be good. Love you. Love you. Uh, what else do we have? Geo Fairbanks, come back in to find Seattle FPV on the ground, staring at a bunch of props. Oh, <laughs> okay, go. See Mike Hay is Batman. I invited Katie because I wanted to just... Oh, perfect. There we go. That's a good <laughs> idea. And then Nugum720 says, My UZ65 uh, has 35 millimeter props, thinking about upgrading to 0803 19,000 KV motors, uh, but would 1102 19,000s be worth the extra two grams? I'm thinking maybe they would. Um, Nukem, I really like... Oh, nice, 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 Remy Tim. Everybody click the thumbs up button so that Remy Tim has to keep changing the number that he just typed. Uh, Nukem, I, I don't know for sure. Okay, so I've tried 0803s on the regular small Tiny Whoop props, and they're no good. There's, there's no reason for... Uh, the extra stator. It, it's just, it's worthless. 0802s are definitely the way to go on these smaller tiny whoop props. On those UZ65 props, they are a little bit heavier, for sure. Um, so, your head's in the right place. I would, I think you want to go 1102. Um, Happy Model makes, Happy Model and Beta FPV make 1102s Ah, shit. Here's the here's gonna be the problem. They're not high enough KV. Um, yeah, shit, that sucks. Uh, well, maybe, 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 maybe. Those, if, if those 
if those UZ-65 um, propellers were quad blades, I would feel more comfortable, but they're tri-blades, so I'm, I'm, I'm admittedly a little bit worried for you. Although, I think you said... Yeah, I mean, you're, you're specking out 19,000 kV motors, so depending on what's already on there. Yeah, so the Happy models are 19,000 kV. I'm pretty sure that the... Um, uh, the beta FPV ones are 18,000 KV. So I would go with these, I would go with these happy model 1102, uh, 19,000s. Worst case scenario is that you have too much mechanical torque and the, which will cause your PID tune to work a lot better. Damn. My quad will be soup. My tiny whoop will be super locked in. Damn. It will be a little bit heavier, but um, yeah, I would do the 1102s over the 0803s uh, on those slightly heavier. Oh, we can look. Hey, we can actually weigh the damn things. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really curious at this point, and I'm, I'm also kind of starting to second guess myself on how much heavier they are because they're only tri-blades so they um they might not be that bad so uz65 propellers all four of them with some kristen hair are 1.2 grams for all four propellers uh four of the four blade gem fans are <laughs> 1 point2 grams <laughs> this is why I second guess myself sometimes um, I think you would be better off in that case you're gonna be better off staying with 0802s but jacking the KV up uh, what KV are the UZ65 motors? I want to say that they're 19,000. They're 19,000. Um, so you want to get happy model 0802 25,000s. Uh, that is going to wake the UZ65 up because it's on a tri-blade. And the, and the tri-blades are really gonna benefit from some extra RPM to really get them turning. Um, I have run the gem fan tri-blades on the Happy Model 0802 25,000s and they rip. Um, so you're gonna have a little bit more prop length, uh, which is probably gonna be really good. So there you go. Skip the 1102s, skip the 0803s. 0802s, uh, 25,000 KV or the 22,000 kV. iFlight and Beta FPV make 0802 22,000 kV motors that have bearings, which is super cool. Uh, all the other tiny little motors are, are on bushings. Um, so yeah, if if you wanted if you wanted more efficiency but still more power, iFlight or Beta FPV bearing 0802 22,000. Um, but I really think you should do the Happy model. 0802 25,000s. Uh, they are SR13 FPV's favorite motors, and he's the best freestyle Tiny Whoop pilot in the galaxy, as far as I'm concerned. Broccoli is back. Goddamn right, I'm still going strong. Nukem720 says, uh, I have quads cut down gem fans. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you could take the, um, you could, um, take the, the bigger Tiny Whoop propellers and shave a little bit off. Um, I've never gotten into the cutting down props thing. What is wrong with you? You just, just... All of a sudden, now you decide that it's crying time? Are you okay, buddy? That wasn't you dying, was it? Hold on. He's not usually this bad. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. That's not a flight video.
Oh boy. Listen to that. Oh, it was really windy. Oh wow, I don't know if I ever watched this. This is a little sketchy, but it's three hours and 20 minutes into a 12 hour stream. I think we're safe. Be right back. Uh, it was very windy. That's my excuse. You'll hear why. mid-throttle oscillations. Uh, kitten's not dead. Just being a jerk. And I'm caught up on chat. Holy crap. Uh, let's fly this goddamn thing. Uh, got a little bit of monitor action here for you guys. I'll struggle to find the channel as usual. Uh, where's that battery? There it is. I've got two batteries that we're gonna... Oh, let me go get... Uh, I gotta get the apartment ready for uh, for flying. I did have a spotter for the record. Jamie Ann was uh, was my line of sight spotter. <laughs> should be cool looking. 
got some light areas, some dark areas, and we've got a screen coming online here. All right, going up to channel 38, I think I remember from yesterday. Channel 38, I need goggles and a transmitter. I found them. Yo, this fucking onesie is not not hot. That's for sure. Jesus, I, why did I crank this so tight? All right, I got that, and a little bit of this. Okay. There we go. There. Let's rip! Goggles on! Testing the Azzy Four Blades on uh, on Happy Model 0802 25,000s. Come on, come on, get in there. There we go. Hey! No Insta360, oh, come on, really? Is it not on, no, it's on R8. Is 38 not the, not the channel? Or wait, no, maybe it has to be on A, not B. Oh, farts. Thought it was B. Let's go to 39. Oh, it's 39. Look at that. Okay. All right, fellas. This is this is not good enough. Hold on. Uh, S Grace asking about the tune. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. I was a little too heavy on P gain, and it was a very windy day, and uh, with big buildings like that. The, uh, the wind will swirl really bad, and it's very challenging. It's a very challenging uh, situation to tune for. And I just didn't have the tune quite right on that day. What's nice is, uh, even though you can hear the oscillations, you can't see all of them. So I replaced the audio in most of my stuff. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not that big of a deal. All right, we are in the air for the first time on the 12-hour stream. Oh, wow, look at your boy in this fucking onesie. Oh, my fuck. Oh, <laughs> that was a big one. Jeez. We won't talk about how I just whipped past that, uh, that lamp. Oh, boy. No, let me go! Let me go! Who's got me? No. No! What? Why? How? Where even? Oh, it's in the corner. It was like, it was like backed up into the corner of the couch. That was weird. All right, here we go. Here we go. See where the kitten is. Let's check on, on Sir Harold. There he is. He hates the tiny whoops, so I'll leave him alone. Man, this thing, I'm used to flying this with the, uh, with the Insta360 Go on it. So, yeah, it is very different. I really want to get through that goddamn tunnel. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Kitten tunnel achieved. Woo, boy. 
So this is a uh, Newbie Drone Nitro Nectar 300. Oh boy. Ah, I thought I could cheat it. Go into the world's weirdest bathroom. Oh, sorry buddy. Now I have to chase you, it's the law. Where'd he go? Is he here? No, ah, where'd he go? Where'd you go, little boy? Actually, no. Let me not chase him around. Um, it feels pretty good on these props. It 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 uh, lacks a little bit of power. To be expected. It's a uh, it's less prop surface and more. What happened to the OSD? There we go. Oh boy, battery's low. Oh no. A little bit too low. Uh, that runtime there is the only thing not amazing about the uh, 08, 0802 25,000s. Um, if you're, you know, you guys saw me work in the throttle quite a bit, that uses up the battery um, when, when you're using full throttle on a high KV motor, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna use some juice. Oh fuck, keystrokes aren't working. Oh, that's gonna suck to not have the keystrokes working for the next ten thousand hours. Uh, let's switch these propellers out, and we'll see if I can tell a drastic difference, which I won't be able to, but. It's always good to see. I don't, um, I don't fly these tiny whoops often enough to to really be able to tell the difference uh, beyond like placebo and, and confirmation bias. Uh, so yeah, it's tough, but and and that's why I listen to Sebastian Ruth, SR thirteen FPV because he does spend a lot of time flying tiny whoops so yeah when he says that uh he prefers the gem fan four blades i say cool so do i get these guys off of here and we'll throw those gem fans on and i mean the, the gem fans are the props that i'm just gonna leave on here Speaking of gem fan, ah, I'll show you guys after the after the break. I will show you guys after I get some foods. All right, we got some clear on the front. We're gonna put some purples on the back. We're gonna do one more battery. And then I'm gonna get a snack, yo. A tan! A fucking tan! If anybody can figure out what movie that quote is from, I'll be pretty impressed. I don't even remember the movie. Uh, fresh newbie drone gold going in. Let's see how it be. All right, get that down there. I'm gonna hit this. Oh, keystrokes work. Oh no, it's because I was highlighted on the on the thing. All right, here we go. Head to head. Ah. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, these are the ones. <laughs> these are the propellers. These are the way. Woo, shit! Oh, <laughs> boy! That happened in a hurry. Ah! Oh, 
Oh god, oh no, oh no! Jeez. Things happen so fast with these uh, brushless tiny whoops. My god. Oh no, what was that? What got me? I thought I had that. Oh. I'm on the lamp. See that snack plate? That's what I'm gonna be eating. And I'm gonna get myself some shrimpies. Some shrampies. Look at this guy. Look at this fella. Anything going on under here? Nothing? Oh god. Whoa boy! Whoa boy! Whoa boy! Yep. Oh, I can't believe I just pulled that off! <laughs> Woo! Nice little bounce off the door. Oh wow, I just cleared that door frame. Ow, oh, farts. I love the world in reverse. Oh no! Oh my god, I almost made it. I can't usually get all the way down the hallway with any sense of speed, but... Damn it. Oh, what if I can run that, um... What if I run that goddamn tunnel backwards? Can you fucking imagine? Oh boy. It's so hard. That's what she said. Look at the fucking yaw on this thing. Like, can you... I mean, admittedly, I have... Th this is also tuned to carry the Insta360 Go. So, like, the tune on this thing is ridiculous right now. I should probably have a second tune uh, for when I'm not carrying the, the Insta360 Go. But... I mean, it flies fun. It's it's just like locked in space with this tune. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh my god! I almost fuck. Can you? What if I get? If I get in that tunnel backwards and go through it, I'm like that might be the last. That might be it for me in FPV. Oh wow, that was a big one. That was a big one. That was a dumb crash, too. Oh, God! That was the kitten! Where was he? Oh, now I feel bad. He was not happy with that. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Not enough. Um, so, yeah. Those, uh, those props. Yeah. Those are the better props, right? Was it in Varsity Blues? Oh, my God. Did you have to look it up? A fucking tan! Yeah, now I can, now I remember it. It was the big guy that said that. Uh, it's when he was, what was he? He was raiding something. Um, damn. I really like flying that tiny without an Insta360 Go on it. Um, unfortunately, you can't get any footage out of it. Uh, but, you know... That performance is like the the yeah it's it's like a fucking Miata with an LS1 in it. It's crazy. Okay. Monitor is out of the way. Black frame is not broken, which is good because that one crash was pretty fucking mega into the door frame. There it is, and that's in uh, Fat Boy configuration with the uh with these bunny ears for the insta 360 go holder um these weigh two point something grams so this is actually like yeah let's see this is in uh this is not in proper fighting trim it's it's dragging around a uh, an empty car trailer with the newbie drone nitro nectar gold 32 and a half grams without it uh, 24.2. So it's still pretty light. 24.2 is still sort of light. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it would hammer even harder without these stupid ass... They're not stupid ass. They're amazing. 
Uh, Dalton actually designed these. Dalts in the in the chat. I don't know if he's still in here. He was in here before. Uh, yeah, these are his design, and uh, it it's it's really good. It, I really like it. The only thing, uh, the only thing is, I wish it uh, tapered a little bit on the edge where the Insta 360 Go is. But I just took a pair of uh, uh, little clippers. Uh, TPMG says, how did the Emu flight test go, by the way? Um, you can, if you want to just, like, fast forward from yesterday's stream to, like, the last half hour, you'll get to see. Um, basically, it didn't do, there was really no improvement over Betaflight. Um, yeah, this flight software is flight software. The, I, I know that a lot of people make a lot of big claims about flight software, but when you get right down to it it's really not they're yeah it's not that they're not that different they're they're a lot they're the the flight software is is all way more similar than it is different if you catch my drift and uh yeah whoop wednesday this week was a really good example of that um just I mean, I get it, you know, the, 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 the guys working on Flight 1 and KISS and, and EMU Flight, they've got a ton of time invested, right? So, of course, when, when they talk about the features, all the features are going to be the greatest things in the world they're, and they're going to be groundbreaking. Um, but here in, you know, the rest of us, when we actually go to test them, it's, it's a lot of confirmation bias. It's a lot of placebo. It's a lot of like, oh, yeah, this definitely feels better. And then you do an act a legit blind test and you can't tell. So it's a lot of that. I, I um <laughs> Tiago says be careful, there's a strange looking guy in your office <laughs> wearing strange clothes. Um Yeah. If uh the 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 reason to choose one firmware over another is whatever you make it. Like try, I mean Beta flight is is the one for me and for most people if you have to be different you can try something different um, just understand that 99% of the support that's available out there is for beta flight um, uh, so yeah when you have a problem with emu flight or kiss or flight one there's not a Joshua Bardwell <laughs> that has the answer for you. Um, and my experience with Flight 1 and KISS was really... Um, that aspect of the experience w was like... It really made me appreciate how much support there is for Beta Flight. Even outside of Joshua. Like, being on Beta Flight, you can go to fucking Google and type your question in and it'll find an answer for you. You can't do that with Kiss or Flight One, in in my experience. And and I've I've got my Google Foo is is it's all right. I'm 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 not a yellow belt. I'm also not a black belt. So you know, Loon FPV just kicked the shit out of some randoms. Lapped them actually. I love this game. He's playing the Tiny Whoop Sim game. I think uh, Mustang Pilot is here. What's up, brother? Merry Christmas to you as well. Schnoid says Billy Bob's grade of. Uh, Billy Bob's grade of Miss Davis's strip show. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what, what's that mean? Uh, Dustin Gable says that little thing rips with those props. Yeah, dude. I mean, not to mention, like, this little setup will comfortably carry an 18 gram payload. Like, that's crazy for a, a rig that weighs... 24 grams to be able to carry its entire weight basically like this is this is nuts um and we're gonna build another one of these but first i'm gonna get a snack so you guys are gonna have to watch some of the old stuff the only way for me to get something to to just roll um is going to be for me to play a playlist, but uh, maybe maybe there's some edits that you guys haven't seen of mine. So I'm just going to go to my channel here, and we're going to go. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go to playlists, 
And what playlists do I have going here that I can just turn on and let sit for a little bit? Look at that patrons only playlist. CIDFPV.com if you want to get access to that playlist. CIDFPV.com and then click Patreon and join. Three bucks a month, 10 cents a day. You can do that, right? I know you can. Uh, let's just go to FPV mini quads and. Oh, this is going to have unlisted edits in it too. Uh, let me sort these the other way around. We'll play this from old. Oh, shuffle. That's cool. Shuffle playlist. Neat. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to randomly choose this one. Oh, half decent edit. Okay. You're not going to get the music from it. You're going to have to suffer with more Christmas music. I will return. It is 8.08 .08 p.m. I've still got two more hours in. The Wait, no, one more hour. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Where are we at? So we are at 4.13. I put this thing on at 5 p.m. I am three hours in. Cool. So I only have one more hour of onesie unless that little guy there gets up to 500. Do, don't do it right now because I got to go eat. Well, yeah, you can. I'm going to leave the chat where it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get a little snack. Enjoy some of my older edits. Uh, a, a shuffle. So it's going to every random edit and uh, I'll be back in a little bit <laughs> oh, I'm a weird person here we go
Any and all sketchy flying there was done on micro brushless rigs under 250 grams, most of which under 100 grams. What's up, fools? I'm back. I've got a belly full of shrimp and cocktail sauce. I'm sure that'll go well. 
Okay. I'm gonna scroll up in the chat to eight o'clock. There we go. We've got Newcomb 720. Have you ever. Uh, whatever happened to La Forge? They were at the top and just stopped and died off. Know anything? I don't. Um, yeah, it's true. Uh. LaFord did just kind of disappear, huh? Um, yeah, it's weird. Broccoli says, still rocking the onesie I see. Broccoli, I am stuck in this thing for another half an hour if you're still here. Um, unless the crazy viewers manage to get that 413 to 500. But, like, if that gets to 500 at any point, I'll then have to put the onesie on for another hour. So, if it doesn't happen in the next uh, 27 minutes, that's okay. That's fine. Oh, wait, I scrolled way too far back. <laughs> no, I didn't. I got the timestamps now. Um, why can't I find my spot? Here it is. Uh, Ruby Tim says, when I was on race flight and I was having issues, I couldn't find any answers, so I went to Preston, and his answer was literally, oh, well, that shouldn't happen. Um, yeah, I had a pretty similar experience where, like, if I could find someone to answer questions, the, the answers were, uh, well, try this, maybe it'll work. And, I, that's just not, that, that's, that's not, that's not a good answer. Uh, Mr. Huggy says, Emu Flight Discord support, I have to be good. Um, yeah, Emu Flight has a Discord page, and it looks like they're pretty active in there. So, in theory, Emu Flight will give you a lot better support. Um, I can't, uh, I can't speak to that because I haven't, uh, spent enough time on Emu Flight to need support. Steve FPV says, just tagged you in a post on Facebook. Let's see what it is. Why'd the music stop? Music, why'd you stop? There we go. Uh, Facebook page being tagged in a post. Notifications. What do we got here? Got people asking to join the Umagod crew. Super secret Facebook group. I am not gonna approve anybody. That is not my group to be approving people. I also don't know if that's still... I think the group might officially be opened now. It used to be... Um, oh, no, it is still private. Okay. Somebody else took care of it, it looks like. All right. Got it. Got it. Uh, I don't see it, Steve. I just have all old notifications. Uh, oh, it might be, oh, 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 nope, nope, it's gonna be in here. I'm on my personal account. I need to go over here to Ciotti FPV, and then, I really wish Facebook would combine these notifications with my other ones. Man, that would be nice. Uh, Steve did that at 8.14, it's now 8.36, so that was roughly 20 minutes ago. So I guess that's this. I can't find it, Steve. It's not showing it to me. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, that's that's Facebook's notification system is just a nightmare. Um, what's what's the post, Steve? How do I find the post? What can I search for to find the post? Now I'm all curious. And hey, there's Gator FPV sending me his address. Thank you for that. I'm going to leave this opened. All right, there we go. Uh, Dauntless says he eating shrimp. It's uh, what's the uh, what's the twelve fish thing? 
for uh, for Christmas? Isn't there a, is, I'm a bad Italian, man. I should know these things. Huff19 FPV says, Merry Christmas to the FPV world. I agree, Huff. Merry Christmas to all you lovely FPV. I did change shirts because the green shirt was soaking wet in the armpit area. Toxic FPV grabbed Rebel Galaxy for three bucks on his PC, and so should you. It is an awesome game, and you're going to love my nuts. Dustin says, yes, don't forget timestamps are on now. That is like a goddamn game changer. Okay. Uh, what's next? Um, should we stick with the... the t oh, no. You know what? Let's finish the, uh, the Rip Squeak micro. No, let's do a giveaway. Uh, 58 people. So the, the 58 people that stayed when I, uh, yeah, it looks like we lost about 20 people, um, since I started eating shrimp. Your, uh, your, your, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, prize? Your prize is a giveaway? Is it a prize? Your, uh, oh, hold on. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get a couple more Tiny Whoop batteries charging. Oh, God. Okay. I meant to do this last night, but I didn't. So let me just do this super quick like. I'm gonna take both of these newbie drone golds, throw these on here, and then I'm just gonna grab a couple more of these rando batteries that I got floating around. Let's grab this guy, let's grab these guys. And two of those, two of these. Actually, no, I'll go four of these. Oh wait, no, that's all I can put on there, okay. Two, two, and two. All right, this guy, and that guy. All right. This is how I charge my uh, Tiny Whoop batteries. I have uh, I have a, a bunch of 4S 1300s left over, uh, which work totally fine, and I use them to charge the uh, the Tiny Whoop batteries on this little Beta FPV charger. It works shockingly well, and it's a way to keep these 4S 1300s charging and discharging. You know, so they don't. Uh, so they don't just sit there collecting dust. Ruby Tim says, I believe the word you're looking for is suckers. <laughs> 58 of the sustained your suckers. <laughs> Newcom720 says, uh, you got my info in my Patreon message. I know you said your messages were being weird. Um, uh, yeah, the messages come through. I just don't get notifications from the Patreon app anymore. It's super annoying. But the, the messages do come through totally fine. Uh, okay, that goes away these guys you stay away from me uh this is done this is the last you're gonna see of this in the 12 hour stream bye bye little guy bye bye yeah. okay fancy phone you go over here and Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway for some small stuff. It's gonna be an RC crazed large t-shirt. It's gonna be a set of Beta FPV Gem Fan 2020 two inch uh, Cinewoop props. There'll be two sets in there. No, it's just one set. It's gonna be a package of five uh, there's no reason to do five. 
uh, a packet of three. <laughs> three of these little uh, PH 2.0 piggyback double make it run it on 2S things. I'm going to put them in here. One, two, three. And what else? Uh, oh! Uh, Axi 2 SMA. Wait, no, I should keep uh, I should stay in the in the tiny whoop theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a tiny whoop themed giveaway. Oh god. Uh, uh this crazy looking XT60 uh tiny whoop battery charger. And What else we got? What else is here that's Tiny Whoop related? Oh god. Um, do I have any frames? I do. I do. I do have extra frames. Let me grab some uh, some Tiny Whoop frameage. Uh, what about this one? Uh, what about that one? Hmm. Hmm. Looking for Tiny Whoop stuff. Trying to keep it themed. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I came over here and looked. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, of course, you idiot. Newbie drone, 0802, 18,000 kV motors. Yeah, they're in this giveaway. And then uh, I gotta get to, uh, we, let's do some, let's do some framage. What do I got in here? This is that and that. What the hell is that down there? One single motor. That's weird. Um, all right. So there's gonna be there's gonna be a couple a couple of frames in here. This this is for. I need that one. I need. Oh god damn it! Did I buy a second one of these? Hey, look at that. I accidentally bought a second one of these. So, uh, this is the new Beta FPV uh, Frame 75 uh, V2. Uh, yeah. That is going in. I need to test these two. Which one is this? This is a little bit different. I need to test that one as well. That's another test frame. Okay, good, 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 good. Those are out of here. That is interesting. So it's also going to be uh, a red shifters frame. It's a number that I don't know. Who's that? Who's that? Okay. Uh, Red Shifters. So this is a 75 frame. So I guess uh, it would make the most sense to do a Red Shifters 65 frame. So that's going to be this guy. Is this the one that... I'm just trying to mentally make sure that I've tested these. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. R3D shifters, um, 65 millimeter pusher frame is going to be in here as well. Oh, damn it. There, there we go. 
Puts the camera up in front. Very cool little frame design. This is gonna be in here as well. And then, that's a good place to stop. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, 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 it's a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the difference between these two though? Oh, this is a, uh, oh right, this is that move. Okay, yeah, I haven't tested this yet, so. Um, definitely holding on to that one. And then this one is the regular 75, which I haven't tested yet either. Okay, cool. Good, so those are good to go. That's set. Okay, so our eight o'clock, 50 minute late giveaway <laughs> is a large, um, large, Snack time must be removed from, removed, yeah. <laughs> you guys better not have been able to fucking see me. Um, uh, because it was boiling hot and I took the top of the fucking thing off. Um, okay. $2 super chat or PayPal gets you into this giveaway. Um, I gotta get caught up on the chat in a second, but um, yeah. $2 super chat or PayPal. If you want to do PayPal so that YouTube doesn't take 30%, uh, you go to cidfpv.com, you scroll down, there's a PayPal button, you hit it and you type in and away you go. Um, so, RC crazed large t-shirt, um, beta FPV, brand new, 75 uh, V2, something or other, super ninja fancy frame. 65 millimeter red shifters pusher frame um ph 2.0 double two into one so you can run double batteries for 2s uh set of beta fpv 2020 props they're four blade two inch cinewoop props uh crazy looking charger thing a full set of newbie drone 0802 18,000 kv motors and that's it. Those are all the things in this giveaway. Go! Huff19FPV with a $5 super chat. He says, not sure what the scale is on the side, but I'm hoping this will move the needle. Keep up with the great work. Thanks, Huff. Um, every hundred bucks, you know, 100, then 200, then 300, then 400. The next one is 500. Um, each hundred dollars forces me to wear this stupid ass, itchy, hot as balls onesie for an additional hour. We are at 4.13. I started wearing it at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. It is 8.50 Eastern Time. So in 10 minutes, I get to take this thing off and just wear like a regular t-shirt and shorts until that 4.13 gets to 500. Once that gets to 500, then at the beginning of the next like hour, which would probably be 10 o'clock at that point, unless you guys go ballistic in the next 10 minutes. What you can't, you kind of can't go nuts in the next, well, if, if you wanna, if you wanna do a donation towards this in the next 10 minutes when I'm gonna be doing this super chat giveaway, make sure you say it. Make sure you say, well, no, actually, any, any amount that you guys do more than $2 for the next 10 minutes, the extra amount is gonna go towards that. That's, that's what I have been doing, so that's what I'll continue to do. Um, so yeah, Huff19, thanks. Five bucks is going towards that. Merry Christmas. Uh, Raccoon FPV with two British pounds. He says, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a good Christmas. I mean, how can I not have a great Christmas? I'm hanging out with you guys. Uh, so we are going to go in here. 413 goes to 418. And then night. I'm just going to go 420. That's pretty close. I don't know the... Um, usually the... the uh, pound to English dollar is roughly like 1.6 or so. So yeah, we're close enough. 420 out of 1200. Look at us go. It's the weed number. Um, scroll, scroll, scroll. What do we got? William Carson says, what happened to the Tiny Hawk uh, 2S? I'm going to do that on, uh, I think the next, yeah, I think the next, um, the 10 o'clock giveaway, I think is going to be the, uh, the Tiny Hawk freestyle two and then the midnight giveaway to celebrate christmas well no okay so let's do that so the 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 10 o'clock giveaway will be the source one with tpu and then 
the midnight giveaway to celebrate Christmas is going to be the Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. What do you think of that? And then at 2 a.m., I'll be so punch drunk that I'll, I won't know what the giveaway is. <laughs> I gotta, so I just gotta find, I gotta find something for the 2 a.m. giveaway. I'll be able to do that. It's fine. Uh, these things I'm just gonna put in this shirt and wrap up into a tight little package. That's what she said. I'm gonna put the motors in here with the, uh, with the little... 2s pigtails and all right there we go Nyeh. there it is <laughs> two dollars to get a shirt with mystery items inside or you can just rewind about two minutes <laughs> Uh, Luna FPV says, watch the board show up now while you're searching. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Tiago with a, with five, uh, you're real, right? Yeah, you're real. Um, he says, snack time must be removed. The PDA's time. We are watching. No, you're not. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to leave it on the 420. I'm just going to take those, those five reals and eat them. Ruby Tim says, I'm itching you for to spot for you to spot those super chats and update the total. I, I which I should have I think I'm good now, right? Right? Uh, Loon says Christmas miracle. Uh, can you tell the green has kicked in yet? <laughs> Private Allen says change your total to 420. Oh shit. Alright, getting caught up here. Oh, cool. And then uh, we've got the uh, S-Grace with 20 Norwegian kroner. He says, whoop, did doop. I'm assuming that, uh, now nah, let me look it up. Let's look up Norwegian kroner. Uh, 20 NOK to USD. Look at that. All right. S-Grace goes on the wheel. Hey, where is the wheel? There's the wheel. And, all right, S. Grace goes on. Oh, there goes my email. And, oh, Tattoo sent me a Merry Christmas email. 10% off. Cool. Way to go, Tattoo. Tyler Sherrard, 8.50 p.m. giveaway. He's going on the goddamn wheel. A little bit of Steven Steinbaker. He sent six dollars. Two towards the giveaway. Four towards the onesie. On the wheel he goes. Four twenty becomes four twenty-four. Thank you, Steven. Tom Coughlin, he's getting in. He wants some tiny whoop things. Extra Christmas presents that won't show up until 2021, probably, with how wrecked the mail has been. And a little bit of Daniel Maurer love. He likes to build a little bit of everything I heard. B-Man is next. B-Man just wants the shirt, I think. Uh, I don't know. Just randomly. BVTV is getting in. $2.99. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas to all. And to all... Get in on the giveaway, or else. Chris Mel FPV, happy holidays, $3. I highlighted the $3 instead of his name. That was a strange thing to do. There we go. Eddie P. Fun says, let's go. He is in. Uh, as soon as I get done adding names, I'm spinning the wheel. I'm not going to drag this one out because it's not as big of a giveaway. Uh, Gator FPV says, come on, two for two. <laughs> Two of his five going towards the wheel. The other three going into the gear fund. Four, five, six, seven, and I think eight. Somebody else did three bucks. Yeah, two people did three bucks. So nine. There we go. 429. And Josh PFPV, he wants in. And Josh, I'm happy to tell you that you get in. You're in. And BVTV with uh, saying thanks for the opportunity to win. 
thank you for the support. And Merry Christmas. God damn it. Geo Fairbanks, he's in as well. Uh, Huff19, he says, I would have donated to get you out of the suit. <laughs> I would have loved that donation. <laughs> All right, uh, Private Island, he's getting in. Put Dustin Gable on there instead of me. Okay. I just do what I'm told, man. People tell me what to do, and as long as it's not bad, I just do it. Morning View says, Mustangs are tough. Did you know that, was that just, are you just randomly saying that, Morning View, or did you know that I had a, a tough Mustang? I had two tough, well, no, I had one tough Mustang. I had one really embarrassing. <laughs> Four-cylinder Mustang. <laughs> uh, no oh, come on, YouTube. Nukem720 with a $5 super chat. He says, put Dustin Gable in for this one for a random FPV Christmas gift for an FPV buddy and the rest towards your crazy outfit. Well, I just put Dustin on there, <laughs> So I'm going to put you on there. Unless you really don't want me to. And I'll take you off. Ooh. All right. Uh, William Carson says you'd said that uh, that the next one was going to be the Tiny Hawk. Uh, I lied. Um, but I know that you paid in advance, William. So I'm going to put you on the next wheel. I'm going to make sure I get you on the next one for that. Cool. Uh, Dan Richmond says, do you still have those box goggles with the eyes on them? I don't. Um, I need eyes for my goggles. Dan, uh, Amazon. Just go to Amazon and search for googly eyes and you'll find them. Uh, they make them in all different sizes, and which is great because you can then just measure your box goggles and get the perfect, like, gigantic sizes. And, uh, yeah, I ended up selling those, uh, box goggles to, uh, my buddy Chris up in, who lives up in New York. Uh, because he wanted to start flying. He got a, uh, a newbie drone tiny whoop and started flying. Nacho Quad is going on the wheel with a two ninety nine dollars super chat. Thank you, Nacho. Merry Christmas, brother. Loon FPV, he's into it. And Joshua Bardwell, what's up, brother? Are you back from vacation already? Good to have you, man. Um, Joshua says literally 15 seconds Literally 15 seconds after I joined the stream and you're calling four-cylinder Mustangs embarrassing? <laughs> Never. <laughs> no. I had an embarrassing four-cylinder Mustang, Joshua, because it didn't have a turbocharger attached to the exhaust manifold. You have the right four-cylinder I, I, To this day, I really want to do a autocross um, uh, 80, 1986 uh, SVO Mustang build. Um, with the the turbo the the old so the in the in the 80s the Mustangs uh, had they were either the five liter V8 or they were a 2.3 liter four cylinder that was basically a truck engine um, but it responded pretty well to boost and there were a good amount of parts there was a company called Esslinger Engineering um, who made a shitload of parts for that 2.3 liter um, old school. Mustang engine. I, I think, isn't the new one, isn't yours 2.3 liter as well? I think, Joshua? I think a, a lot of the four-cylinder Mustang guys went ballistic when the new one, when they changed the displacement on the new one to be like 2.3 again. Like We had like, we were such nerds, we had like fucking badges, like little 2.3 badges, you know, that were in the same font as the 5.0 badge. It was great. Um, Joshua's going on the wheel, whether he likes it or not. He's not, he doesn't want to be on the wheel. Joshua wants me to be in this onesie for longer, I'm sure. I'm going to assume that Joshua would rather his $5 go to me suffering. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds weird. Uh, me suffering rather than the rather than a bunch of uh, Tiny Whoop stuff. Um, Guillermo says, don't forget about me on this one as well. Deal, Guillermo. That's right, you sent the, uh, um, I think you sent two bucks, uh, after I'd already spent, I forget. Uh, back to PayPal, we've also got Justin, whose last name begins with an S, he goes on the wheel. 
He goes wheel. He wheel goes. And then we've got Frank Nicholas getting in. Thank you, Frank. And it looks like the last one over here on PayPal is Jason Crabtree. If you don't see your name in here, better hurry, because I'm going to spin this son of a bitch any second now. Uh, Jason, I got you. Joshua, his donation goes towards my suffering. Um, Joshua, since you just joined, uh, my, um, my, my gimmicky shill for this extra long stream, um, is for every hundred dollars that we get to, I have to, I've, I've, I've essentially sold my dignity. Um, I've literally put a price on my dignity. Um, every hundred dollars we hit, I wear this stupid ass onesie for an additional hour. Um, we got to a hundred bucks within like five seconds of the stream starting. So at the end of the first hour, which was five o'clock, I put this damn thing on. And since we're still, since we're still in the four hundreds, um, Ooh! Yes! Yes! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. So I have until 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, 56 minutes from now, if this is not at 500, I will have another hour of freedom! Uh, uh, my fetuses are gonna get cold. The little, the little footies in the. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen. <laughs> Looking like at ten o'clock, the goddamn thing goes back on. Joshua Bardwell with a fifty dollars super chat. Thank you, brother. Um, super, super Merry Christmas to you. Um. And my absolute heartfelt thank you for everything that you've done for me. Um, yeah. It's, uh... It's... If you guys don't know, um, Joshua Bardwell is a person that, um, outside of FPV, like, in, in life, I've, I've met people who, um, I, I, they, they inspire me to be a better, just, like, human being. Um, and Joshua is, is one of those people. I, I don't, I'm not like a goal driven person. Like I don't do well with like making goals and, and shit like that. Um, but there are just, there are people that I've come across in my life who, um, I don't know. They, they just embody like what it is to be a really good person on this planet. And, uh, yeah, Joshua has been one of them for a long time and, and continues to just be amazing so um yeah brother thank you uh, uh the how do i pronounce that i'm usually good at saying things but the 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 resark the resark 2012 i'm so sorry that i just i'm sure i completely mangled that much love for the two dollar super chat thank you thank you thank you uh, you are getting on the wheel. BVTV with a 99, uh, with a dollar super chat. BVTV, if you do another dollar, I'll, oh wait, no, I already have you on the wheel. I already got you on the wheel, BVTV. So we've got, um, the person whose name I just completely mangled, who's going on the wheel. And then I'm going to add 51 from BVTV and Joshua to the gear fund, which is going to be 80. Oh, look at that. Nice round number. 485. If that gets 15 more dollars, there'll be a more another hour of suffering. Please no. 
please, yes. Um, got that, got that. Okay, let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody. We've got Loon FPV. I got you on here. I've got Guillermo on here. Justin, Frank, Jason. Those were all from PayPal. That's good to go. And then Private Island with three Californian dollars. He says, this one's for Joshua. Uh, Private. I'm putting you on the wheel, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm putting you on the wheel. I hope. I mean, I'm just going to do it. And there we go. Private Island FPV is on the wheel. Joshua is not on the wheel because he's got plenty of Tiny Whoop stuff. Didn't forget about Guillermo. Uh, Jason Crabtree, I got you. Nukem720 says SVOs are really cool. Uh, lots of support for a long time. Hell yeah. Uh, Joshua confirming that the, 20 by that the 2020 is a 2.3. Um, I thought I remembered that. I, thought, I I also, I remember seeing that and being like, oh, that's cool. They went, because they were, what were the, the V6s were what, 3.8 liter, I think? Um, and, uh, yeah, they, Ford has not put a four-cylinder in a Mustang for a long time. Um, so I remember when they announced that they were doing a turbo four-cylinder, I was like, I wonder what the displacement is. <laughs> sure as shit, it was like 2.3. I'm like, no way! Um, it's a totally different 2.3 engine, thank God, because the, the one from the 80s was not good. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't good either. Uh, June Loco says, sign me up, please. I think you're on here, June, aren't you? Did I miss you? God damn it. June Loco, do me a favor, confirm that I missed you and that you're supposed to be on the wheel. Because uh, I don't see you on there. Um, Justin, I got you. Uh, B-Man says, where am I? Uh, there you are, B-Man. Uh, Loon FPV says, did I miss the spin? Nope. Uh, Morning View says, is my name on there? Uh, what's your, what's your regular name, Morning View? Oh, wait, no, 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 there you are, there you are, there you are, I got you. Uh, June Loco says, don't forget about me. It looks like I forgot about June Loco, so I'm just going to add him. Sorry about that. And Yarbs FPV says, cheated by taking a dinner break during onesie time. It's true. It's true, Yarbs. Uh, Frank says, WTF, where'd the outfit go? Uh, we hit 9 o'clock, so I got to take it off. <laughs> Joshua says, fuck your dignity. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> T-Bird FPV says, JB is the man in life and in FPV. Goddamn right he is. Bot Grinder is here! What's up, DJ? How the fuck are you? Um, all right. What else we got going on here in the chat? Um, but I was, uh, I was showing the, the, the ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest, the gentleman, uh, your, uh, your post about that book that the, the guy with the book, he, he reached out to me on Instagram, um, and he said he was going to send me one. I'm sure it's with the, the 7,000 other packages that haven't showed up here. Um, I can't wait to get it. He, he sent me a couple examples of, uh, like the pages and it was really cool. Like it was really cool seeing something that um, I've only ever like had in my brain visualized. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm a I'm a, a book nerd. Um, so that was cool. Yeah, that's uh, I can't. I'm I'm hoping that there's a uh, there's a book waiting for me. That would be super awesome. B Man FPV says I'll finish with Joshua Bard started to get back in the suit. Happy ho ho. With a fifteen dollars super chat, four eighty becomes five zero zero, and your boy Ciadi FPV officially has to put this fucking thing back on in forty eight minutes. So the next forty eight minutes, I'm not doing shit. I'm not even gonna spin the wheel. <laughs> You 
You guys ready for the wheel? Morning View says, throw me on the wheel. Your Mustang was tough. I've got you on the wheel, Morning View. Uh, Nukem720 says, you're beat. <laughs> um, Private Island says, thanks for putting me on the wheel. If I win, I'll send it to Guillermo. Uh, the Rizark2012 says, this is inverted FPV girl. Don't forget me. Did I forget you? No, no I got you on there. Um, uh, look at that. I was wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. That was, that, uh, I was just, I was making an assumption and, and, you know, I'm very happy to have been, to have been caught out on my assumption. Guillermo says my PT Cruiser has a 2.4 motor. <laughs> um, Nukem720 says same motor as the Focus RS. Oh, that's right. On the street, the RS will, yeah, the, the, um, are they exactly the same though? I would think that the um, the RS would get like forged internals, you know, forged rods, forged pistons. Um, maybe not though. They're they're the the engine management is so good nowadays that having forged internals is a lot less uh, a lot less important. They can they can make hypertunic. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Hyper 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 e hypertunic. Um, the the cheaper normal process of making uh, pistons and rods. Um, they can make a shitload of power with those, uh, nowadays. Nukem 720, oh, wait, no, we got that. Uh, T-Bird says me, Morning View says thank you. Yarbs with a $10 super chat, he says I've driven four Mustangs, they all drove like school buses. Yeah, they do. Um, and then you throw a bunch of parts at it. Although the, the brand new one, um, is way better. Um, but they're all big bastards. Uh, they respond unbelievably well to, um... To the to aftermarket parts, taking it from 500 to 510, one step closer to another hour of <laughs> torture. <laughs> uh, Steve FV says, "Get back in the suit soon, Steve." Uh, don't forget me. Gotcha. Uh, it's 510 now. Suit on. Not how it works, Steve. It's it's uh, 10 o'clock that it goes back on. It's uh, that way. I have some break um uh get me on there please i think i got you on there right yeah i got it uh schnoid says i posted the book in discord live chat awesome thank you schnoids uh the sarks says thank you good to, good to go aaron frank says merry christmas merry christmas to you as well william carson says uh that's my wife she needs a tiny whoop a whole one nice <laughs> William and his wife are scheming. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Dauntless H says, uh, what thing did I miss? Nothing, Dauntless. We're about to spin the wheel. T-Bird says, am I on the wheel? Uh, I'm pretty sure you are. I think it's under your normal name. There you are, Tyler. Oh, wait. You guys aren't looking at my screen. Uh, yep. Yeah, you're in there, Tyler. All right. We're good. Um... Ready? For the Tiny Whoop 10 o'clock giveaway. Chris Mel FPV is the winner! Congratulations, Chris Mel. I have to find something in here where I can write your name down. I'm gonna write your name down on this charger. I'm gonna write. So. Chris Mel FPV, you've got some work to do. You need to message me at Ciati FPV on Patreon, Instagram, or Facebook. Uh, you need to message me, first and foremost, your name. Chris Mel FPV. I need you to message me with Chris Mel FPV because now that I wrote it down on here, I need to be able to search my messages for Chris Mel and have it find your message. Um, so yeah, send me a message that says, yo, it's Chris Mel FPV from YouTube. I just won the Tiny Whoop giveaway with whatever you can remember, the shirt, the frames, whatever. Um, here's my, my real first and last name. Here's my address. Here's my email address because I would like you to send me a tracking number and I'll do all the things after Christmas and get this sent out. And it'll, it, I'm sure it won't be there until 2021, but it'll get there eventually, man. USPS is working their asses off. We need to, uh, you know, we can complain, but 
we gotta be if we ever meet someone that's in the USPS we gotta just give them a big hug and and like a $20 bill <laughs> because those people are nuts uh, William Carson and Alec Dvornik are staying on the wheel. Alec stays on all the giveaways that I do because he has taken on the insane job of going back through my streams and grabbing time codes for them so that I can then drop the time codes in the description, making the streams a lot more easier for you guys to watch and sort through. Um, I don't have any money to give them <laughs> because I'm broke. Um, so the least I can do is put him on every single wheel giveaway and just say his name a lot because he's a super awesome guy who volunteered to do that. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And, uh, William Carson, I'm, I, I'm putting him on the wheel again because I had said that the Tiny Hawk giveaway was going to be next and I didn't realize that I, I was going to take a break right before it and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so at 10 o'clock in 45-ish minutes... Um, there's going to be 10 o'clock. We're going to do the source one giveaway. So I need to get William on the, the, the midnight giveaway because that's what he thought the giveaway was going to be for the tiny Hawk. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll remember to do that. I'm going to try my best. Luna FPV says hydrate now. That's a good idea. Toxic FPV says, have you seen the feature on YouTube to applaud? I guess it's a super chat for videos that are not live. I have not seen that. That sounds interesting. Um, I love that idea. William says, uh, just remember, I'm on the next one. Uh, okay, cool. I got you, William. And... Um, dur -dur 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 just getting caught up here. Oh, I'm pretty much caught up. Uh, Joshua says, I think the EcoBoost is more like a GT car than a pony car. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Yeah, the e EcoBoost Mustang is, a, is an extremely good Grand Tour. Um, it's arguably not a great muscle car, unless you make a whole bunch of power with it. If you throw a shitload of boost at that engine and make four or 500 horsepower, it'll, it, it'll certainly... Eh, it's never really going to feel like a like a true muscle car though so yeah i guess even with a bunch of power it just becomes an even better gt car um all things considered to be really honest mustangs have uh, yeah i mean the uh, mustang blurs the lines of muscle car and grand touring car uh better than anything and over the last like 10 ish years uh, Ford has really been pulling the Mustang away from muscle car and pushing it towards GT car. Um, it's one of the reasons why they're able to sell it outside of the U.S. and actually, like, not... <laughs> actually make some money. <laughs> because it's, it's just a really good car, right? Like, it used to be the best of the muscle cars, um, but now it's just a really good car. And that's a huge accomplishment because the the muscle car formula is really rough, right? Like, make it as cheap as possible, um, horsepower over everything. That's kind of it. <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of how you build a muscle car. <laughs> um, and then Joshua says, uh, it has a little life when you put your foot down, comfortable as hell, little cargo room in the trunk. 28 plus miles per gallon on the highway. That's pretty damn good. Believe it or not, though, get this. I used to get 30 miles per gallon. I think I even got like 31 at one point in my um, 96 Mustang Cobra convertible, mainly because it had uh, the first dual overhead cam V8. Uh, I guess not the first, but the first in a while um, that Ford had put in there. It was a... a uh, and it was just a really efficient engine. And so in fifth gear, uh, at like 60-ish, uh, the RPMs were low enough where it would actually get half-decent gas mileage. But then you put your foot down and it all goes to hell. Um, of course. I mean, any car with, with power will do that. Uh, 2,000 miles to Orlando and a V8 would be smiling but crying at the same time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, Newcomb 720 says, Ciati, the new 2.3 liter, has small cylinder wall because they're, uh, uh, because they're an open deck motor, uh, and take out the head gaskets. APR head studs seem to help them live a lot longer. Interesting. 
Um, uh, scroll, 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 scroll. William Carson says, nope, we got that one. And Guillermo says, <laughs> Guillermo's wondering why Josh was ignoring him. Guillermo, do I, do I really need to answer that? You're infamous. Um, Luna FPV with a $10 super chat. He says, because I want you to suffer in that goddamn onesie. I added the goddamn. Uh, and also this way I get to feel like I put towards, uh, I put towards that board. Uh, 2020 can't stop the collective. LOL. Goddamn right. Uh, gear fund. 510 goes to 520. I'm getting scared. Uh, Chris Mel says, thank you, Merry Christmas. You're certainly welcome. Dauntless H, uh, we got 30 on the highway and a Subaru Forester with a skybox on top. It's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm just constantly blown away by the, the efficiency that a lot of the new, uh, engines have been able to achieve. achieve. It's really, uh, it's really pretty cool. All right. I've got... 37 more minutes of, uh, of wonderful short, shorts wearing, t-shirt wearing, short sleeve comfort. So why not do it while working on a micro? Am I right? Am I right? I'm not right. Uh, okay, putting these Azzy props away in the wrong bag. I don't want to put them in this bag. Okay. Cool. BQE Rip Squeak Micro. You guys saw the build, some of you saw the build. Those of you that didn't see the build, you can see the build. It's on a previous stream. You'll find it. Get over to my channel. You'll see it. It's in there. The only thing that we didn't do at the end of that build was uh, throw these motors on. So let's take care of that right now. And then we'll go through a beta flight setup with this. And I'll show you guys all the little tricks and shit that I do on three inch rigs. Very similar to the way I, I set up my five inch rigs, though, to be honest with you guys. Crack FPV says Merry Christmas, and everybody in chat, much love, fam. Merry Christmas to you as well, Cracker. Uh, inverted FPV girl says, What tiny whoop do you re recommend for one on a budget? Uh, inverted FPV girl, I recommend the exact same tiny whoop for people that are on a budget and people that want the best tiny whoop, <laughs> uh, which is the Mobula 6. Race. It's the Mobula 6 with the 25,000 kV motors. Um, it the the it's like eighty dollars, which is ridiculous. It's the, you can you you can't buy the individual components for less than eighty dollars. So it, it's just kind of like even if you just buy it for the parts, <laughs> like it's a really good deal. But it, they fly really good. Um, I'm going to recommend that you buy it from Get FPV or Race Day Quads or Pyro Drone so that you have a warranty on it, which is important. Um, and if you want to support your boy Ciotti FPV, if you scroll down in the description, there's a whole bunch of affiliate links. Some of those affiliate links go over to Get FPV, and I think that they, um, I think that Get FPV still has the the Mobula Six. Um, if you want to buy it from RDQ and Pyrodrone, they don't have an affiliate program that... The, the, Pyrodrone doesn't have an affiliate program. RDQ didn't want me in their affiliate program. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Buy it where you want. Um, but if you decide to buy it from GetFPV, yeah, there you go. Uh, I do, Inverted Girl. It's, uh, it is... Actually, it is in the description. I, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. In the description, I, it, it says something like Ultimate Tiny Woo. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, oh, no. I took it out. What the hell? I used to have it in my description. <laughs> Hold up. 
Hold up. All right, YouTube Studio, and let me just drop that down there. And if I just look at like one of the previous, one of the previous streams, I'm sure it'll be in there. Let's see, is it in here? Is it in here? Is it in there? Come on, come on, computer, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, nope, not in there. Uh, not in there either. I took it out of my description a while ago. Ah, there it is. Here comes the link. Uh, I saw somebody mention uh, Mobula HD. I would be recommending the Mobula HD if they had, I don't know why they didn't. Um, I wish they'd put the 25,000 KV motors on it. If, if they'd put those motors, that would be the one to get in my opinion, because then you also get HD. Although, what I will say is the um, the HD camera is harder to fly through. So, like, especially for somebody learning to fly, it would be better to be regular Mobula, non-HD. Um, and then down the road, if you also get... See, th this is the real... Here, Here's the real setup for me, is you buy a Mobula 6 with the 25,000 KV motors, and then you buy a Mobula 6 HD and you switch the fucking motors. That's what they should have done in the first place. The, the HD comes with 19,000 KV motors, which are great. They, that's a, they make a good amount of power. Um, but then you add like 13 grams with the HD setup and it's, and it, they don't make a ton of power anymore. Um, so yeah, that's the real, that, that's the real setup is to get both of those swap the motors. And then the non HD one is on these 19,000 KV motors, which flies great. And then the HD one is on the 25,000 KV motors, which flies great as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. There you guys go. Nukem says uh, TDI with upgraded turbo injectors gets 60 miles per gallon when I drive to when I drove to Florida just for laughs. I tested uh, the fuel light and it was 127 miles on the light before empty. 787 miles on a tank. My God, that is ridiculous. Uh, William says, Merry Christmas. You're appreciated. Don't ever give up. Never, never, never. Tiago says, when I was in LA last year, I rented a Mustang GT5, hated the turbo, took hours to, uh, to fill and the gearbox was amazingly slow. <laughs> Tiago, you know that Josh was in here, right? <laughs> uh, Chris Mel sent me a message on uh, Facebook with his info. Thank you, brother. And I'm caught up. Back to work. Okay. So all I have to do is solder these motors to the ESC. The pads on the ESC are recessed enough where it's kind of difficult to do this. So I'm not gonna try to show you guys what I'm doing because it, it'll probably just be a big fat fail. Um, what I am gonna do is take this antenna holder off that, that drove me to absolute madness last time I tried to do this so now that's out of the way and I'll actually have some chance of getting these motors properly soldered up here I didn't realize that the, I haven't used this ESC before usually the uh, the motor pads stick out a little bit more and it's a lot easier to to solder them up when they're sticking out a little bit more um, so yeah this was just a um, a little bit of a fail on my part but that's the name of the game sometimes. So I want the wires pre-tensioned like that. Um, so I want to have the motor like this and then no, I want to create I want it rotated like that. There's a way that when you solder the motor up, if you solder it up in the one direction and then you turn it to mount it, the, the wires will naturally want to sit flat against the arms. It's something that I just recently kind of figured out and I don't have a great feel for it yet. So that's this direction. So it's, I think it's, I think it's like this. If I solder it up like this with the wire like that, when I rotate, yep, that's gonna pull, it's gonna, that wire's gonna want to go down. Nope, 
Nope, it's the other way. It's this way. If I solder it up like that, this wire sticks, and then I rotate it, and that wire... Yep, 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 that's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to put the motor like that, in that direction, and then, yeah, when I rotate it to mount it, these wires are going to have this little little 90 degree rotation to them, and that's going to make them want to sit flat on the... Uh, uh, against the arm so they don't try to uh, to pop up and and get all hung up in the props and shit so here we go this is a lot harder than it looks I've done a lot of soldering this is one of the more I don't know if I'll call it I don't think I can call this fiddly because it's it's not that's not really the issue it, it's it's just uh, yeah I don't know there's just like it's just a really strange angle that I need to do this at but we shall prevail because we shall not give up Yeah, so I remember this. The, the problem is the, the wire just refuses to sit flat on the pad uh, because of this ridiculous angle and how I have the motor like kind of sitting up front. This is, this is not how to do this, but it's the situation that I'm in. Everything just wants to... I'm like immediately frustrated as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I hate when I can't, like... I... Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Alright. Stay calm. Don't freak out! <laughs> don't, don't let the quad win. Don't let the quad win. Fight the power. Wait, no, that's something different. Uh, okay, you, you get the hell out of here. Now you. Melt, please. Thank you. And now stay the... Stay down, dude. What the hell? Why is it doing this? Okay. I don't understand why... I'm using tweezers to hold this down just like I do on everything else that I've done over the last four years. And yet, for some reason, it just will not sit flat. It just keeps sitting up. It's doing it right in front of me. Well... It ain't gonna look good, and it ain't gonna be as strong, but it's done, and I'm moving on. Sometimes, things are imperfect, and as much as I hate to admit that, it is the truth. Wow, this is re this is, this is really, this is really bad. It's just a, this is a really bad angle to be doing this at. It's, it's like, but the only solution is to pull this whole stack apart. And for the folks that watch the build, you guys know how, like, there's just, it would take me like a half an hour to pull this fucking stack apart. God damn it, you fuck. Oh my fuck. Oh! Okay, it's going to be all right.
just don't quit. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. Come on, man. Jesus Christ, dude, what, really? You're just gonna randomly, like, not melt? It, like, it melted, and then hardened, and then it just, like, at random, and then absolutely refused to melt again for absolutely no reason. Like, uh, j just, no, there was a reason. The reason was to make me want to smash everything in sight. That was the reason. Fucking God, come on, dude. Really? Stop fighting me. Well, geez, was that so difficult? Why couldn't the rest of you little assholes be like that one? God damn it. Okay. It's done. I don't even care if they're strong. I'm over it. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Throw a screw in here just to hold this motor on a little bit better. And we will attempt to do the last one. So you see, like, I, it's, the, the wires now, like, look, right? They don't want to go up. They have this memory to where they want to stay down. And that was because of that, because they have, like, a half a turn of rotation. You know what I mean? And they're, they're now, like, yeah. one of those like little things there's a million little things like that in this hobby oh man I didn't even uh, I didn't even strip these to the right length got to do that first uh, all right first up outside one and let's get that down there that looks about right and choppy. And then here's the next one. And the third one. Okay, cool. Alright, I prefer to strip uh, any wires that I can. Anything like thinner than about 22 or 24 gauge. Um, you should be able to strip them with your fingernails. What's nice about that is that there's no metal in your fingernails uh, to nick the wires that are on the inside. On a 30 gauge uh, wire, there are about eight strands of wire inside of there. And if you nick one of those eight with like a metal pair of, of, uh, of wire strippers, for example, you've lost one eighth of the throughput of that wire. And sometimes with these 30 gauge wires, we're putting VBAT through them. Uh, for like an HD board or a VTX, 
So yeah, you don't want uh, VBAT going through a wire that's been, that's had one eighth of its throughput reduced, right? Removed, whatever. So don't, <laughs> don't do it. Let's get these tinned. Uh, Luna FPV says, serious question, do you like box mac and cheese? If so, just hear me out. Two boxes of shells and then add a jar of ragu, cheddar cheese sauce. Hits blunt. <laughs> that sounds damn good, Loon. That, that's about the the pinnacle of my ability to cook right there, too. Athix says, Ciadi FPV for Christmas. Indeed. Uh, Drone Man FPV says, I'm William Carson. My wife, he showed me how to change my name. <laughs> Luna FPV says, the drone said, hurt me. <laughs> drone Man FPV then says, I'll be here until midnight. Sounds like your iron isn't staying hot. No, it is, Drone Man. It, it's just, I, I'm just operating on weird angles. And yeah, this build is weird. Um, Ripper FPV says, good morning, pal. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, Ripper. And then Nukem720 says, just bought the new JHE MCU F7 30x30 AAO. Uh, 40 amp 3 to 6 s to try uh, to try out for the least amount of soldering and it has Bluetooth built in for my new glide frame I just won nice Nukem uh, Athix got the flywheel explorer from his wife for X for Christmas That's pretty dope Athix uh, Athix his wife Good on you That's uh, that's legit right there. That's a that's a good woman you got Paying enough attention to get you something like that, man. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Got a little bit of tinning going on there. Got a little tinning going on here. And one last little tin. Thanks, little fella. Good job. Okay, so if the if in the front I had the motor turned that way, I think that means in the rear I want to turn the motor this way. But let's see. Once this is soldered up, it's going to go like that. And the rotation is in that direction. And yep, that's the rotation that I want. So just to confirm, if it's like that, once it sits... Oh wait, no, 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 that is the wrong way. That is the wrong way. I actually want it like this, right? I want it like that. And then when I turn it, it's pushing the wire down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Wait, is it right? Hold on. <laughs> no, it's not right. No, it, it, it's like this. I want it like this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want it like that. Okay. My first instinct was the right instinct. Okay. One more. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> just, just one more motor. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I haven't been weirded out by soldering in over three years. It's, uh, it's very strange to, to be having this much trouble. Alright, you little bastard. Stay. Stay there, you dick. Oh. I see. I see. Right, right, right. I know why it keeps popping back up. It's because this ESC doesn't hang the pads out, and usually the um, when the pads hang out a little bit, the insulation will clear because there won't be PCB below the insulation. But on this ESC, the pads don't hang out at all, so the insulation is propped up on the PCB and then the wire won't flatten out. The, uh, the stripped part of the wire won't flatten out because of that. 
Ah, uh, that's totally why it's doing that. Uh, okay. Spotify, are, are, are you just going to keep being a total jackass? I spend fucking $12 a month every month on you, Spotify, and you're not going to work? I am very close to canceling. Like, I've, I've had this paid Spotify subscription because... I use Spotify to find music for my edits um, and not having the commercials makes that process a lot less frustrating. Uh, but I'm trying to move towards royalty free stuff uh, of which Spotify has practically none. So what's cool is if I cancel my Spotify, I can put that $12 and probably another couple dollars into a, uh, an actual copyright free paid site and the quality that you get from those paid sites is unsurprisingly a lot better than the free copyright free music that you can find uh, that one actually really behaved one fucking more yeah it just stopped Spotify just just stopped for Absolutely no reason. That's very annoying. I wonder how much money I would have to pay them on a, a month for them to not just randomly stop. Okay. And I'm also... I've... I, um... Spotify has been in the news a little bit lately because they are really fucking up the music industry <laughs> more than anybody thought that they would. Um, people had talked about it early on, um, but yeah, it's re it really seems to be coming true. And so, yeah, they're, they're just not treating the artists very well. And so that's kind of another reason why I'm, I won't feel bad at all about jumping off of Spotify. Um, that last one is... It might be good enough, but I'm not going to find out the hard way. I'm going to do it right. Um, it just kind of slid off the side of the pad a little bit, which is... Th that's the problem that I've been having with these, is that everything is so buried under here that all the, they, they just want to slide right off the pad. And I'm having a hell... Oh, you fucking motherfucker. I'm just having a really rough time getting these wires to cooperate and sit perfectly on these pads. Um, if I wasn't such a lunatic about my builds being absolutely perfect, this wouldn't be an issue. But I am. So it is. Oh my fucking god. Fucking asshole piece of shit. Bastard, come on! God damn it, God fuck you! Everything's fine. Everything's fine! Nothing's fine. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate working on quads. I hate it. 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 I'm really good at it, but I fucking hate it. You you don't have to enjoy things that you're... You don't always enjoy things that you're good at. It's a harsh... A harsh life lesson. Yeah, there's no way... There's no... There's just no way to get this right. That's a lie. I just got it.
And now I'm soldering off frustrated, so like I'm just pushing as hard as I can, like all the things that you can't do. Uh, okay, I can't. Mm. Okay. When in doubt, use your fingers. The pain is only temporary. Since when you use your fingers, you usually get burned holding the wire. Piece of shit, get in there. Um, yeah, I can't. I mean, I, I can't leave it like that. Like, it's it's just so bad. I need to take a little bit more. Silicone off. I really try to not. I try to really have the silicone butt up against the pad. It really makes the wire a lot stronger. Um, but it, it's just it ain't gonna fly in this case. I, I have to take off a little bit more. It's um, it's my fault. I should. I I needed to have done this before I put the rig all together. It's it's 100% my bad for. Uh, for trying to wait until after to, to solder here. There we go. So that's going to be fine now. Uh, once this thing was all put together, the, the any room that I had was gone to actually work in a way that I could get really clean solder joints here. God damn it, now it's bridging the fucking pad next to it, you piece of shit bastard. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? How many thousands of, of fucking... I've soldered up like at least a thousand motor joints to ESCs, at least. And this just continues. This is the third time, this is now the third session that I've tried to solder these motors up. And I, I just can't, I can't fucking get it. I mean, these... Yeah, these pads are, are a little bit close together, but... <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm a goddamn cracker. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, was that so fucking hard? Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Of course it bridged. Of course it fucking did. Why, why would it... Yeah, you're not bridged anymore, are you, you prick? It's fine. It, 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 it's terrible, but I don't care anymore. It's, it's fine. My version of terrible is, like, most person's perfect, so it's fine. Did I solder these up? I think I... I think I had the motor the opposite way. I think the... the It's trying to pick the wires up. But I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. Get this rig the fuck away from me. God damn it. This is such a nice frame, but like this build has just betrayed me at every fucking opportunity. All right. <laughs> Geo Fairbanks says silver lining. You could be doing micro builds in a onesie. I'm about to, Geo. I was trying to get this done before 10. And it looks like I did. Um, Bill Grimes says super tack quad to the mat so it doesn't slide. Yeah, I, I, I don't have fun. I thought I had fun tack, but I can't fight. I was looking for it. I can't find it. Ken Hill says, maybe it's time to invest in a new tip for the weller. Tip is good to go, Ken. Um, it's, yeah, tip is fine. Uh, slide by FPV says, I reset my QX7 and updated to OpenTX 2310. And the only, uh, and the only internal RF module is XJT. Seems like I'm missing modes. Did I flash some software wrong? Um, slide by, I have not done anything in OpenTX in over a year. Um, it looks like the uh, the chat is helping you out, though. I don't know anything. He says we got it. Awesome. Um, Private Island admires my persistence. Don't admire it. Be horrified by it. Broccoli says, are you looking for copyright free music? I use stream beats. Harris Heller has all the music made by uh, made to be used on YouTube and Twitch and so on. All of it is approved by all platforms. Uh, Broccoli, that's what you're listening to literally right now. <laughs> it's... It's his um, lo-fi Christmas album. Um, Stream Beats is what I have been using. Um, I've found seven or eight uh, really good tracks, but the majority of them I don't really love. Um, and the, the, the paid websites, when I go on there and start to sample their stuff, it's like 80% of it I really like. So yeah, I've uh, I've done as much as I can with 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 stream beats, and I've I've just sort of reached this point where I can't find anything else that I like on there, unfortunately. Um, Tiago says, "Put the playlist on a random loop." It is on random, but it's not on loop. Now it's on loop. Um, Oh god, I gotta do a, a giveaway too. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no! Alright, hold on. Uh, 2020, February 16th. It says Sunday Cloudy. I wonder what that means. Uh, 3.31 gigs. That should be a full battery. Or a crash. And a full battery staring at the ground. That's not the one. Maybe this is the one. Ooh. Be right back.
Giveaway time! It's 10 o'clock. We're doing a TBS Source 1 with TPU. Um, there might even be a second uh, piece of TPU for it. I'll, uh, I'll do a little bit of digging to see what I can find. Four oh four, dignity not found. <laughs> uh, what happened there, you know? All right, here we go. TBS Source One Frame. Two dollars, two dollars super chat. Uh, Nukem, this onesie is hot enough that I can't do a hat. I, I just can't. Um, yeah, two dollars super chat or PayPal gets you on the wheel to win a Source One. Um, if you want to do PayPal so that uh, YouTube doesn't take thirty percent, you're gonna go to cidfpv.com. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom. There's a PayPal button. You click it, and it'll just bring you right there. Um, yeah, that's, I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> B-Man FPV is getting in early. He says, got to step away for a few. Here's for the 10 p.m. giveaway. Thank you, B-Man. If B-Man wins, we're just going to respin it. <laughs> I'll never know. Uh, all right, William Carson, I'm going to take him off now, but I'm going to put him back on the next one. For the reasons that we've discussed. Um, so, let me go like that. And then let me go like that. Ignore that yawn. That didn't just happen. It's only 10 o'clock. Wait, are we halfway? Oh yeah, we're halfway. No shit. Ooh, and we've got nothing done thus far. That's okay. This is about hanging out. Um, for those of you who are separated from your families, I, 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 that was really the, the biggest kind of reason that I wanted to do this, um, um, is, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are, are not able to, to see your parents over this holiday, and that's rough for a lot of people, um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully this stream will give you a little bit of familiarity and, and, and just... A home for the weekend, uh, a, a friend for the uh, for the end of the world. <laughs> All right, B man's on the wheel. Who do we got? Scarecrow boat up in the house, not boat, just regular scarecrow. What's up, Jr? How the fuck are you, man? Um, <laughs> with a a dollar and a hot dog. That's what I'm talking about. Here comes the PayPal. All right. Uh, Scarecrow, I'm gonna throw you on this wheel. You probably didn't even, didn't even know there was a giveaway going on. But you go on wheel, whether you like it or not. S. Grace with 20 Norwegian kroner. S. Grace goes on wheel. Scarecrow with a dollar ninety nine and, and a, a heart kissing emoji. I'm glad I already put you on the wheel. Less for me to do. Riot nine. With four dollars and twenty, uh, what's a Australian? Four Australian dollars and twenty cents. That's the weed number. You're on the wheel, friend. Uh, Chris Mel FPV. Here he goes. He's on the wheel. Uh, Loon FPV. <laughs> look at these. Look at these amounts. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Two seventy-five. Two sixty. <laughs> Loon's on the wheel. Bill Grimes is next to cover 30%. <laughs> nice. You guys are covering the 30%. Love it. <laughs> JB Rocket FPV. He's going on the wheel. He wants a source one. Thank you all. Toxic FPV is next. With a little cool apple with legs and a headband. Alright, Josh PFPV, he's going on the wheel, he wants to get sourced. William Barlow, he's going on the wheel, he wants to get wunned. And 
And then we've got Gator FPV with a $5 super chat. Thank you, Gator. Two of your dollars is going to put me on the wheel. Three of your dollars is going towards the gear fund. Uh, as well as Scarecrow's dollar. So 524. Thank you, guys. Uh, Geo Fairbanks, and then I'm going to jump over to Fa uh, not Facebook, uh, PayPal. Thank you, Geo. Spin that thing, he says. Uh, coming over here to my email. What do we got? We've got $5 from Dan Maurer at 9 o'clock. Did I miss that? Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, AliExpress sent me an email. They say... No need to make a supply run. I'm uninterested, AliExpress. David Tanner Jr. sent $10. He says, for that one SIE. And that happened at 9.58. For that one SIE. I'm pretty sure he sent that for, the, uh, for this right here. SIE. It was all capitals. For that... For that... Oh, what? Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god, I'm the dumbest person in the world. <laughs> Holy fuck. I mean, in my defense, in my defense, look, look, look how he wrote it. Look how he wrote it. All right, look. I'm not that dumb. I'm pretty dumb, but like, wouldn't, wouldn't you? No, you wouldn't because you're not dumb. I'm the dumb one. I tried to get out of it. I tried to. <laughs> I tried self-preservation. Tyler Sherrard, 10 p.m. giveaway, $2. He goes on wheel. Wow. One SIE? Acai bowl? Frank Nicholas with a $22 PayPal. $2 for the giveaway. $20 for the next hour. First and foremost, Frank goes on the wheel. And then... I go like this. And I go like this. And I go like this. And I go like that. And then I go like that. And just like that, we are up to date. Thank you, Frank! Merry Christmas. Steven Steinbaker says $2. CMYK FPV giveaway, 10 p.m. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black are all on the goddamn wheel. David Tanner Jr., he goes on wheel as well. He says, for the giveaway, is $2 the minimum entry amount? It certainly is, David. Uh, and it is the only amount. If you send more than $2, I will put it towards this over here which represents suffering <laughs> Kyle Newcomb with two dollars he goes on wheel Daniel Maurer with two dollars he says source uno Daniel Maurer goes on wheel last but not least Tom Coughlin sent four dollars and 47 cents Two dollars of that goes to the wheel. Two dollars and fifty cents of it goes towards suffering. I'm gonna round that down to five fifty-six. All right. Oh, Tiago Ramos with a ten-dollar PayPal. I'm assuming that that's Tiago. What do you want? You want to be on the wheel? Yeah, you do. Of course you do. $2 for the wheel, $8 for suffering, and $64. Uh, back to the chat. Who did I leave off with? I think it was Geo. Uh, pretty sure it was Geo. Yes, it was Geo. And now we've got Felix FPV. When I'm done with these super chats, put them on the wheel, I'm going to spin the wheel. There's your, uh, that's how much time you got. 
Um, here comes Felix. He's gonna be on the wheel. If I can figure out how to highlight his name and then copy and paste. Easier said than done for this gangly lunatic. Uh, pri pri <laughs> Private Island says, one for me, one for Super Deluxe, one for Kristen. <laughs> Alright, we got Private Island, he goes on, and then we've got Super Deluxe, he goes on, and then I swear to God, if Kristen wins, I mean, we'll just respin it, but thank you, Private Island. And there we go, alright. Micro, nope. I keep wanting to say microbi more. My, is that what it is? Microbi more with a 9.99 super chat. I'm gonna put you on the wheel once, and then I'm gonna take the other eight dollars and put it put it right over here. Uh, eight plus four is twelve seventy two. It's looking like I'm not gonna get to take this thing off at eleven. That's okay. That's all right. It's worth. It's worth it to be able to get health insurance, man. I'll do fucking anything. <laughs> uh, I think we're good. Uh, Schnoids. <laughs> David Tanner sends another PayPal for $5 and says, Sorry for the spelling of onesie. I'm slightly under the influence. <laughs> That's okay, David. <laughs> I think you're already on the wheel. Yeah, you're already on the wheel. So we're gonna go 572 becomes 577. All right, here we go. This camera, this camera, or this camera. Tell the world what you got going on. If you know what that quote is from, I'll be very impressed. That's the only hint I'm giving you. In the interim, somebody's gonna win a Source Juan, and it's gonna be. Super Deluxe! <laughs> oh yeah, it's Super Deluxe! It's not Chris and he's not even here. He doesn't even know that he won. Congratulations, Super Deluxe. You've won a source number one. Um, I don't, oh wow, Slide by FPV got that shit right away. I thought that was gonna, oh okay, you guys all got it. I didn't think I worded it right, so which I thought was gonna make it uh, uh, very, difficult uh but no you guys got it right away super deluxe where are you i don't know if i don't know if he wants this um he's uh he flies um oh my god stuff uh so let's make sure that he wants it and if he doesn't we'll re-roll it facebook.com tanner says telling my secrets uh, okay, where is, actually, you know what, I have better luck talking to him on YouTube. And, there we go, that will work better than misspelling it. Hey, Super Deluxe is at 799 subscribers. If one of you guys doesn't subscribe to make that 800, I'm gonna stab you with a rusty nail. I'm just gonna sit here and click refresh until that hits 800. Okay. Moving on! <laughs> it hit 800. Um, you won. Do you want it? I don't know if he's going to see that, but, uh, there it is. Oh, Discord! This is what Discord is for, isn't it? To message people. 
at Super Deluxe. You won a Source 1. Do you want it? See what I did there? Look how clever I am. See what I did? See that? You know, like want, like W-A-N-T, but with one, because like, you know, one, and then one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh God, what happened? Where did all the windows go? Come back. What? They're all gone. All the windows are gone. All of them. Slick Willy messaged me. He wants it. Nice. Super Deluxe gets a Source Wand frame. I'm going to put his name on it. Uh, I'm going to write... I'm gonna write it in indelible ink. <laughs> Is indelible a word? I'm gonna write it in red. Cause, yeah. Yeah, there he is! Awesome. I'm gonna write... Where can I write on this? Uh, Super Deluxe, you know the drill. Send me, uh, uh, shoot me a message somewhere with something and, uh, I'll do something. Although I, I think, I'm pretty sure I already have your address, but um, yeah. Uh, I like this little spot right here. I'm gonna go with this little spot. I'm gonna look at his logo. And I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to, try to kind of emulate it a little bit here. All right, capital S and capital D. All right, so there's room here for a big S. S! My handwriting is just appalling. S U. Oh, this P is gonna look terrible. Oh, that's not that bad. S U P R. Oh god, I'm running out of room. D. It's a big D. That's what she said. L. Oh, I ran out of room. I'm go. I'm going downwards. U. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at how stupid that looks. There it is! I wrote his name on the frame, that means it's his! Look how, how dumb. dumb that looks! <laughs> Written by a straight up eight year old. <laughs> Congrats brother. Uh, send me your info and I'll send you a frame. That's a good deal right there. Uh, after we're done with this rip squeak, we're actually going to work on Super Deluxe's Acrobrat to figure out what the hell's going on with the video. Um, uh, all right, cool. Ripper FPV says, any point of a 6S Tiny Trainer? Absolutely not, Ripper FPV. Um, there's almost no point to even a 4S Tiny Trainer, um, but there kind of is. There's a little bit of a benefit to going from 3S to 4S. Um, the problem is going to be the 4S batteries aren't going to fit right in that little battery sack on the bottom. Um, so when I had the, when I had the tiny trainer, I tried a shitload of different batteries and I ended up settling on 3S 450s. Um, this was really the, the biggest battery that I wanted on there with how thin the arms are. Um, the, the carbon is like two millimeters and that's a little bit thin. Um... So yeah, I would definitely not suggest going 6S. There's just zero benefit. Um, Dan, who did I who did I say? I I in my brain I was saying Dan, but it sounds like Dan didn't come out of my mouth. Uh, nice, super lux, awesome. Uh, okay.
Here we go! The motors are on. The top plate's gonna go on. Then we're gonna be done working on it. I don't... Uh, I don't really know... I don't really know if, I, if I'm really in the mood to really say the word really 18 times in a row. Really? Uh, I, I don't know if I want to do a, a beta flight setup right now. I'm kind of in the zone of uh, just sort of working on stuff. So let's just keep, let's just keep working on stuff. Because eventually I'm going to definitely burn out working on quads. And then maybe we'll do some setup stuff. Although... I mean, we're more than halfway. You never know what's going to happen. So, a little trick when you use uh, TPU arm guards like this is to get little M2 washers. Uh, this is one of the things that I told CMYK FPV on our uh, half an hour call that we did through Fiverr to spec out a couple of uh, three inch builds that he's doing with these frames. Uh, yeah, these little M2 washers are super, super, super nice. I just got like a big ass bag of them from uh, Amazon for, you know, practically nothing. And uh, yeah, it gives the, the screw head a shitload more surface area so that it doesn't just rip right through the TPU and your arm guard. And yeah, you just crank them down. When, when you use these, you really want to make sure that you get a good, um, a good amount of torque on these things because they're no longer the the screw head is no longer pushing against the TPU, um, and the TPU nor in that case does prevent it from backing out. When you've got the spacer, uh, there's nothing to keep the the screw from backing out. You, you really should, I, I really should be Loctiting them, but I don't feel like it right now. And and usually when I just crank these down good and hard, it's fine. Um, I should really be Loctiting these, but it's, it's going to be okay. Sometimes it's okay to do the wrong thing. <laughs> Strange thing to say out loud, but uh, I say a lot of strange things. That is a thicker. There's every once in a while I run across one of these that's a little bit thicker, and I put them aside. And that was one of the thicker ones, so it's been put aside. All right, we got two on there. One more. Done with the right side. I do um, I do three screws per arm, and I put them in the locations that take the most abuse. Basically, this is the front of the rig, so I put the front three ons because the front arms usually hit in this direction. Um, the rear arm, it's kind of debatable. It, it, if, if you do a lot of backwards shit, you might want to do the rear one. Um, I mix it up. Sometimes I do the front one, sometimes I do the rear one. Um, yeah, three is fine. I, I, I've yet to, uh, have a stator get all fucked up from only having three screws in it. It, it can totally happen. Um. It's absolutely not outside of the realm of possibilities, but pretty rare. Pretty rare. Yeah. All right. Get in there, little buddy. Mark Kunoff says, Mary, Mary, what do you think of the... Damn, and it just went off the top of the screen. Uh, what do you think of the Talon V2 MPU 6000 flight controller? Uh, which one? There's, a, there's an F4 and there's an F7 V2. 
Uh, Talon, I actually really like them both. Uh, the, the Talon F7 MPU 6000 is going to be the, the flight controller um, that I'm going to be putting, well, that I already have put on uh, Joshua Bardwell's upcoming micro section of um, the fpvknowitall.com. I am uh, working on that for him. I can't wait to... Uh, I'm, I'm about a half an hour in already. I'm, I'm just kind of logging my time, Joshua said, to, uh, to let him know when I got to four hours uh, so that we can see how much is done. I've been trying to do that for him. I've, I've been trying to do a micro section for his website uh, for like two years. And up until this point, every single time I've tried to do it, uh, basically I start trying to figure it out and working on it and, and work on it, and I get to this point where I either can't figure out what to recommend because it, micro builds tend to be very specific. Or what happens is I realize that like the majority of the components that I that I fly and that I like are like discontinued <laughs> and and or old in, in some way and, and sort of unavailable. Um, but this time I'm not letting that stop me. I'm just gonna mash through and get it done. And then the ongoing maintenance will take care of as things disappear. So yeah, that's going to be fun. I, I can't wait to, uh, to get a good chunk of that done and see what, uh, and see what Joshua thinks. The, the thing that's, that's taken a shitload of time right now is, the, uh, is just like the descriptions, basically. He writes like these really nice like two or three paragraphs uh, about each item and I I used to love writing back when I was at university I, I was I was pretty good at it too um, and yeah I really enjoyed writing back then but apparently I haven't really done it much since because man I am rusty as hell <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, uh, I don't, go figure, right? You don't do something for 20 fucking years and, and you're not quite as good at it <laughs> all of a sudden. I would have never guessed that. Oh, God. Okay. I need one more screw for this guy, but I don't remember what the hell it is. Is it an M2x6? I'm pretty sure it's an M2x6, but let me get one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one that I want. All right. Three screws per motor, all of them have washers. Happy days are here again. All screws cranked down just tight enough to where they will not back out, which is a tightness that I have uh, sort of figured out over <laughs> probably thousands at this point of uh, motor installs. Uh, let me just put some of these little fellas away. This is... This is an M2 by 3. This is an M2 by 3. This is an M2 by 4. Yep. Get off of there. I hate that these tweezers became magnetized. Oh my god. I need to order one of those little demagnetizer thingies. Uh, this looks like an M2x6? 
Yeah, still got it. Uh, that would make this an M2 by six as well. This is an M2 by four. Oh boy. Uh, that's an M2 by four. What's that? Is that a by four? Yeah, it is. That's an M2 by four. This looks like a six. Yep. Uh, another four. And another six. Yep. And then this is actually a titanium M2 by seven. This shit's rare. These come with the uh, the Brother Hobby motors. I'm gonna put that aside. Uh, and this is an aluminum M2 by five. Uh, M aluminum M2 hardware is pretty much useless. I am pushing that towards the bottom because I don't want to ever use it. Um, they just break immediately. Like the the M2 titanium stuff is is like acceptable, but uh, yeah, the M2 aluminum shit is just no good. It's just too weak. That's an M2 by 6. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. 2 by 7. This is another by 6. Alright. Yeah. And then this is another by 6. Look at me go. And look, there's a bunch of these thicker washers here. There's one of the thicker ones. This is one of the thinner ones. This is another thinner one, but this is a thick one here. Look at that! Four of the thick washers. That's pretty cool. Uh... Drone Pilot saw me putting screws in the correct spot. I did that one day that I needed one screw, so I opened the case, but it was upside down all the screws mixed. I stared at it in disbelief. Um, I'm certain that so I don't think I'll I don't think I'll ever open it upside down. What I'm pretty sure will happen is that it'll be opened and it'll get and it'll get hit and uh, yeah. I will, I'm sure I will stare at it in misbelief while screaming fuck over and over and over and over again. Until I have no voice. I really can't believe that it hasn't happened yet, if I'm completely honest. But I am a, a completely insane person. <laughs> Which is why it hasn't happened yet, because I'm a crazy person, and uh, when you're a crazy person, you can you can have bad things not happen for a while, because you're crazy. That was the strangest sentence I've ever said with my human face. Uh, let's go with some titanium up top, because it is a micro. And it don't weigh nothing. So it probably won't break these big old M3 screws. Alright. Wait, no. Let's throw the uh, let's throw the battery strap on here first. Because I don't want to risk accidentally getting it under the uh, the camera cable here. So there's that. Here's this. BQE logo is correct. Insta 360 Go holder on the front, and crank it. Uh, I must have OCD when it comes to screws and being in order. It just kills me when something like that happens. Yeah, I, 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 I would just leave and never come back. <laughs> Christopher Henshaw says the OCD in me wants to tell you there's one washer left on the mat on the exchange suit. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave this one out because uh, eventually I'll. I'll need, I, I probably already need one. Did I forget one here? No, I didn't. I I have these two excellent little uh, magnetic bottomed trays that I got from uh, this purple one. I got from FPV FPV crate 
uh, this red one I got from RDQ, and uh, I put like little one-off stuff there that I know eventually I will uh, I will need. That's a BQE Rip Squeak Micro, folks, with a built-in run cam hybrid and the ability to externally hold an Insta360 Go up front here or on the bottom back, like that. And this is a really cool mounting setup. Let me actually put it on there. I'll put everything on this thing. We'll fully kit it out. Uh, in the back here is a really, really cool camera angle. And a lot more sense once I have this. Wait, no, we got one on here already. Once I have this screwed in. So here's how it works. You put your Insta360 Go back here. And then you love it. The end. Okay. There we go. Nice and cross threaded. Oh, it just came uncross threaded. Thanks for that. So you put it on there like that, right? And then you you tilt it forward a little bit. Should have done that before I cranked the shit down. So now the lens of your Insta360 Go is down here. So when you're flying forward, it actually looks right past the bottom of the frame, but then the whole top of the camera view is the quad from underneath. So it it for you guys, I can just show you. It pretty much looks like that. So you're flying through the air like that. It's awesome. You got like this reference point of the of the bottom of the quad, but then down here you can see everything. It's super cool. It's, it's, I, I, I know it seems silly, but uh, when you do it, you'll be like, oh my god, that gangly bastard was right. This is super cool. It's just a, it's, it's just a super interesting angle. And uh, it's nowhere near as much of a pain in the ass as like putting a big stick off the back of your rig and then putting the Insta360 Go on the stick. Um, that's a really cool thing to do as well, but like... You can't really fly it around like that, you know? Like, that, that you, the whole time you're flying it around like that, you're going to be just like, ooh, 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 don't hit nothing. There's $200 on a stick. Don't hit nothing. All right. Let's put these back in here a little bit. I am really looking forward to weighing this thing. So let's do that next. Although I need those two rear screws, so I'll do that first. Uh, let's go titanium. And. Oh, wait. Is that why I had this? Yes, it is. That's why that was sitting out. Does that mean that there's another one? Yep. Look at me go. I already had the hardware. <laughs> go figure. Uh, okay. If you're going to use titanium hardware, do yourself a favor and get a MIP 2 millimeter. Um, it's the only driver that is not going to strip the shit out of these, out of this titanium hardware. Um, that's really the biggest problem that I've had with titanium hardware, and, and I've tried to use it quite a bit because on micros it really does make a difference um, in weight so yeah the uh, the MIP drivers fit right I know they're expensive but my god do they fit nice look at that it almost looks like a quad so we're gonna weigh it without propellers but that's okay um, and yeah, we're like fully kitted out with TPU, so this is probably going to be like 2... Tw My guess is going to be like 220 because of all the TPU. But let's see. I'm sorry, not two, well, 220 all up. Um, so we're at 142 
uh, fully, well, 142 without a battery or props. So if I grab a 4S450, hey, there we go. And do I happen to have four propellers floating around? No, I don't. Uh, let's put that on there. Good. I was hoping that would happen. Put that on there. Oh, wow. What? 197 and a half. Jesus, that's really light. Um, it doesn't have props yet, though. I forget what three inch props weigh. <laughs> but I'm going to grab a couple here. Uh, what is this? This is on the RCX motors, and they do work with, uh, they do work with the, uh, Emax Avan props, Avan 3-inch props, which is awesome, because I really like them. Uh, let me find them. Props, damn it. There they are. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, License to Drive says you could probably do with one of these. Hobby King used to sell them at half the price, so I bought two. Uh, I need to copy a link address. And, oh, God. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Well, that's cool looking. It's a little big uh, for my tiny little space here, but man, that's that's kind of nice. Uh, that's pretty slick. Oh, I basically use this, um, this Kennedy toolbox to do exactly what this thing does. But this is more segmented, which is super cool. Damn. That's nice. I can dig that. Uh, Drone Pilot says, I have those magnetic trays. Found the stainless steel and plastic screws don't stay put when you knock them. Uh, clumsy thing goes... <laughs> um, I like them because it, it, it's, uh, it's an easy way to test between steel hardware and, and titanium hardware. And aluminum as well. Uh, okay, let's get some props on here and see what it weighs with propellers. And I'm even going to put the hardware on there. Uh, one, two, three, four, fuck. The scale's not on. Well, whatever. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, keto. All right. So there is the hardware. I've, you know, I've always kind of wondered what prop screws weigh. Get the fuck out of here. One point six grams. Jeez, that's a lot. That's like, that's a real amount of weight. Okay. Four propellers. Look at that. 6.6 .6 grams in propeller and hardware. And then we've got a quad. Damn! That's lighter than I thought. I am fucking happy with that, yo. 204.2. How the hell? I thought this was going to be heavier than the CB3s. Um, it is not. Damn, dude. And that's with this big chunk of TPU for the Insta360 Go. Wow, that's light, and it's with all four, um, 
TPU arm guards. Dude. BQE Rip Squeak Micro. I I think I'm in love. Uh that that's 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 light, dude. Uh this thing is gonna rail. I am happy with that. Alright. Let's throw some uh, hardware on here just for the sake of, or propellers on here just for the sake of looks. And we will move on to the next. Got one of those, got one of these. Yeah, so the other cool thing about these RCX 1306s is that you can use these uh, Emacs Avan three inch props with them. Um, since the the top of these motors, the top of the motor slants away and that lets the, um, I'm gonna need for you to focus on this one Logitech. It's an absolute requirement. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna give it time. I'm gonna sit here and wonder what the fuck it's doing. There it goes. Um, see how the propeller drops down below the mounting point? Look how close it is. It almost, it almost doesn't clear, but it just barely does. The uh, the brother hobby 1507s you can't use these propellers because the bell of the motor doesn't drop down enough like this. I still can't believe that that Emacs made these propellers like that. I, I, I really can't believe that they made propellers that straight up don't work on most motors. Um, although, I don't know, I, I guess Emacs sort of has a, a, a history with, with making their stuff sort of proprietary. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's one way to make a propeller proprietary is is to have it, you know what I mean? Drop down like these. And the last one is the incorrect rotation. But of course. Any of you guys watch uh, The Repair Shop on Netflix? Thanks, Gio. It is really good to see, to finally get this damn thing together. Um, I, I feel like I started this build like three months ago, <laughs> um, and then it, it just got it just got pushed aside, unfortunately, uh, because this is more of like a freestyle for fun build. This isn't really a a, um, a, a working build, so to speak. That's not normal. That's not a good way to put it. This isn't a uh, cinematic build per se, and uh, yeah, I've been really focused on more cinematic setups lately. That's a good looking rig right there. I'll end up putting red the the red Avans on it. Um, so I, I I do still need to handle this antenna situation here. So let's go with a couple of red zip ties. Talked about this previously. I really like this setup for holding these UFLs, but you got to get as much grip here as possible because when this thing is crashing through trees, branches are going to catch on this head and they're going to pull this really hard. And if you just let it pull it, it'll just yank the UFL right the hell off. Um, one of the ways to get this secured is by putting shrink wrap on here, but you have to remember to put the shrink wrap on before you do all this other stuff, which I didn't. So the workarounds is to just throw a couple zip ties on here and just crank the shit out of them. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to put this little guy here. And grab him with some pliers and pull on him until he explodes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Yeah. That's how you do that. Mm. Usually they will literally break as I'm pulling on them. But uh, that one held on. Surprise, surprise. Right in my eyes. Uh, and we got one. And now we're going to go for two. Downwards. Okay. Woo. And there we have it. I think that's everything. I don't bother putting the uh, the rubber caps on these anymore. They just fall off Im immediately. Um. Yeah, Insta 360 Go Holder is on. That's good to go. The extra little braces are on the bottom. Nice and strong. So the next one of these that I build is going to be with the uh, the 12 by 12 mount arms, which build just got in uh, like a couple days ago. And that build is going to be on the Brother Hobby 1504 and a halfs. Uh, so we'll be able to uh, to compare head to head. The RCX 1306s versus Brother Hobby 1504.5s, and the, the Brother Hobby motors are going to be way better because 1504.5 is a much better uh, motor size than 1306. But these 1306s are still really good. If if you these, whoa, whoa, oh oh right, I didn't I didn't tighten this down. <laughs> it's making a very weird noise. That's better. Uh, yeah, these 1306s are great. These are the best, the, the not the best, but the biggest power motors that you can get uh, for a 9x9 mount base. Uh, but you do have to order these from MyRC Mart, and they are overseas. Uh, if you pay the $25 shipping, it's going to be like two-day shipping. If you pay the $10 shipping, it's going to be like two-month shipping. So... Damn, finally! <laughs> My god, that's been a long time in the making. And... Oh yeah, it doesn't really work well with these batteries. Um, because of this TPU piece in the back. But that's fine. I have the... the there's a different style of GNB. 4S450. That is going to be used on this. Cool, man! We did something! We soldered two whole motors up and screwed a bunch of screws in. Happy days are here again. <laughs> big, big progress on this channel. Oh, hey, there they are. Yeah, that's the, that's the 4S450 that I really like. This is my favorite bat, my favorite micro battery of all time. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. Um, if you guys see this form factor, GNB 4S450 available anywhere. Uh, let me know because I'll basically just buy all of them <laughs> that they have um, It's just yeah, it's, it's just a different size. This is the the long and skinny 4s 450 um, This is the I don't know short and fat I guess <laughs> 4s 450 Okay, are we going back to tiny whoops? Uh, let me take a, let me take a, let me take a little build break. Not a, not an actual break, but let me just not build for a minute or two here. Um, hey, look at these. Look at these. Oh, here's a fun announcement. Here's something fun. Look at that. I don't even, I can't. I can't control my eyebrows. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. You know what that is? 
Look at those words that are scribbled on there. The big ass box of fucking gem fan props, yo. Um, the Christmas props, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second because they're super cool. Um, uh, these were my, th these are, th this is my, my selfishness, but, um, I, I'd fly these. Um, 5143s in smoke, 5143s in purple, um, and then the rest of this is, is pretty much props for you guys. Um, these are the, uh, the, the Tiny Whoop four blade props that are what you want for your Tiny Whoop. So these will be in upcoming giveaways. Uh, these are the same props, but 0.8 millimeter uh, center for brushed tiny whoops. So anybody with brushed tiny whoops will be getting those. Uh, and then these are the bigger ones, the 40 millimeter um, four blades. 40 millimeter four blades with a 1.5 millimeter center. These are these are what drilled for one millimeter. Well, molded for one millimeter. These are 1.5 millimeter. Um, these are the 2020s, the the two inch Cinewoop props. These are the D63 three blades, the two and a half inch three blade uh, Cinewoop props. These are the D, the brand new D63 five blades, the two and a half inch five blade Cinewoop props. Um, and then these are the D76, the three inch five blade uh, Cinewoop props. And then we've got uh, these wacky 2512, the super low pitch two and a half inch like toothpick ish props. Uh, these are the 2035, the old school, you OG motherfuckers will know these, uh, the, the OG 2035s, I'm gonna play around with these on the Cinewoops as well. Uh, these are the 2036s, the replacement for those 2035s, these are less of a Cinewoop prop and more of a, uh, of a free, of a non-ducted prop. And then check this out, these... These are the uh, the 3D props, uh, 5513D. These are crazy. They're they're bidirectional. It's a it's a super interesting uh, pattern. Um, but yeah, when they when they asked me uh, what, like they basically said to me like, all right, we want to sponsor you. What do you want to do? <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to tell me? And, and they were basically like, you know, no, like, you're a, a little bit of a different sponsored pilot because you're not, like, just a pilot. You also have the, the live stream and, and the giveaways and all these wacky things. Um, and they said, like, where do we fit into that? Like, where do you want us to fit into what you have going on? And, like, that was super cool. Like, that, that was uh, very unexpected. Um, so I basically just went through their website and figured out all the stuff that I think you guys would really want and, and the, the propellers that I've had really good luck with and I asked them to send me a whole bunch of those and that's what they did so yeah this is gonna this is gonna be like months of, of giveaways and that's super awesome so huge 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 shout out to Gem Fan. Um, I truly truly with every molecule of my being uh never thought that i would be a jump fan sponsored pilot um they're just they're they're picky um as well they should be and yeah it's it's a big a big confidence boost um if if nothing else but there is lots lots of cool shit coming uh, Mark Kunoff says, how about the CL Racing F4 flight controller PDB OSD AIOP 1.6 running with iFlight suck sex. 45 amp slick BL Heli ESC singles. Not sure that setup would work on the FPV cycle glide. Would that work? Um, those ESCs are going to have to be awful thin. 
to uh, to not overhang the glide arms like crazy. Let's see. They do look thin. It's a good sign. Uh, where is the measurement? I need to know how wide they are. Really, RDQ? Oh, no, there it is. So they are 11 millimeters wide, it looks like. How wide is a glide arm? A glide arm is not 11 millimeters. A glide arm is about like nine, nine and a half, maybe call it 10 millimeters. So yeah, they would overhang a little bit. They'd probably be fine. Uh, and then the, the middle, the, believe it or not, the, um, the glide is not a terrible, uh, is not a terrible rig to put individuals on because what you can do is put the individuals out in the arms, put the, uh, the PDB in the middle, 30 by 30 PDB in the middle, and then you can put your flight controller up front. So the, because the, that way, um, so, well, yeah, so you're going to have a choice. You can put a 30 by 30 flight controller above the 30 by 30 PDB, um, or you can do a 20 by 20 flight controller up front behind the camera in the same way that I do it. And then you would just have that PDB in the middle. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, that, that'll be an interesting setup. I, I, I have never seen a glide built like that. that. That'll be totally cool. I've always been kind of curious to do it, but not curious enough to spend $80 on those skinny ESCs. Although those are 15 per, that's pretty good. 60 bucks for all four, not bad. 32 bit, 45 amp. That'll be cool. That'll be a cool build. I want to see that build. Do it, do it. Cause I want to see it. Frank says 3B Hobby 2306 1700 KV or 3B Hobby 2306 2100 KV, both 10 bucks at Newbie Drone. Uh, I almost bought, I have one of those motors. Um, I really like 3B's stuff. Uh, and yeah, I like those motors a lot. I have one of them in 1700 KV. Uh, between those two, I would definitely say the higher KV because in beta flight, you can just bring the KV down. Um, consider this though, I was going to buy a bunch of those motors for the, um, for the, the, the builds that I'm going to be doing to sell to you guys on FPV exchange. Um, but what I realized is that newbie drone is the only place you can buy those motors in the U S that I was able to find at which point you bang up a motor well, and newbie drones like getting rid of them, right? They're in their clearance section. So it's going to be hard to find those motors soon. So like 10 bucks is a crazy deal. Like that's a titanium shaft motor. That's as good of a deal. Um, actually that's kind of a better deal for me than the, 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 uh, 2306 and a half newbie drone, uh, flow motors. Are they called flow? Whatever. You guys know the motors I'm talking about. Um, I like those BBBs better because they're 2306. They're not 2306 and a half and they're a little bit lighter, but being able to get them can't, it, it, it's going to be hard to get replacements. Um, so I didn't get them, but 10 bucks is a crazy deal. So like if any of you guys are going to go with those 3B, 3B, uh, 2306 a go with the 2100 KV B buy a shitload of them so that as you break them you have more and then that like if if like if you bought like 10 of them for example um that would probably hold you over to the point where this is what i did with the t-motor f40 pro 2s um i got enough of them to hold me over until like another really interesting motor that's actually better than them was going to come out and that was the pro four, right? I was able to skip past the pro three and I had enough pro twos to, to last me until the pro four came out and then I was able to switch. So, um, yeah, just keep in mind that it might be hard to find those motors. Otherwise, uh, they should be really good. 
Uh, Athic says, did you see Oh My God's video on his 250 gram 5 inch? I did. I've been talking to him about it. Um, I keep pushing him towards the 4 inch props uh, because he keeps saying that with the 5 inch props, it's too floaty, uh, which I've most certainly confirmed. I mean, 250 grams on a 5 inch prop. Yeah, for sure. I, in, in my head, I just kind of have uh, from just from past experience doing a lot of different builds, a lot of different sizes, I sort of have like this this sliding scale in my brain of like like weight with like weight on one axis and and prop size on the other axis and and I just kind of have like this idea of if a rig is 250 grams for example a, a 250 gram rig on five inch props is going to be crazy floaty like toothpick levels of float um and that th th that's just not my thing um 250 grams and four inch prop that's the move right there that um uh tommy said he's sticking with five inch props because uh of the efficiency increase that he gets on the five inch um which uh, it's totally fine because when it's, you just you get the build and then you just put whatever the hell props you want on it um with the five inch props he's getting like five to eight minutes which i know has become like very important like a lot of people all of a sudden if if a rig can't fly five plus minutes they, they have no interest in it and i'm over here just like what dude after three minutes i need a fucking nap like get me the fuck out of the goggles after three minutes um so yeah uh his build is gonna be great with in for me with four inch props i i can't wait um to 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 see I can't wait for his build to be done um, because yeah on four inch propellers I think it's gonna be amazing I'm really hoping that I can talk him into doing four inch arms I would really rather not waste the extra arm length um, for five inch props and then run four inch props mainly for durability reasons um, so yeah hopefully I can I can talk him into doing a run of, of four inch arms uh, because I'm very interested in in his builds um like top the the exact setup just with the smaller propellers um private island says i have 11 millimeter wide speedix escs on a stark build nice uh nukem 720 says the 250 gram thing for five inch doesn't make sense to me why sacrifice that much for some arbitrary number it makes no sense uh nukem it's because you live here in the lovely united states of cheeseburgers um, everywhere else in the world, 250 gram weight limit is a big deal. Um, so yeah, it makes a lot of sense to, that, that Tommy's doing that. Um, it's not looking like there, there, a month ago, I would have told you that 250, um, at the end of this year could become a really big deal for us here in the U S as well. Luckily it's, it's maybe kind of sort of looking like we're not gonna get smacked down with that um hopefully it, it's looking like we're basically just not gonna be able to go over 300 feet which is fucking awesome <laughs> like like if i can't go over 50 feet i'm still happy because 50 if i'm 50 feet away from an from an object i'm bored like i want to be i want to be 50 inches from stuff at all times because if i'm always 50 inches from something then it always looks like i'm going 7,000 miles an hour and the video always looks awesome um so yeah no the, that's totally like hearsay and and whatever it, it, we could get completely fucked at the end of the year from the faa but we'll see um i am cautiously optimistic uh slide by fpb says what mah did you need those gnb uh, the, do you need those GNB form factors in? Uh, slide by, let me guess, you found the 550s, right? Um, I have a bunch of the 550s, they're great, uh, but the 450 is is the one that's hard to find. Um, uh, Edoc says, three inch prop, not good with a build around 250 grams. Um, so Edoc, 250 gram builds on three inch props are epitomized by the Acrobrat. And, um, as you can see, this is the problem that I have with the Acrobrat at 250 grams. Um, 
which is a combination of things. The 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 um, the solution to this problem here is a four millimeter base plate. Um, unfortunately, a four millimeter base plate does not work with any of the grommets required to do the clean dirty setup. So um, Tommy has to stick with a three millimeter base plate, and at 250 grams. Um, 250, 260, 270, depending on how you're built. Um, it's just not quite, it's not quite strong enough. Uh, the beginning found them on Banggood. That's interesting. I would, I haven't ordered from Banggood in a while, but if I have to, I will. Um, I would love to find them in, in, uh, stateside if possible. Uh, but I didn't even realize they were on Banggood. Thanks for that beginning FPV. Um, yeah, 250... Uh, 250 all up on three inch props is a little heavy in, in my opinion it, it, it doesn't fly like a five inch 200 to 220 grams on three inch props for me is the closest I've ever been able to get to a micro that that you can practice with and by practice I mean practice four five inch flying um so yeah two, 250 is an interesting number it's it's kind of right in between three inch and four inch um and i think it flies a lot better on four inch um if you guys want to see how that setup flies all you gotta do is come on over here to my channel my channel and click on this four inch movement video this is a um 270 something gram build on 2004s with uh 2004s with a run cam hybrid that's what you're seeing here is the hd from the run cam hybrid uh, prototype frame, it was a prototype frame come from uh, Rugi uh, Kebab, and uh, yeah, so this is what to expect from 4 inch at about 270 grams. It's great, it's totally flyable. Um, if you compare that, this these flights were the same exact day as the, the other drift edit, um, so do yourself a favor, watch this edit, but then also watch Drift Dreams. Um, with the understanding that this footage is coming out of a, a, a $90 run cam hybrid versus Drift Dreams, the footage is coming out of a $400 uh, GoPro Hero 9 with Hypersmooth turned on. Um, so that like definitely keep that in mind because there's a huge difference between these two. But... When you're watching this, uh, like, just remember, this is a 270 gram rig, right? Like, this is crazy to be able to get this kind of performance out of a micro. Um, I've been trying to get this sort of performance out of a micro for four years. And I'm still not happy with where this is at, but it's, it's getting there, man. It is real close. Um... So yeah, the, the, this is super impressive. Super, super, super impressive. This is like a, this is like a two hundred dollar build, that's keeping up with eighty mile an hour drift cars, um, and I am confident enough on the sticks with this build to be able to get shit like this, to be able to get close enough, um and not be constantly bouncing around with elevation, all the other things that that micros have a really tough time with. That was a really close call for the record. Look at the uh, look at the bottom right. Oh, I'm I'm in the bottom right. <laughs> Hold on. Let me move myself. See that? That's the fender, yo. <laughs> That was, that was, uh, way closer. I, I didn't hit him, somehow. Uh, when I was coming around, I knew it was gonna be close. Um, I kinda, I, I, I was in this 
I was sort of in it because I had this nice little run going and I didn't want to throw this run away. And I, and I just kind of held it and I was like, well, it's a micro. If he hits it, it's not going to hurt him. And I just let it come down. And as soon as I could blip the throttle, I blipped. And it, and as I was blipping the throttle, I saw him come into frame. And I was like, oh, that's game over. And he just, whoop, just right under me. I was like, oh, fuck. That'll never happen again. Nor will a beautiful little landing like that to catch me walking back. Um, yeah, 4 inch is good. I'm, I'm, it's really cool that, um, that 4 inch has kind of finally found its home. Uh... And it, it's also really cool that Gemfan came out with these 4-inch props that are phenomenally good. Uh, Jason Crabtree says, Will the Rip Squeak replace uh, the Acrobat for you? It will not, Jason. Uh, well, sort of. Um, I have now broken five or six uh, Acrobat base plates between the Prototype, the, the, the Production V1, and now the Duo. Um, and when you break a, when you break a, a, a unibody base plate, it sucks. It's a lot of work. It's super fucking, yeah. Um, you got 40 minutes to wait for that, Yarbs. Um, so, and I, 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 I knew this a while ago, but I was being very stubborn. Um, this is less of a freestyle. It's, this is definitely not a basher rig. And, in my opinion, this is less of a freestyle rig and more of a cinematic rig. As a cinematic rig, this thing makes a lot of sense. It's got the clean, dirty system. You can carry around an Insta360 Go. Christ, you can carry around a, a Session 5 or even a full-size hero on the damn thing. Um, it's just not a thrashy rig. It's, it's a little bit too heavy for the thickness of the carbon. Um... So this is going to be a cinematic 3-inch rig. And that's what it should have been from the get-go for me. But I've been... Yeah. It's fun to fly it freestyle. And then you crash. And then it's a lot less fun. So, um, yeah. This is a weapon, though, man. This rig on these beautifully smooth X-Nova 1804s um, with these T-Motor 3140 props... Uh, and the, the clean, dirty system, you got the, the run cam hybrid built in so that you have 4K footage all the time. And then you can hang a camera up on top if you want a little bit better quality footage than that. Um, yeah, I will not stop flying this. Like, the, this rig will continue to get use. It just won't get thrashed anymore. The, the Thrasher rigs are going to be the 200 gram 3-inch uh, rigs. They just crash a lot better. I mean, it's, you know, it's like, it's 25% less weight. So it's going to crash at least 25% better. Uh, slide by FPV says, are the people driving all okay with you flying? Has anybody had issues? Absolutely they are. Slide by one of the secrets um, that makes flying drift events so much fun is that as a, um, as a drift driver, your main concern is smashing into a wall and doing thousands of dollars of damage to your to your gear or smashing into someone else or someone else smashing into you doing thousands of dollars of damage to your gear um a 700 gram quad bumping into your car is hysterical and that's what that that's like all of those guys approaches if and and if there's someone at a drift event that has an issue with you hitting their car with a quad, it's like their first or second event and they're not going to survive in drifting because it's just, it, yeah, you, you can't, you very, very quickly learn in drifting that your car is just a thing and like any hope of that thing being like not mangled to hell is just out the window. Um, so yeah, every single, uh, I've flown four drift events now and I've hit probably 20 different cars and every single time I've gone down to paddock and or grid wherever they are and found them. Um, 
and the, every single time they've been, oh my god, that was so fucking cool. Are you, is your is your is your drone okay? I'm so sorry, I hit you. Like they're all just like super excited, super apologetic to you. Um, it's it's a really funny experience. Um, and yeah, they they just most of the cars are like rattle can painted anyway. Um, the the one thing that you have to make sure that you don't do though is fly into the window and hit someone in the face. And the easiest way to do that is to not do what are called what well what I call head-ons. Um, you can do head-ons, but you need to do head-ons like up at an elevation where there's just absolutely no chance of you going inside of that car because the problem with head-ons is the car is closing ground at the same rate if not faster than you are and our brains can't really like handle that and what happens is when you start to do a head-on like instantly the car is on top of you and you're like jesus christ um it's really creepy like it, it really just like all of a sudden you are right on top of the car um there have been there have been pilots who've done head-ons really low to the ground because it looks really cool but the problem is that all of a sudden the car is on top of you and you're bouncing off the side of that car and if they're if they're in a slide their their window is coming right at you and there's a real chance that you will go directly in that window and if they've got an open face helmet on i don't know if they would survive if there's a drift car going towards you at 80 miles an hour and you're going towards them at 80 miles an hour and you hit them in the face, I don't know about that. I, I don't I don't know if that person will be alive after that. So yeah, don't do head-ons. I mean, just don't do them. It, that's the easiest thing. You just never fly directly at the cars. You always track with the car that's the the that's really like for your first couple events that's what you should do because that way the most serious collision is going to be like what three miles an hour right because you're trying to like have you're trying to be glued to them so you're trying to have a zero mile an hour um uh you know uh you know but typically you do move around a little bit so you'll have like a few mile an hour worth of momentum um, when you potentially bump into the car. Uh, so yeah, be sensible and you won't have a problem. Um, mainly just don't do head-ons. They're, they're just a bad idea. They look really cool, but they're a bad idea. Uh, RG13 says, congrats on the sponsorship. They should call the Purple 5143 the Ciotis. Um They're maybe will be uh there's gonna be a Ciati prop uh it's probably not gonna be a five inch prop it's there's just so many five inch uh props uh it's probably I'm, I'm i'm really hoping that i can do so we've got the the um the wind dancer 3028 and then we've got the uh t-motor 3140 but the 3140 is m5 nut only so i would really 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 like to do something sort of in between those two um or maybe just a 3040 maybe just a straight up t-mount 3040 uh we don't have that like and and that would be the perfect propeller in my opinion for that rip squeak micro 1306s 1504 and a halfs um a lot of different stuff uh, yeah, Alec, I'm a, I'm a, a, a gem fan sponsored pilot. Um, as you can see, I have proof now. I've I've said that on a bunch of streams, but now I have proof. Isn't that cool? And they even spelled my name right. Look at that, C I O T T I. Is there nothing that Gemfan can't do really well? Um, for the uninitiated, I've been a Gemfan fan. Uh, I've been a fan of Gemfan um, since practically day one. Um, 
four years ago, micro props were a fucking nightmare. Like, real bad. Um, because most of them were not balanced. Like, fresh out of the package, put them on the quad, quad flies away. What the fuck? Ugh, let me go into my tune and fix my tune. It must be the tune. Nope. It's the propellers. Um, and Gemfan was the only company that would consistently make micro props that weren't that that were balanced um with one exception they did a uh, their 2040 three blade 2040 so it was a two inch prop 40 pitch uh and it was a tri-blade and it was out of balance and i bought i refused to believe it because every single other gem fan prop was balanced very well um so I kept buying them. I bought more and more and more. I bought uh, a bag at a time from all different vendors at all different times over the course of like a year, thinking maybe it was just a bad run, um, and it wasn't. The the mold must have gotten messed up, um, and there. So it's just that's that's the one that the, if you get one right, you can <laughs> you get one. Uh, so that was their one. Every single other gem fan prop I have ever flown and tested with my little testing method with a piece of solder um, has been beautifully well balanced and not a single other manufacturer uh, can even remotely touch that ratio uh, when it comes to micro props. Agent Astro says Merry Christmas. I say Merry Christmas right on back to him. Uh, Jason Crabtree says zero mile an hour Delta. Yeah, Delta. I try not to use the word Delta though because that's one of those like jargony kind of words that I stay away from. Um, KVFPV says check your Instagram tags to see the mount that I made earlier. The problem is there's going to be like a million, but let me see if I can find yours, KV. Let's see what I can find. Find in here. I don't see it in there. Let me check in here. All right. And wait, is this it? Hey, here it is. Oh yeah, showed that one earlier. KV, yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed the uh, the Thingiverse earlier, dude. That looks really good. That looks super dope. Look at that thing. Flywoo Explore, Explorer. Um, you're not worried about it. Uh, I, I'm I'm interested how much it's how it's gonna do picking that thing up because I remember uh, people saying that 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 rig uh, was a little bit down on power. Um, so definitely let us know how it is with that extra weight on there. Okay. Ah, nice. Sending it to Super's brother. That's super cool. How do I make, uh, how do I make this unread? Eh, whatever, I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. Thanks, Alec. I appreciate it, man. Because I think their product is on another level from anything else I've seen. Yeah, I agree. Um, Five-inch props, the, the, the gap is, is a lot shorter. Um, I still prefer Gemfan's five-inch props, but when it comes to micro props, there's just no comparison. Um, I mean, the, the, the T-Motor micro-props are good, but they're made by Gemfan. <laughs> I was specifically asked not to say that, but um, I don't see Frederico in the, <laughs> in the chat. So, uh, Alec wrecked his Cinewoop yesterday in an oak tree. Gemfan prop survived. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jason Crabtree says X Nova 1804 3500 KV T mount. Uh, a good idea? I think so. Um, at, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna buy a set of those. I, I, 
the, the M5 nut thing for a micro motor, it's not, it's not the way. It's, it's, it's easier, I will admit. It is definitely easier to not fuck with M2 hardware to put your props on and off. Um, but the weight and the length of the lever that that an M5 nut motor creates, right? Like one of the big problems we have with micro motors is bending the motor shafts. And if this point all the way up here gets pushed in a direction, that's a big long lever to bend that motor shaft, right? Whereas if this wasn't here at all, the highest point would be all the way down here at the top of the prop, right? And that's just gonna be infinitely stronger. So, yeah. Uh, I am all over those X Nova 1804 T-mount 3500s. Um, I, think, I think that these you guys want to... Should we build a Cinesplor? I have a Cinesplor that I'm wanting to build on those motors. Uh, I'm going to basically take those M5 nut 1804s off the Acrobrat, put them on the Cinesplor where they're protected in the ducts, right? And I'm going to get those T-mount 1804s and put them on the Acrobrat. Um, I completely forgot to show you guys these. Look at these. Tell me this isn't... The most heartwarming thing that you've ever seen. Look at that Christmas prop, yo! Come on now. And it's a 5143, so it's actually like a usable propeller. I mean, it's my favorite of all the 5 inch propellers. So, yeah, they do the green ones. I'm sorry, the blue ones. And then they do these green ones. Look at that, man. Isn't that just delightful? Look at Gem Fan, man. Save in fucking 2020. Hashtag Gem Fan Saves 2020. They saved 2020 with their LED props. Um, it, it is 1136. So in 24 minutes, I get to take this goddamn onesie off. As long as you guys don't realize that it's only going to take... An extra... Fuck you. You do the math. For me to keep this stupid ass thing on. <laughs> uh, Schnoid says I have all the parts from Bob for my Cinesplore. Ex except the flight controller. Uh, Frank says check PayPal. <laughs> There's the end of that. Um, oh, I didn't miss any, any super chats, right? Uh, okay, good. Uh, checking PayPal. <laughs> Double A sent $20. He says, happy holidays, buddy. Happy holidays to you as well, Double A. And Frank sent 23 a while ago, and I didn't see it. <laughs> Another hour of onesie life. 577 goes to 620. Wait, no, I need a zero. There we go. There we have it. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Double A. You guys are fucking great. And I am stuck in this thing. Oh, wait a second. It's about to be midnight. We got, a, we got another giveaway coming. And we get to scream Merry Christmas. That'll be fun. Um, and then four hours left after that. Uh, okay, so if there's only four hours left... I let's uh, you guys get to pick what um, what I attempt to build in in the rest of the time. Unless you don't want to see more building, I can do some editing. Um, okay, so chat is gonna decide uh, if you want to see me. Wait, don't don't do this yet. But when I tell you when I tell you, uh, you're gonna put in the chat. You're gonna put the word editing. If you want to see editing in Premiere, uh, you're going to put the word build if you want me to build. No, 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 no. Uh, more specifically than that. 
you're going to put the word Cinesplore. If you want me to build the Cinesplore, which is Bob Ruge FPV Cycles uh, Cinewoop. Uh, you're going to put the word Tiny Whoop if you want me to build this uh, Beta 75X, basically, that is going to be uh, a, a bind and fly rig that I build for you guys to buy. It's going to go up on FPV Cycle with uh, 1204 motors. It's going to have a Cadix Tarsier in that crazy blue canopy you know that beta fpv has and it's gonna be on 3s um so you're gonna put tiny whoop if you want me to build this uh we could also build oh i de i'm definitely gonna be working on super deluxe's acrobrat that's actually up next uh i put it somewhere that i wouldn't forget it And, or not forget it, uh, lose it. There it is. And then I lost it. Uh, so yeah, th that's getting worked on no matter what. Uh, we could do a racing rig build. Uh, if you want to see me do a racing rig build, you're going to type the word uh, race into the, into the chat. Or... Or... Oh, 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 oh. Or we take both of these uh, tiny whoops out of the R3D shifters frames and we put them into uh, cockroach frames. Uh, so for this, if you want to see this, you're gonna type cockroach in to the chat. Uh, Squint says sim. We could sim. We could sim. If you want to, if you want sim, you're gonna type sim. Okay, so those are your options. Uh, drop them in the chat. Uh, sim race for the ra sim for simming race for the race build. Uh, 75x for the tiny whoop. Uh, Cinesplore, uh, editing, I think that's about it, 661 says nice onesie, <laughs> what's up 661, how the hell are you, so, uh, Squints is voting for the Sim, then we've got Private Island looking for the Whoop, Remy Tim, Cinesplore, Private Island, Again for the Whoop, 75X. Uh, William Barlow also liking the Whoop. CMYK liking the Cinesplore. Another Cinesplore from Pat. Uh, another 75X from Agent Astros, Astro. So those are three and three. Uh, Cinesplore from Nukem. Mm. E -E Doc says Sim, so Sim is now up at two. License to Drive says Cockroach. That's the first one there. Another... 75x 661 says 420 another 75x squints now also wants to see editing so squints is is splitting his vote in half <laughs> mark kunoff wants the cinesplore michael spencer wants the the tiny whoop dingles wants the cockroach ken hill with cinesplore so we're six and six Oh, Cinesplore pulls ahead. 8, 4, 84 FPV and B-Man FPV, both wanting the Cinesplore. I think I just mixed my hands up, but whatever. Cinesplore is over here. Another Cinesplore. Oh, there it is. Another Cinesplore, another Cinesplore, um, another Cinesplore. 75X, 75X, 69X, 75X, 75X. Oh, God. <laughs> Onesie striptease. Uh, Cinesplore, 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 Cinesplore. We're building a Cinesplore. Uh, I hope you guys didn't vote twice. <laughs> I would have no idea. 
Uh, Pandemic Pilot, I was figuring out what I'm gonna do for the remaining four hours. But, in 16 minutes, I'm gonna do a giveaway for an Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. <laughs> Squint says recount. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna ring in the, the, I almost said New Year. I'm gonna ring in Christmas with the best Christmas present that, that I can really give you guys. Um, outside of my company for 12 hours straight. Pandemic Pilot with a $2 super chat. He wants to absolutely to make sure that he doesn't miss it. And uh, I can respect that. You guys don't have to do your $2 now, but if you do, do me a favor and wait. Pandemic Pilot, it's fine that you did that. But I don't want to have to do it right now. Actually, fuck that. I am going to do it right now. Um, $2 to get in on a chance to win this. If I get this shit figured out in the next 15 minutes at 12.00, I can spin the goddamn wheel, scream Merry Christmas, and somebody will win. That'll be fun. Pandemic Pilot going on the wheel. $2 via PayPal by going to Ciotti FPV, scrolling down and clicking the PayPal button, or just scroll down in the chat and do a super chat. $2, one entry only. Um, and, uh, yeah. We'll do that. Jason Crabtree... He's going on the wheel, and now he's on the wheel. Uh, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to move. Oh, wait, no. These are done charging. Uh, okay. Oh, I just threw this battery towards these other batteries. I I, um, I, I didn't think you guys would... Uh, I didn't think Cinesplore would win. I'm... Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised at that. I, I've been wanting to build it, but I did I, I, I didn't I didn't build the other Cinesplore on the stream. Um and I don't know, I just I didn't think that you guys would want to see it. That it, it's I I like that you guys are into the Cinewoop thing. Um okay, so since it's a it's a it's a big uh giveaway, I am gonna I am gonna spread the news. I say <laughs> slick Willie. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to Instagram. I'm gonna go into my stories. I'm gonna hit the plus button, and I'm gonna turn the camera around, and I'm gonna push the button and go, "Yo, Instagram! I've been streaming for almost eight hours straight. Four hours left to go. In 13 minutes at midnight Eastern time." I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. And it's only $2 to get in the giveaway. Come on over to YouTube. I'm streaming now. And I'll tell you how to get in the giveaway. You just super chat me 2 bucks or PayPal me. All right, cool. They can see that I'm in a onesie so that they know I'm serious. I'm gonna go back to the first one. I'm gonna type youtube.com slash Ciotti FPV. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna hit next. Your story, done. That's how social media works. You type things, and then it goes out, and you just hope for the best. <laughs> All right, let's get caught up on these uh, entries. What do you guys say? Scrolling up, we've got Jason Crabtree on the wheel. EE -E Doc was next. Two Californian dollars and 60 Californian cents. And there is EE -E Doc. Gator FPV with a $5 super chat. I'm gonna take three of those extra dollars and put them into the suffering fund 
for me to wear this onesie for yet another hour. Agent Astro, 536 with two pounds. And no pence. You're on the wheel, Agent Astro. Julian Vincent's going on as well. There we go. And Josh PFPV, he's in. Once I get caught up on these super chats, I'll hop over to PayPal and add everybody from over there. Uh, Pat McFarland is next. And Free Range Chicken RC is next. With a $4.99 super chat, $3 of which are going to the gear fund, $6.26. And we've got Athix FPV, Tiny Hawk Freestyle. He's on the wheel. And three more dollars to the suffering fund. And RG13 with five bucks. He says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, RG. You are now on the wheel. And I am putting your three extra bucks in here. There we go. Uh, Alec Dvornik, Alec, you're already on the wheel. I put you on all the wheels, no matter what. But thank you for your two dollars. Actually, I'm gonna put you on the wheel twice. Alec is the only one that gets to go on the wheel twice because he's the only one crazy enough to do the time code thing. Yarbs FPV is going on. Two sixty-nine. It's it's the sex number. Oh my god, what happened? It scrolled to the bottom. I gotta find my place. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? And there we go. Private Island FPV with three Californian dollars. That That's that's worth as much as two American dollars. He says, you sure have a, nice, a, bunch, a nice bunch of friends. I certainly do, Private Island. I certainly effing do riot nine is going on the wheel or riot nine b man fpv <laughs> one's delicious <laughs> that's gross b man <laughs> uh geo fairbanks is getting in on the action on the wheel he goes uh it's darts it's darts what's the story behind your name Tell us. Inquiring minds want to know. $3 of It's Darts, $5 is going into the gear fund. Ooh, look at that nice round number. 635. Yes. Next, we've got William Barlow. He goes on the wheel. Got a little bit of Loon FPV. He's in. Like Laura Flynn. Lord FPV with 250 RSDs. What's an RSD? I don't know. I can't guess it. Just sometimes, you know, just going for that first letter, the rest of the word will just come to you but yeah it's not gonna not gonna happen Jordan man says uh inverted girl inverted girl is on <laughs> i'm not gonna read the rest of that Jordan man uh because if she's within earshot she'll probably get mad at you so i'll, <laughs> I'll... <laughs> um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna grab this and i'm just gonna do that i, I think that's i think that's what i'm supposed to do License to drive goes in. He says Emacs good. <laughs> Emacs good indeed. Urando with three Californian dollars. They're worth almost as much as Canadian dollars, but not quite as much. Or maybe they're worth more. You never know. Mustang Pilot with $4.99. And $2 to get on the wheel. $3 being added to the Ciotti suffers fund there it is 638 
Fi oh, God damn it. Come on, YouTube. Stop it. Stop doing the thing. Family Guyver, Merry Christmas to you as well, my friend. You are on the wheel. Uh, um, okay, yeah, drone man, we're good. Uh, Nukem says you skip my message on PayPal. I haven't gotten to the PayPal's yet, Nukem. Uh, Golf Pinball with three ninety nine Californian, which is similar to three ninety nine Canadian, but better. It's an inside joke. It's not really an inside joke. It's a it's a previous stream joke. Uh, Mustang Pilot with four ninety nine. He says Merry Christmas. I say Merry Christmas right back. And I add his $3 and Golf Pinball's extra $2 to the gear fund. Uh, 8 becomes 43. There we go. And... <laughs> YouTube user lost in the electrical aisle <laughs> with $3. With three dollars Canadian, <laughs> thanks, dude. What's the story with that name? I need to know the story. Of all these crazy names and free lojo, <laughs> free lojo with five dollars. He says, "What's this for?" Uh, you've now been entered. Two of your five dollars have been used to put you on the wheel, free lojo, to uh, win the Tiny Hawk Freestyle Two, which is the midnight giveaway. F five minutes from now, we're gonna spin this wheel, and I'm gonna scream, "Merry Christmas!" And it's going to be great. I'm now caught up on the Super Chats over here. I'm going to go into the PayPal. And then that's pretty much going to be all the time that we've got. So if you don't get your shit in like right now, it's probably going to get missed. Because at 12.00, four minutes from now, I'm hitting the button. Um, Kyle Newcomb. He goes on wheel. I don't know why I, I, I like saying it like a, a three-year-old so bad. Uh, Frank Nicholas with $22, $2 to be on the wheel, $20 for me to wear a goddamn onesie for longer. We go here, we go here, we go, uh, four to six, and I'm starting to get worried. Tom Coughlin sent $3.82, he goes on the wheel, and I'm just gonna eat the other $1.82. We've got... Kerry Kirk going on the wheel via PayPal. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you to all you lovely people. Steven Steinbaker is going on. CMYK loving the stream. Trying to hold out and stay awake. 12 a.m. giveaway. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, at the end of the 24-hour stream, I realized I wanted to have you guys check in on every hour so I could see who, who actually stays the whole time. That's a bigger deal with a 24-hour stream. 12 hours is actually not all that bad. Um, so I, I feel okay that uh, that I forgot to do it. Justin Streitler with a $5 super chat. $3 of that is going to go to the gear fund, but I actually need to hurry to get these done in time because Christmas is coming, people! Christmas is three minutes away. Michael Lane, you're going on the wheel. $2 PayPal. And then we've got a little bit of Daniel Maurer. He sent $12. Ten of it goes to the gear fund. And what did I say a second ago? 12 plus 3 equals 15 going to the uh, fund. That is Daniel Maurer's extra as well as Justin's extra. What did I just say? 15? 15 bucks. Gear fund. Oh, God. The math. Uh, 6 goes to 7. 3 goes to 8. I click OK. And now we're scarily close. Uh, two minutes. BVTV is getting in on the giveaway. There we go. BVTV. And I'm caught up. If you want to get in, you've got about one minute. I'm going to hit this button. I'm going to bring the live chat over onto the other monitor. Uh, giveaway is Tiny Hawk Freestyle. Two. Come on, OBS. Stop being a jerk. There it is. Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. There it is. It does come with propellers. 
and a little charger and a cool case you know dingles don't say that dingles with 4.99 he's gonna win dingles is gonna win i'm calling it now it's gonna be a dingle win shuffling 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 One minute, goddammit. Christmas is coming. It's almost here. Uh, what time is it? Oh, I was hoping that they would have the, the seconds. But they don't. That's okay. I'll just keep my eye on the, on the clock. And I'm going to go full screen with this. Tiny Hawk Race! <laughs> Joshua Bardwell is going to win. <laughs> He's not even in this one. Um, ah! Merry Christmas, motherfucker! this fucking thing um wait do i have to take wait do i have to leave this on i can't fucking believe that just happened um ah, that's the greatest thing ever dingles congratulations bro you've won an emax tiny hawk uh freestyle two uh you gotta do a little bit of work for it though you gotta message me at cidfpv on instagram or facebook or patreon if you're on my patreon um i need you to tell me that your name on on youtube is dingles because that's what i'm gonna write down somewhere here i'm gonna write it down on a piece of paper because there's not a single thing that's white in here for me to write it down on so I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to write D-I-N Really? D I'm still working on the D I-N G L E Z. Okay, Dingles. I get a million. I get a million Facebook and Instagram and Patreon messages from all of these amazing people that are here in the chat right now. Um, so I need your message to have the word Dingles somewhere in it. Because when I'm ready to ship this out, I'm going to go into Facebook and to Instagram and I'm going to search for Dingles because that's the only thing that I know you as, right? So send me a message that says, yo, my name is Dingles on YouTube. I won the, the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. Uh, here's my real first and last name. Here's my address. Here's my email address because I would like you to send me a tracking number. And that's about it. That's all the work that you have to do. And you'll get yourself eventually because the mail system is fucked right now, a Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. Congratulations, brother, and Merry Goddamn Christmas to all of us. We made it through 2020 to Christmas. I want to see say what could go wrong between now and the end of the year, but I'm not going to say that because that's just the worst thing that you could ever say at the end of a year like this. Am I right? Am I right? A Christmas miracle. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Seriously, Merry Christmas. Um, I, uh, yeah, it's been a, this has been a interesting year for me. I, I can't really talk too much shit on 2020. Do I have to wait? What, so we're at, we're at six, so we are six hours worth of onesie is locked in. So I wore it from 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8. I think I took it off at 8 until 9. I put it back on at 9 to 10. And then 10 to 11. And then 11 to 12. Ooh, I get to take this shit off, don't I? Uh, if you don't have social media, just... Tell me that in the thing, in the comments here, in the chat, and uh, I'll give you my email address. Um, 
Hold on, let me make sure. 678. So that's six, 600. So that's six hours of, of onesie time. Um, shit, I forgot that I didn't wear it from 4 to 5. Didn't wear it from 4 to 5. I put it on at 5 o'clock. So 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. That covers us. And then I didn't wear it for an hour. So that's like basically 11 to 12. So then... So now it's 12. So we would... I think we would need to be at 700, right? Am I getting that right? I think I'm right. Uh, Rumi Tim says, No, no, no. We just crossed over from 500 to 620 minutes ago. Hmm. Really? B-Man, you're right. I didn't wear it from 9 to 10. So I didn't wear it from 9 to 10. I also didn't wear it from... Um... No, I get I get an hour without this thing. Which is good, because I'm sweating my balls off from, from just having screamed all that much. Um, so I'm not wearing it from 12 to 1. It, you guys had your chance. You almost got there. If this gets to 700, I'll put it back on at 1 a.m. Um, oh, fuck it. Nope, not in time. Not in time, Nukem. Nope, I got the timestamp. 12.05, Nukem sent $22 on PayPal. <laughs> but it was too late. He missed it by five minutes. Yes! Finally, something goes my way. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Lots of things go my way. Um... Holy shit. Okay, here's some more flying from 2020. I, if I don't take this, take this off, I might die. Uh, here you go. Ooh, pipes. Uh, March 9th of 2020, I flew these awesome pipes. And you guys are going to get to see it while I take this goddamn thing off for an hour. <laughs> Oh, thank fucking God. Oh, this whole video is me just crap. Well, I don't need much of it. I just need a little bit here. Here's the cool pipes, pipes footage. I'll be right back. This is nice. The next hour is going to be terrific. Because at 1 a.m. it goes right back on. <laughs> Thanks to Kyle Newcomb. 700. But he missed it by five minutes. 
Whew, thank God. All right. Uh, we got this, we got that, we got this. And quit out of that. Take this over here, grab the live chat, pull it back over. And EE Doc says, I jumped back an hour and the total was at 577. Oh no. My math is wrong. And he distracted me with the giveaway. <laughs> that was the, <laughs> the secret. I distracted you guys with the giveaway. <laughs> Pandemic Pilot, it's not Christmas tomorrow, it's Christmas right now! Uh, it starts, says those pipe look much smaller till I saw CIFPD standing next to them. Yeah, they were, they were like, uh, they were about like that-ish. They were tight. Um, Drone Man is out. I'll have my wife send you two bucks when she gets back. Whatever, it's totally cool, Drone Man. Uh, have an awesome Christmas, and, uh, thanks for hanging. Um... Did you, uh, do me a favor, more, more than one person, figure out what the math should be, and I'll just take your guys' word for it. Uh, Frank says I can add the other 22. Nope. Too late. 12. Look at that. Look at that timestamp. Oh, these timestamps just fucked you guys over. <laughs> 12.05. Nope. Maybe. Unless you guys tell me that I did all the maths wrong. <laughs> um... All right, let me scroll back up a little bit here and just uh, and just see if I can catch the thread of, of what the hell happened. Uh, the cross past 600 only 20 minutes ago when you caught up on PayPal. Uh, what if you don't have the... the, 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 the okay, got that. Um, Server for 500, 600. So it's it's not about the well yeah I now I've confused myself crossed over from 500 to 600 20 minutes ago. How did that happen? How could that have happened? If I only didn't wear it for two hours. Hmm. Yes. Rumi Tim says you're right. I was confused. Yes. All right. Good. Um, Double A just watched a video of a person with a sausage tied to their waist, trying to drop it in a hole of a standing roll of toilet paper. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, all right. All right. Let's build the Cinesplore, because that got the most votes, and the most votes wins. This is going to be an ultralight Cinesplore on... The super secret V3 uh, uh, ducts, uh, FPV cycle ducts, and we're also going to try the the HQ six blades on this rig. Um, just because I'm sponsored by Gemfan now doesn't mean that I'm going to stop flying other companies' propellers, um, which. I, like, they brought that up with me. They were like, we don't want you to stop flying other people's propellers. And I was like, wow, that's super cool. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give these six-blade uh, HQ props uh, a rip on these. The So, the um, my current Cinesplore is on Brother Hobby uh, 2004s. And they are T-mount only, which pretty much leaves me only with these propellers. Like, the, the, these are the only Cinewoop-specific T-mount propeller option. Um, what's nice is these are amazing. <laughs> like, the, these are... Um, I Bob uh, has done a ton of Cinewoop testing at this point, and when I see him flying, he's flying these propellers. So... Kind of stands to reason that those are the best of the Cinewoop propellers because I don't know anybody that's that's been doing more Cinewoop testing than him. Uh, Nukem says, what flight controller? Uh, it's going to be a Talon F7. Uh, it's not going to be digital. I am not uh, on digital yet. I have... Oh. Oh. I forgot to put this in the... 
this is what you guys want me to build, isn't it? What are we building? The Cinesplorer or Moon Goat? In the chat, you're going to write Moon Goat or you're going to write Cinesplorer. Go. And I'm going to build whichever one you guys uh, vote for. Oh my god, the, the, a couple of right off the bat. Okay, so we're two and two. Um, okay, uh, Cinesplorer is my right hand, Moon Goat is my left hand. We've got uh, Cinesplorer, Cinesplorer, Moon Goat, Moon Goat. Uh, Cinesplor, Cinesplor, Goat, Goat, Cinesplor, Goat, Cinesplor, Cinesplor, Goat. Wow, you guys really want to see me build the Cinewoop, huh? Cinesplor, Cinesplor's pulling ahead. Ooh, Family Guyver. It's darts. I would, I, I am shocked. I am shocked. I, I don't want you guys... I don't want to affect your uh, your voting, but I'm shocked. Don't let the fact that I'm shocked affect your voting. I don't know if I counted its darts or not. Uh, I don't think I need... I don't think it matters, but I'm going to count its darts now. Cinesplore, Cinesplore, Cinesplore. Goat, Cinesplore, Goat, Goat. Cinesplote, Moongore. <laughs> Ed K says, build an airplane. Goat, goat, fuck. Are they even? I, I don't think this is, is five ahead. I think they're dead they're dead even. Yeah, don't double vote either, because I, I can't police that. Um uh, goat. Alright, I think I need to take one away. I think I need to take one away. I th I think I counted um somebody twice, so I'm gonna do that. I took one away. Uh, and then B-Man just voted for the goat again. So the goat's up by one, unless you bastards cheated. D Darts voted goat three times! <laughs> Alright, so I already took one away from its darts. Now I'm taking another one away. So now we should be good. Another Cinesplore from License to Drive. So the Cinesplore pulled the... Uh, Cinesplore's ahead. It's gonna be, it, it's gonna be the Cinesplore. Cinegoat. <laughs> Building the Cinesplore. I, I don't have a receiver for the goat anyway, so... Um, yeah. Damn. Damn. I mean, you guys did already vote for the... For the, uh, for the Cinesplore, so... Um, kind of makes sense. Uh, but first... We're gonna... We're gonna take a look at this, uh... Uh, videoless acrobrat that Superlux sent over with a ton of other amazing stuff. Logitech, please, please, just do something. Do something, please. There's like 7,000 high to low contrast spots for you to lock focus on and you and and you just you just you can't fucking oh my god come on you shitball there all i had to do was open the fucking program for it and turn on and off autofocus 80 times uh pandemic pilot i'm going to tell you which logitech this is because I want to make sure that nobody ever buys the damn thing. Um, it was like 80 fucking dollars. It is the C780, maybe? God damn it. Really? You don't even... They knew. They, they didn't write the, the model down on it because they knew that if they did, that people streaming with it would read the model number and tell all their whole audience to not buy it. Yeah, they they legit didn't put a fuck the 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 model number on it anywhere. That's that's yeah, that's great. Uh, C seven eighty. It might be the nine twenty. Um, really? You're gonna do it again? What? Come on! No. 
Come on. Just really? Is this a is this some kind of a sick joke? Come on, man. All right. All right. You heard its feelings. Um, uh, DJ Dub says, "What motors are on that Acrobat X? Uh, X? Jeez, uh, X Nova? X Nova? X Nova? Eighteen oh four is the only motors that you should be putting on an Acrobat. They are ridiculous." Um, Pandemic Pilot says, "You need to adjust the lens. There is no lens adjustment." Um, Julian Vincent says, "Build a webcam. How do you build a webcam, Julian?" Um, B-Man says you hurt its feelings. Ed K says you can look in device manager. It might say what camera it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It says it right... <laughs> Jesus Christ. on a goddamn crutch. <sighs> this is the... This is the program that I have to open up 7,000 times to get this damn thing working right. C920! <laughs> Right in front of me. Uh, sure. Uh, Pandemic Pop says you take it apart. I've done it to improve the quality greatly. Really? I mean, it 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 does. F I mean, as you can see, it does eventually lock focus, but it's just yeah, it's just garbage. I I, I mainly blame the uh, the the curvature of the Earth. I don't know. Uh, okay. This guy has no video. Let's figure out why. And then we'll build a Cinesplore. And then I'll send this back to Super Deluxe, and he can fly it all around and go, Holy shit, Ciotti was so right about these motors. This shit actually does fly like a 5-inch rig. Not like all the other rigs that everybody says they fly like a 5-inch rig, but then... They just have a bunch of power. A rig having a bunch of power doesn't mean that it flies like a 5-inch. Can, can we just... Can we stop saying that every single rig flies like a 5-inch? Because they don't. 5-inch rigs fly like 5-inch rigs. Um, it is... Pretty impossible... To, uh, to make anything other than a 5-inch fly like a 5-inch. I myself am guilty of saying it, but I at least try to have this conversation um, when I talk about it. Okay. Here we go. Acrobrat coming apart. Let's figure out what's going on. Um, there is not even an OSD. Uh, there is nothing at all. So, uh, but I think the, the, the VTX is outputting a gray screen. So the first thing I'm going to check is what the hell pad is on the, um, is sending video to the, uh, to the VTX. I've got the VTX tucked down in the bottom, and then I can see this bundle of wires is the receive. or wait, no, this, okay, so it's here. It's this, oh, cool, and it's going to this pad right here. So, which, damn, I don't know which, uh, I don't know the model number of this flight controller, and I don't think Super Deluxe is in the chat. That's exactly what I'm saying, Loon. That's exactly what I'm saying. Alright. Let's go flip this flight controller over, and hopefully there'll be some silk screening on it that tells me what pad... Uh, this VTX is on. I if if I remember correctly though, I don't think I moved the video. Oh yeah, of course I did because I put a different VTX in here. 
Um, so yeah, I did. Uh, there is a chance that I soldered the uh, the video wire up to the wrong pad. Let me. I'm trying to not. I'm, I'm trying to take as little apart as possible in the hopes that this is a quick fix. Um, so I don't have as much work putting it all back together. But with the Acrobrat, a lot, it, it's, it's kind of hard to do this. Like this, everything just kind of gets in the way. But it looks like I have just barely enough. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so it is on a pad called <laughs> VTX. <laughs> One would think that's the right pad but it's not. Uh, so this is a Lumineer Mini, what's that say? Lumineer Mini F7. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the wiring diagram to see what the hell that pad actually is. Oops, uh, there we go. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, Lumineer F7 20 by 20. I forget. I already forget what it's called. <laughs> Mini. Mini was the other word that was on there. That's what it is. Um, Pandemic Pilot says, send me your address and I'll send you a new camera. Pandemic, how do I, uh, how do I send you my address? Uh, Freelojo says I got a run cam hybrid and the FPV cycle 22034, uh, 3440 gem pan five blades ready to go on a Dytone Taycan. I haven't tested the motors yet, but everything is ready to go. Uh, Freelojo, you are not going to believe the difference in flight characteristics with those proper motors versus whatever the hell that thing came with. Probably 1507s. Pandemic says uh, I have that exact camera and had to tweak the lens. Uh, not that hard, but if you want a camera, send me a message on the Discord or something uh, uh, on where I can send it. Um, Pandemic, just uh, uh, just tell me... Oh my god. I may have like 15 of them laying around. <laughs> oh my god. Um, tell me more on... Uh, message me on Discord. Tell me how to, uh, how to, how to tweak the lens. It, were you having these same problems? I... I, I the way that the problem comes up, I assume that the lens, adjusting the lens wouldn't help it, but it sounds like you have a bunch of experience with them. Um, Loon also says, I wish you could, uh, I wish I could hang, but I got to work in the morning, so see you later. Happy whatever you celebrate. Uh, thanks for hanging, brother. Have an awesome Christmas. Uh, I'm on your Patreon, Joel. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, what is that port? Is the question. There's the 4-in-1 connector filtered V... Oh, I should have looked this up beforehand. That's that's cool. Filtered VBAT. That's really nice. Uh, VTX. No, that's... That, that, that's, that's it. VTX. Um, one, two, three, four. It's four pads over. Let's confirm. One, two, three, four pads over. Um, let me confirm that there really is no video. Just to be totally sure. Actually, I'm going to go pee. We are on to March 21st, 21st, and it says best spot in Alpharetta. That is high. Oh yeah, this spot. Um, uh, yeah, you guys might if if you're a fan of steel, you'll recognize this spot. Um, I told him about this spot forever ago, uh, but I also told him that, he, that if he tried to fly there, he'd probably get kicked out immediately. His video was called "Kicked Out Immediately" from flying this spot. <laughs> I'm glad that he eventually did get to this spot though, because it's it's a good one. You guys will see in a second. Uh, totally random. I don't know. This is just like four batteries in. Let's see if 
there's some actual flying rather than just crashing. Hey, look at that. There's some flying. Cool. I'll be right back. feel the need to get like revenge against gaps that reject me as if they're uh, as if they are living beings they kind of are they kind of are um philo just says they're the mamba toka 1606 37 oh that's right you did the um uh the the most nachi motors i've ever seen in slow-mo um Loon says, I can't believe how crispy the flight was, and then... Hey, y'all gotta go. LOL. <laughs> Juan Jose Gomez says, Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas to you as well, Juan! It's Christmas here. I'm on the East Coast. It's 12.30 in the AM. December 25th. Look at that. Man, we fucking made it. It's Christmas 2020. Uh, all right. So, the correct pad is hooked up to the VTX. So, let me really quickly uh, put power to it just to make sure that it really isn't getting... Because there's no reason for it to not at least be getting um, the, the OSD, right? All right, I uh, got a battery, look at that. And I need some goggles. And 
let's see what happens. So I am gonna get I'm gonna get this onto band scan, I think. I think there's a way to I never use any of the extra features, but uh, there is a band scan in here. So band scan is on, and now I'm gonna plug this in. It's picking up I2, I3, race four, and B3. Let's see if any of those have any actual video. Oh, does the band scan not give you video? Oh, farts. I2, I3, race 4, B3. Can somebody write that down in the chat? I2, I3, race 4, B3. Somebody write that down for me in the chat so that I can check each one of those channels. I don't know how to get like out of the menu because I never use the menu. Oh, you go to exit. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay. I2 and I3. Let me see if there's anything on those. Oh wait, no, R4 has a bunch of signal strength. Okay, yeah, so it's on it's on R4. For sure, it's on R4. Well, that's weird. I2 and I3 have really strong signal as well. What was the other one? B? B something? B... Oh yeah, there it is, B3. No, it's, it's just... It's just nothing. Okay, so let me unplug it. Goes full static, replug it, see if we get anything. No, it just goes gray. It just goes solid gray. Let me get over to R4. Uh, B3 no longer has a strong signal. That's weird. They're very, they're, they're close. 5769 for R4. It's on R4. I remember setting it to R4. Um, and it's not a pit issue because it has a shitload of signal on um, on this channel. I mean, now what? Like, at this point, it, it kind of has to be the flight controller. Because... At the very least, even if the OSD is turned off in uh, in Betaflight, at the very least, when you put power to a flight controller, it'll send video of the, the Betaflight logo and shit, you know what I mean? Um, I guess I'll confirm that the OSD is is turned on. I mean, I would have had to turn it off, though. So, um, and then one of the other things we can do is I'll take the, the video out wire coming out of the camera and I'll hook that up to the, to the wire that's going to the, uh, to the VTX. Uh, but let's start with this. Let's come in here. Uh, B-Man thinks it's the camera. Could be. Let's see, configuration, OSD is turned on, and then in here, and I mean we do even, we even have OSD elements. Let me do this though, I am going to manually put this onto NTSC. Well, first I'm going to put it manually PAL and then pull these fuckers up. Um, the NTSC PAL thing can cause some really weird shit to happen. So, let's try this first. Oh, for Christ's sakes, really? Come on. Okay, NTSC, save, and... I always click save twice because I'm a lunatic. Um... Okay, let's see what happens. Let's 
Still on V4, full static. Let's see what happens. Same thing. So. Let's bypass the flight controller. Um, this is annoying. Oh my god, my soldering iron's been on the whole time. Luckily it has auto cool down. It's been sitting here at 300 degrees for hours. <laughs> Don't be like me. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna pull the, the camera in, and I'm just gonna drop it right on top of the pad, oh, excuse me, where the, um, where the, the VTX is. Cause I'm, I'm actually curious if, if this camera blew up. Uh, th this, this Tarsier board did get hit. It, it did take, a uh, a little a little bit of abuse so but there's just no reason for there to not be um, any OSD elements whatsoever showing up so yeah I, I think this is gonna fix it I, I think I'm about to get video but we gonna find out right now Oh god, that's like on there by one thread, but it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, yeah, that's on top of that. Let's see. Oh, I turned the goggles off. Goggles are on R4. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Tarsier is lighting up, but there's nothing. Um, I guess there's a chance that having it on this pad is fucking it up. Let me let me get it off of this pad. I, I've I've never actually done that before. I don't know if you can really do that. Um, there we go. Now it's off of there. So, I'm just going to take this little fella and hook him up to that little fella. And let's see what happens. Oh, that was nice of, of those two wires. They're like right next to each other right now. Just randomly going, hey, connect us. Connect us, you jerk. I guess I also need to check the video in solder port on the VTX. I think that's the next easiest thing to check. Okay, let's see. Nothing! Yeah, nothing. Um, yeah. Kind of need to check the VTX, I think. Um, or I could hook another camera up, but... Then I would need to find power for the other camera. What's the easiest? What's the easiest way that I can do this? Um, all right, so here's the wire that's going to the VTX. How can I put? How can I put sig signal through that wire in the easiest possible way? Wait, let me also check the video pad on the Tarsier, just to make sure that I'm sending 
video. Yeah, CVBS. I remember looking that up. Um, so that's on the right pad. Uh, VTX shouldn't be bad. The VTX is putting out a good signal, unless the video in on the VTX is bad, which I really doubt. Um, B-Man says you have another camera around, tons, private island, um, I've killed more batteries with my TS-100 than my quads. <laughs> um, B-Man says, oh no, SD, I didn't catch that, mine was gray with the numbers still coming through. Uh, how nice is it to be working on a nice size rig instead of the maddening size you usually deal with? I still don't like, uh, the, unless it's a, like a full size 5 inch rig, I hate working on it. Uh, Dauntless says VTX is bad, Drone Pilot says check. Uh, the fonts have been uploaded, especially if you flash new firmware. Also check the VEX plug camera direct uh, to VTX. The VEX plug. Oh, the VTX plug camera direct. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now, Drone Pilot. Um, it's just annoying getting power to, to another camera. Um... Hmm. Um, how about this? This is a this is a Runcam Duo, and the Runcam Duo uh, kind of is a better match for the Runcam Hybrid. And I have this Runcam Hybrid here. It, it does need a new lens. But... I mean, that's really no big deal. So... Let me do this. It's gonna take just as much time to grab another camera and uh, and get that shit all hooked up. I'm gonna put this in here and we'll see what happens. And if it if I put this in here and it works and everything's fine, then I'll just leave it. And uh, I'll see if Superlux wants to wants to buy this Runcam hybrid from me. <laughs> Kind of an evil thing to do, but I mean, the the run cam hybrid is better than the Cadex Tarsier, so it's looking like this Tarsier is broken anyway. So yeah, this could very well be the path of of least resistance. Right. Goggles off. Run cam hybrid opening up. Camera plug being plugged into the plug plug in the plug place. And run cam hybrid going back together. Yeah, it's either this or we're going to have to wait 100 days and nights for uh, another Tarsier to get delivered. And um, yeah, the, the, the Tarsier is okay. They're, they're, they're fine, but the Runcam Hybrid is better. I mean, it, it like the, the, um, the HD coming out of this thing is pretty fucking impressive, if, if I'm completely honest with you, boys and girls. Okay. Uh, this looks like a job for the nut grabber. Because I don't think this is gonna fit. Oh, it did. Look at that. Well, that's pretty fantastic. 
the 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 other reason why I want to do the run cam hybrid on here is um, there's this weird space constraint in this build uh, because the because there's a um, a big ass ESC in here and the Tarsier is a double stack and it kind of butts right up against the ESC like it's fine but the having the single board in here will will just be better it'll just be a lot better in terms of the way this thing is is packaged at the moment so yeah there'll be a couple advantages to uh to this potentially being moved over to a uh run cam hybrid uh this one nut is a real jerk But there we go. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get this driver in there. Oh, just barely. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, this Tarsier um, Super Deluxe told me that uh, there was a big crash and. The um, and he 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 did say he thought that the Tarsier might have eaten shit in that crash. So yeah, I thought it was okay because the lights were coming on uh, on the Tarsier board. So I thought, well, I mean, if the lights are coming on, in theory, it's okay, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Just realized that there are that I can just unscrew the screws from the bottom. Smart man, Ciotti, at it again. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there, jerk. Oh, and I can go to uh, I can go to shorter shorter hardware on here too. That'll be cool. Oh, that's right. The bottom holes on the Tarsi are like are so tight they end up damn near threading themselves. Forgot about that. Okay, we got that going. Let's get this uh, camera out of the frame. washer over here. Man, I fucking fixed this Cadex Tarsier and all. I, I epoxied the, uh, the the thing back in and shit. That stinks. Well, maybe it's maybe it's fine. Maybe it's not the uh, we don't we don't know that it's the it's the culprit yet. But we're gonna know soon. That was gonna happen. VTX ground just popped off because it. There, I always try to put the camera and the VTX ground on the same pad, which is always just a, a real exciting experience. Let me get this guy. Let me get the uh, the VTX ground back on this pad real quick here. Uh, no, it's not. It's not cooperating. It's fine. Okay. Caddix coming out. Run cam going in. Uh, these. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Why did I just do that? Are those cables long enough? I'm. I'm not a smart man. I should have desoldered them from the from the Caddx. Um, although, no, because I'm gonna I'm gonna resolder these. 
I'm gonna spin these guys are well no maybe what uh, what orientation am I gonna put this in um, yeah I'm just gonna do that and we'll just coil this fucker up and then the memory card port will be on that side and these guys will be on this side and all will be right with the worlds. Um, but first, well, the VTX isn't even gonna run without the uh, without the ground and without the video wires hooked up. So let's do that. But first, I'm going to fix this little guy here. Just to get him a little bit more flat on that pad. There we go. That looks better. Uh, okay, so. Ground. Let's get you back into your little happy place over here. What do you say? because we're gonna I'm just gonna assume that the camera was bad and just put this thing back together as if this is gonna fix it and then um, yeah if the flight controller is bad we can figure it out from there but okay cool that guy's on there almost forgot about the ground pad. Let's get this fella in here. Alright. Um... Look back at that wiring diagram. Because I forget which pads were which. Uh, ground power, smart audio, VTX, camera control, camera, and then power, and then ground. Okay, cool. That makes sense. So... I almost put the Cadex back into it. <laughs> uh, if I just chop this connector off, that's not going to be... I don't think that's going to be quite long enough. Especially because I kind of want to rotate these guys. What if I if I mount this down low enough? Yeah, no, see, there, that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm going to reverse these, and then I'm actually going to do a, uh, I'm going to do a connector, I think. It's, it's, it's nice to have these HD boards on a connector for when you then rip the shit apart so let's do it oh my god really they put such a big ball of solder on there that it just ran over and fucking bridged to the capacitor right next door these man these HD boards have so many things on them my god it's like a joke there we go okay let's get some of the solder off of here Jesus there we go that took care of the bridge but now there's still a little bit too much solder on here ah, now we're talking okay so I'm just gonna, just gonna flip these out now we're gonna go red black yellow 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 
Don't forget, you dummy. Red, black, yellow. Oh, god damn it. This one did the same thing. Come on now. Nice. All better. Red, black, yellow. Here we go. Red. Oh, yeah. That's how I want these. They're like pre bent. Just like my dick. <laughs> pre bent for her pleasure. Red. It's one o'clock. God damn it. Red. Shit, what did I say? Did I say red, black, yellow? Yeah, red, black, yellow. <laughs> red, black, Come on, jerk off! Don't make me do it the right way every single time. Just let me half-ass, please. Red, black, yellow, confirmed. Next up, we've got March 28th. Dunwoody Knight. Oh, I made a rough cut. Look at that. Here you guys go. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this.
Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! <coughs> Tell my parents. <laughs> Um, all right. More work. God damn keystrokes. All right. Nothing, B man. It's nothing. Yeah, that's that's what it was, Daniel. <laughs> uh, no edit with that footage yet. I just um, I didn't even know I made that rough cut of it. Um, but I saw a couple things from the other room that I was uh, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> E-Dog, exactly. <laughs> um, that much won't really do much for me, <laughs> to be honest. But... Woosa, motherfuckers! Woosa! Uh, okay, those are now soldered on in the proper direction that's going to um, just be less miserable, basically. Uh, okay, so which size connector is this? Are you a, are you the big boy or are you the small boy? You are the small boy. Did I really find the right plug on the first attempt? Not a possibility. No way. Is that the one? God, I can't even fucking tell. It, it seems like it fits. Are the pins lined up? If the pins are lined up, it's good. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Okay, cool. Wow! That, that, okay. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say a fucking thing, man. <laughs> Usually when I go in these little boxes of wires, it's like a ten minute... ...punch in the face. But, uh, it was not this time. All right, back in business. Um... <laughs> exactly, B man. This uh, the 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 onesie is now a little bit less awful. Uh, if this number here doesn't go up by a hundred whole dollars. The 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. shift is going to be very enjoyable for me. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> um, okay, so this guy I'm going to use as a... Uh, uh, what? What am I saying that for? Um, I don't really need that much length on this, so let's just... But it, it would be nice to, uh, yeah, well, no, I'm going to cut it short because I just don't want it to become a fucking rat's nest of wires. Like, I'm already going to have to coil up uh, this cable a little bit more than, than I want to. So, yeah, we're going to keep this short. Uh, right around there. I think that's going to be good. I hope I don't regret that. Uh, I'm gonna throw this away, which I never do. I never throw wire away, and I have so much spare wire, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's, it's just, it's just silly, like, there's a point where you gotta go, alright, let's, uh, we've saved enough of this one thing to last literally forever so now it's okay to throw that thing away or if I were a smart person I would throw it all the fuck away and just get one of those nice little neatly organized cardboard boxes with all the different colors of, of the gauge 
and then I wouldn't have to use scraps. I could use fresh new wire. But what fun would that be? Um, my little insane person secret to uh, basically everything I do with 30 gauge wire um, to make it, which, which really does make a difference in uh, durability, is to strip only this much, if not even a little bit less. See how like little that is? Like it's, it's, it's just enough, uh, but it's not too, too much, not too little, not too much, not too little. The problem is when you strip uh, too much of it, what happens is the, the unshielded part of the wire starts to do all of the bending and those eight individual strands will break one by one by one by one um, quicker than you'd like them to and then that cable will have broken off whereas if you can get the silicone to butt up against the solder joint um, there won't be that weak point of unshielded or, or un, um, uninsulated wire and so what will happen is like the length of the wire will take the bend and that makes it a much less drastic bend and it spreads that bending out. So it basically just sort of lasts forever at that point. Um, it's hard to do and it's annoying as hell because the, the silicone is like all up in your business where you're trying to solder, but the end result is like truly more durable like no bullshit it's it's more durable for sure um, so try to do that it's it's tough though it, it's it's annoying to do it but a lot of really good things are super annoying <laughs> oh god damn it come on just get out of the way I just can't you just stay like okay good Stay like that. There's one wire. This this power wire to the VTX is like, um, I don't know, like ten millimeters too short, and it and it it I, it makes the board sit in a really funny orientation. I'm gonna try to do this ground first because that's the uh, the doubled up wire. So we'll get the hard one out of the way. First, cross your fingers that this goddamn other wire doesn't just fall out. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this the smart way. Here's the smart way to do it. You uh, you scroll down if you don't already have these. In the description, there's an affiliate link to these guys. They're spring loaded in the closed direction, and this 45 degree angle is amazing because you open these little bastards up. You put. You put the, the flight controller in the position where you want it to be, where, where it's like naturally sitting. You grab this wire that you want to stay in place in its natural resting place. I don't want these to be pulling on it. I don't want these to be pushing on it. Um, it has to just be in its little happy place, which I've now ruined by pushing this thing around. But I, I, don't, I didn't think I had it clamped properly. So we gotta get this flight controller like into a spot where it's not gonna move. Can I get one of these standoffs in here? No, it's like perfectly exactly not long enough to get these fucking stand oh, or maybe just that one. Oh god, that's like it's, it's under too much tension. I don't like it. Okay. I'm just gonna let it hang out in this like anno what am I doing? What the fuck is my I forget that I have this stupid ass thing because I hate using it because it's just like an extra step and, and it's usually really not needed but right now it's uh, gonna come in really handy come on, fucko. really 
Why does everything have to fuck with me all at once? Why can't why can't it just be one thing at a time? This is why I don't use this stupid thing, because it's 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 annoying. It is gonna save my ass right now though. Uh, this is why I don't use it all the time though. It's, it's just it just annoys me. I use it only when needed. Only when absolutely necessary. Okay. So now that will hold this a little bit more steady. Now I'm going to do the same trick. These little guys. And the, the key is, like, you gotta... You have to... It has to be sitting in, like, the spot where it's gonna... It's gonna end up, right? It can't move. So you gotta put it flat on the desk, exactly how it's gonna be once you clamp this wire and let go. Because otherwise it's gonna be wanting to move that wire. I need it to hold that wire exactly where it is because I'm not going to have any control over that wire in a second, right? Because I have to control this and then I have to use my right hand for the soldering iron. Um. <clears throat> so if I did that right, when I put heat on here, that wire is not going to try to fall off. Let's see. I would like to add a little bit of solder to this joint. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. That is... Mm, nah, it did move a little bit. It did move down a little bit. Ah, you bastard. So, to combat that, I'm going to open the jaws. I'm going to pull the board up a little bit. And then I'm going to clamp back down on that wire so that the board is going to then settle down and now that wire is going to be pushing up. Although, now that I have this top one on, it might actually, especially if I, if I solder the ones next to it, I don't want to have a bunch of wires in there. Let me just try to get this to a spot where it won't want to move. So let me like, I could use the other jaw on that thing, but that's no fun. I bet you it'll, uh, I bet you it'll be totally fine like that. Let's see. Let's see. This would be fine, but th this wire just pulled down a little bit and I just kind of want to get it, uh, yeah, I'm crazy, but crazy ends up with really good quality work, so suck it. And now we're good to go. Now that's sat back down totally flat. And this guy... Mm, I do kind of want to get a little bit more overlap with this fella, so... I'm actually just going to... Oop. The whole thing went liquid. Okay, I'm going to put this guy on the bottom. This time, let's see how this does. And then I'm going to grab this one that goes to the, uh, well, I don't need the jaws anymore. Because I'm just going to zip it right back on there. And again, just try to get this into a place where it's not going to want to move. It didn't, it didn't want to move that time though, so it should be completely fine. Those helping hands piss me off in situations like this too because they, they have that little bit of memory to them and they'll like move a wire just a little bit. Weirdly like doing it this way, I have really good luck. This like, I know this looks super janky but this does um, work amazingly. I just gotta hit this one more time. It's just not quite in the right spot. I want to be able to push these guys down a little bit. You know what? I'm going to add a tiny little bit of solder. That's what I need. Yeah, just a little tiny bit. Pick that guy up. All right, better, 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 better. Yes, that's the one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the stuff right there. So then we've got power. And 
video. Come on, just, just, just melt again, please. Thank you. Oh, you jerk. I haven't cleaned the uh, tip of this iron in a while, it's disgusting. But I'm being really stubborn. The stubbornness when soldering is a is a real fucking problem. It ain't good. All right, get in there, you little jerk. Soldering is not the time to be a stubborn douche. There we have it. That makes me happy. Let's see if it works. <laughs> uh, this, this. And that. Wait a second. What pad is that? That's a PWR pad. What the hell does that mean? There's filtered VBAT somewhere. Ooh, look at that. There's filtered v VBAT on the top of this thing. Yeah. Worst case is it spits out, um, it spits out, uh, five volt and it just won't power this, uh, it won't have enough juice for this run cam, but that's fine. Let's just give it a try. Look, I'm wearing fucking pajamas. It's weird. I mean, I guess I am. connector right it fits in there like awful tight oh no it doesn't I just uh, it, I, I'm it's fine it's fine I was being silly but gentle and that's okay kid gloves for everything on these goddamn things <laughs> god every single wire can just betray you at any moment. Okay, uh, I want to get this like up on something so it's not. Uh... Yeah. Oh, there's somebody at the door. A party animal arrives home at 1:25 a.m. Holy shit! I am so impressed. Oh really? It's all icy out, Kristen says. It took me like about an hour to get home because of the ice. Oh my god. <laughs> the highways are just like patches. You know what I mean? Like I had yeah. like one lane that everyone drove in. But I don't know if you need these. This was all that was in the mail. Cool. Packaging. Are they both for me? Yeah. Cool. Ross Peterson. Oh, hey. Oh, we could have built the moon goat. The, this is, uh, these are, uh, uh, Crossfire Nanos. <laughs> uh, whatever. It didn't win. Thank fucking God. Okay, everything is uh, up in the air. Nothing conductive is conductiving. Conjunctivitising. Where's the battery lead? Here it is. Battery lead. 850. K 
Okay. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. I was spelling something out. You... You unobservant bastards. <laughs> I wasn't doing a great job of it, though. It was a secret. Here we go! Wait, let me plug it in just normal first. Run cam came on. That's a good sign. Alright, now with goggles. I guess I could have just put the goggles on. Gray screen! Flight controller is dead. Wow. Well, wait, no. No, 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 hold on. Not... Can't say that for certain yet. The next test is camera going directly into VTX. Uh, which it really shouldn't be because uh, this is a brand new VTX. But, and it's a TBS Pro 32. If, if this, this would be the third Pro 32 to fail on me. If, if it's the VTX. Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. What's, uh, how many people are out there? You guys can see it. How many people are watching? Kristen asked. All right. Well, I don't even know where I look to see that. Here we go. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a screen that I never look at. Keep up. Yeah, or look at. Um, man, I sure hope that this works because the Pro 32s are kind of expensive. Oh boy. I can officially say that I do not recommend anyone get a pro a TBS Pro 32 Nano. Sixty nine. Look at that. Almost by Kismet. Wow. Wow. Wow, I did a lot of work because I was sure that it wasn't the VTX. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's completely torn to shreds. God damn it, TBS. Really? Come on. I haven't had a single Ishin Nano fail on me. And I've pounded the shit out of those things. And they're 12 goddamn dollars. This is a $30 VTX. Come on. I fucking pulled the Tarsier out and shit. This is the shit that pisses me off with this fucking hobby, man. Like... This is some bullshit. Come on. Really? <gasps> oh no it's not! It's a Rush Tiny Tank! Oh my god! Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. I mean... Alright. Oh, unless I have that on the wrong pad. The fucking instructions for the Rush Tiny Tank are really confusing, though. 
There's two pads. There's a cam pad and there's a VTX pad. Um, I have this on the cam pad. I bet you I have it on the wrong pad. Damn it. I was, I was, uh, I was really close to blaming the VTX, but then, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was the camera. God damn it. This is on the wrong pad. But I looked up when I when I did the repair on Super Super Lux Sunday, I fuck I remember looking up the goddamn instructions and I, for whatever reason I thought that this was the right pad to put it on. Just trying to chop away like the smallest little amount of this uh, shrink wrap so that I can get to the to this other pad. I'm hungry as shit. Do we have any more food? You want me to make you something? That would be amazing. You don't have to stay up, though. I, I'm not. I'm tired. Okay. If you just know of food, you can just point me towards it. That's totally fine. Listen to this weird lo-fi fucking Christmas jam. Alright, let's see. We gonna move this to the pad right next to the to this one. Uh, where the hell? There we go. God damn it! God damn it! I'm sure this is gonna fix it because the, the, this 100% explains why it was a fully gray screen and there was no. OSD, no, no, anything. Uh, I need to take this off. This antenna is fucking pissing me off. I'm gonna take a break, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Get out of there. Okay, that's going to make life a lot easier. So now, I want to go like this. Oh, it's this, it's this antenna. Let's just find a way to... Yeah, there we go. There we go, okay, good. Starting to get a little messy. I'm trying to get better about the... Um, like when you get into the middle, like by the halfway point of the builds, your fucking tools are just absolutely everywhere and there's just shit all over the place. I'm trying to get better about not letting that happen. Um, it's hard though. Because you like just want to get it done so that you can then put everything away properly. Well, at least th that's, that's where my brain is typically at. Anybody else? Anybody know what I'm talking about? God damn it, come on. These 30 gauge wires that, that Super Deluxe has in here for the VTX are like really thick. You ever get those really thick 30 gauge wires that have like the, the the insulation is just puffy as shit. Yeah, that's what these are. And this one's being a a goddamn prick right now. Oh, there it goes. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I just felt it pop out. Nope. 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 Stay there. Stay there, you little jackass. All right, and. Siati eats a pound of shit in three, two, one. Not yet. 
Um, I mean, I might as well just solder the rest of these up and, and put it back together. <laughs> That's how confident I am. <laughs> that, uh, where did the fucking, oh, put it back in here. The cat just fucking yowled. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yo! What's up, kitten? How are you? Yo! Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Goddamn right, Huff. I'm the fucking endurance streamer. What, 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 I mean, come on. Would you expect any less? And I was wrong in three, two, one! Vid video! Uh, fuck. Uh, yes, Pandemic Pilot, you got there. <laughs> um, the Cadex board really doesn't fit well in here because of the size of this ESC. Um... So I might actually leave this run cam hybrid. <laughs> I know, Remy Tim, right? <laughs> um, I still don't know if, if I can recommend a Pro 32, though, because I've had two of them let go. And I haven't had any of the Ishii Nanos let go. Um, but I won't just, like, full-blown say, fuck you. Um, but yeah, I still don't, uh, to be honest, I, I don't, I, I don't recommend the, the Pro 32. It's, it's too expensive. Straight up. The, uh, the $30 versus $12, like, sorry, but that's, that's, uh, that's too much. Especially when I've had better fucking durability out of the, out of the cheaper ones. Um, okay, so this can just go exactly right back together. I mean, yeah. Damn. Hey, buddy. Wanna come on the stream? With the saddest meow I think I've ever heard out of you? Nope. Goodbye. I, try to, I was gonna try to bring him in for you guys, but <clears throat> he's not in a mood. He's not uh, in a good place right now. Um, KPFP, I'm not, FPV. I'm not really tired. I don't really get tired. Like th this is uh, like last night. I was up until 3 a.m. The night before that, I was up until 5 a.m. The night before that, I was probably up till like 5 or 6 a.m. Like I, I can't fucking sleep. Super Deluxe. Hey. Um, uh, here's where I'm at. It was the, it was 100% my fault, but that doesn't matter. Uh, do you want, I don't know, I don't know if the Tarsier works. It, it, the, the plug, uh, header broke off, but then I, I direct soldered it, and the, the light does come on. So, I, I think that this still works, but there's a chance that it doesn't. Um, I put a run cam hybrid in here that I had laying around. It does need a new lens. Uh, it needs a new HD lens. Um, this is a single board. So, remember the problems with the, the double board Tarsier being right the fuck up against the ESC? Um, this run cam hybrid won't have the, that problem. Um, do you want to buy this off me for like, I don't know, 60 bucks or something? Because it, it does need the new lens. Or, like, 50 bucks, I guess, is more fair. Um, do you want to buy this? It has better... The HD out of this is better than the HD out of this. Um, the FPV view is not quite as good out of the run cam as it is in the Cadex. Um, so, yeah, this single board will fit a lot better in here. But I can get this to fit. I can... I mean, it, it was in there. It's just... Yeah, like, it is legitimately butted up against the, uh, the ESC. Um, which one do you want? 
Okay, cool. Run cam hybrid. <clears throat> um, you're gonna like the quality better on this, and this duo frame was specific. You ever wonder why the the camera mounting point is down so low on the duo? It's because the duo was made for the for the double um, <clears throat> the double screw mount setup of the hybrid versus the single centered on the Caddick. So this sort of completes this build with like all the things that it's supposed to have or whatever. <laughs> oh fuck, B-Man, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm gonna email, uh, or I'm gonna have Facebook message run cam about that right now. Although, I do have... If they don't sell the replacement lenses, I have another one. Yeah, I have another one that I can grab. So it's actually not the end of the world. Uh, but while I'm thinking about it, let me... Um, B-Man, who did you talk... Did, did you talk to somebody at RunCam? Um, fuck. I have a hard time keeping all their names straight. Um... What's her name at Runcam? Damn it. If I just search for Runcam. <clears throat> what the hell? Oh, there it goes. What was that? Facebook? What the fuck are you doing? There we go. Um, okay, B-Man, so you just went on their website? All right, yeah. For, for the record, I, um, uh, Runcam has all kinds of shit that they'll sell you that's not on their... Oh, you were in direct email. Okay, okay. Yeah, you have to... With all these with all these manufacturers, um, just, just email them. Fuck. Um... Yeah, if you can dig that uh, that email up quickly, um, B man. If it's a pain in the ass, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering who you were talking to. I'm wondering if there was a um... man. I forget her name. When that, I was oh maybe I was talking to her over on my other over on uh, CIDFPV. Hold up. I did. At 12.01, we went absolutely banana pants. <laughs> and I did a, I did a, a giveaway at 12 o'clock, 12.01, and um, the guy that super chatted and said, I never win anything, when I saw him say that, I said, don't say that, now you're going to win, and he, and he did actually somehow win. It was absolutely hysterical. Yeah, it was a Christmas miracle, exactly. Um... Um, B-Man, uh, or, um, don't worry about it, people. Wait, uh, buying a board. Buying a board for the hybrid directly from them for 40 bucks. Hmm. Let me try one more thing. Ruby Tim with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, brother. That goes to seven oh five. Looking like I've got fifteen more minutes of this thing, and then I get a reprieve. That is good news right there. <clears throat> yeah, I had it off for an hour from uh, twelve to one actually. Um. Uh, what was I just gonna do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inbox, search, message content. 
Come on, Facebook. Come on, come on, come on. You got this. You got this. Run cam. Search in conversations. Yes. Yeah, uh, B man, I'm I'm it's crazy too. I'm uh I it, it's not it's not good. Uh, D uh Daniel's having a stroke and he just keeps doing five dollar super chat after five dollar super chat. So now the gear fund is going up to seven fifteen. <laughs> we broke we broke Mauer. Twelve hours was too much. Um uh, uh there's Dalton John uh, Damn. Uh, oh boy, it happened again. 720. <laughs> I don't argue, I just update the number. <laughs> if so, <laughs> I, I'm broken and it benefits you guys a lot, so. Oh no, there it is again. Alright. <clears throat> oh, my voice is starting to go. I knew that was coming. I'm gonna give my voice a little bit of a rest and just try to talk a little bit less. I'll give you guys a little more volume on the uh, Christmas music. Because <clears throat> if I catch it now, I should be okay. Starts with a forty nine ninety nine super chat. He says, "Sweat, father, muck it." <laughs> Sweat, father, muck it. The fuck is a father muck it? <laughs> I love it. Seven seventy five. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming off at 2 a.m. Merry Christmas, it starts. Very, very generous of you. Thank you so much. Fucking great. <laughs> okay, one more search for Run Cam on my old photography account. I can't imagine this is where I was talking to, uh, to Run Cam. No, it's not in there. I'm pretty sure it was on my regular profile. I don't know why I can't find it, though. Oh god, that's terrific. <laughs> uh, Stella T. I don't, that does not sound familiar. Could be wrong though. Nope, no, I've never talked to any Stellas. Uh, chat, uh, and then let's go to uh, run cam, and let me just see if there's, it doesn't look like it's letting me search within within um maybe oh i was just talking to them on their business page great <laughs> right got it um If they do, 
it's not great news if they do sell it to me. Um, because that's not... It's not great to tell... You know what I mean? Like, it's not great to tell a normal customer no. And then... You know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's weirdly like hopefully. And I'm wearing it for another hour. Josh P FPV with a five dollar super chat. Gator FPV with a twenty five dollar super chat. Riot Nine with five Australian I think dollars. And Ruby Tim with ten bucks. You guys are fucking awesome. Merry Christmas to me. I like wearing the damn thing. So, ha. I really don't. <laughs> All right, math. 775 goes to 780. Then it goes to... I should have just done that first. Uh, okay, so 800 and then 805. And then I'm just going to assume that Australian dollars are similar to American dollars. And then 8, so then 810, so then 820. Starting to get somewhat close to the 2 a.m. or the 3 a.m. shift for Christ's sake. Um, <laughs> Nukem says, sweat it and chill buddy with us. B-Man says, uh, my, uh, my follow-up email told Stella, uh, to old Stella G was so, what if I crack a lens and have to buy a whole new camera? She said, you can buy a lens mod module. Uh, that, uh, hope to hell that because like run cam has has been like dead solid top to bottom like with customer service with like their quality of their product with like everything for me um i hope yeah i don't know we'll see what happens why am i out of focus how did the fucking focus ring get get hit There we go. Um, she said 60 bucks for a lens module. What's a lens module? The whole fucking front piece, I guess, with both both lenses? Uh, so if the camera plus board is 99, uh, then the module is 60. Or I wonder if the lens module is the whole front of the camera. Um, and you know why they might not sell the either of the lenses but the, the why they might not sell that hd lens separate is because having to refocus that hd lens is annoying right because you have to like record you don't have a live feed to the hd um so that could be uh b-man doesn't know what they consider a lens watch okay i'll ask him that if if they won't send me they'll sell me the lens um, uh, Obese Squad's coming in with a four ninety nine dollars super chat. He says, choo, choo, 8.25. Where'd it go? What happened? Oh, there we go. Uh, Harry, stop. Don't do that. You're bad. Um... You guys are the best. The best! Yeah, I know, Nukem. I know. I just... I, I I don't consider it making excuses. I just consider it putting myself in other people's shoes, right? Just looking at things, like, from the other side. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, that helps you understand what is actually happening. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know. It just, it doesn't benefit anybody to just, like, blame, you know, just, like, blaming a company and be like, ah, you fuck, like, fuck you. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything, you know? I don't know. Uh, it's, this is something that I've gotten a lot better at in my 30s. Um, it's one of the few things that's gone well with aging. <laughs> um, All right, so that's good to go. I can close out of that, and I'm good here. I'm good here. Go there. And where the hell? There it is. 
is. Okay, got it. Now I got my analytics back up and the chat back up. Uh, Rumi Tim says, what happens if we cross another hundred during the final hour? Uh, do you have to wear it for an hour after the stream ends? To, do you wear it to bed with me? Uh, no, I'll wear it on the following streams. It'll, it'll just go forward with the streams. So, yeah, I, it, I guess, I mean, if you guys went completely ballistic at this point, you could maybe have me wearing this for, so what's today's Friday? So there's, you know, like at least two hours this coming Sunday that I would maybe have to wear it. And then at least another two hours that next Monday, right? So that's how it'll work. Uh, Nukem 70 tells, uh, 720 says, uh, just feels like we get shafted a lot in this hobby. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh, the, and, and th that right there is why I will, like, even more try to see it from the other side when it comes to run cam, because run cam thus far, for me, and I, I, I don't really hear people saying, like, run cam fucked me over, or, you know what I mean? Like, run cam seems to be, like, one of the good guys, so, like, when, when a company has a good track record like that, I'm much more willing to, like, really try to see it from the other side and not just demonize them. Which is hard because sometimes that then blows up in my face and I dis and I should have demonized them and I, you know, go the extra mile and spend a bunch of extra time and then they fuck me in the end anyway. So, um, but, you know, it, it's, I would rather live with hope than with, in the negative. Believe me, plenty, there's, my brain makes plenty of things negative. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Trying to make as many things positive is a, is a mental health exercise for me. Rumi Tim says, oh no, we got that. Uh, B-Man says, uh, see Caddox I had a really good experience with. I smoked a camera, sent them an email. Uh, she simply said, what happened, dear? You crash? <laughs> and then they sent me a new board <laughs> for the rat tail like that. Um, uh, that's pretty cool. All I ever hear about with Caddox, though, is how often their stuff blows up right out of the box. So there's a chance that Caddx just sort of has the approach of like, well, fuck it, we'll, we'll make stuff less expensive and when it blows up, we'll just replace it like that, right? That's, that's a business model that plenty of companies have um, because most people won't take the time to, to, to try to get it replaced, right? So who the hell knows? Um, Newcomb's got a decent track record with, run, with Runcam too. Um, e Doc says they're all great. Yeah, I've actually I, I have not had a bad experience with uh, with any of them either. Um, I think I'm out of <laughs> I might be out of giveaway stuff. <laughs> I uh, I said I was gonna find something for the two a.m. And I didn't, uh, oh, hi, buddy. You came to be on the stream, eh? Uh, ah. Here's the next giveaway. The 2 a.m. giveaway is this extremely expensive to run 12 pound American short hair rescue kitten from the woods of Georgia. For a $2 super chat, I'll put you on the wheel. And if you win, you'll have to take this cat. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. I'm lying. We are too deep in this cat, money-wise, to... Uh, to give up now. He is, um, we are in it. Whew. Thank you, buddy. Uh, we're also his only parents, which is kind of cool. We, um, a lady rescued him from outside. He was literally just like a stray cat in the woods. And, um, and yeah, and we, we adopted him like very soon thereafter from her. So he's been with us 
pretty much, yeah, forever. And he really doesn't appreciate it. He's being a real dick right now. And there's a, uh, he's, I'm getting a very, very obvious look of put me the fuck down. Which needs to happen slowly because he's a very nervous boy. So, everybody cross your fingers that I will escape this current situation with my life. extremely allergic to cats but I love them so much that I've learned to, de to deal with it <sighs> I'm good Daniel as long as I wipe my hands off on my pants I'm good to go I've uh, I'm very I've, I've had cats my entire life and I've been allergic to them my entire life. I have a, uh, a relatively foolproof system. Basically, it's just that I've, I've grown the ability to, uh, to, like, know exactly where his fur goes, where their fur goes and don't, and doesn't go. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty good at not getting it in my face. Not foolproof, but... My, uh, what I will say is my fucking neck is really starting to hurt. I just, when, when Kristen was at the door before and I turned to look at her, it just, like, imploded in pain. Um, Nukem's cat, Nukem's cat is named War Cat. <laughs> Ruby Team says, Merry Christmas, give away my TBS Crossfire Micro TX, do it now before I change my mind. You sure? Dan Richmond's won a bot frame from FPV Exchange Drawing. Thanks for telling me about it. Uh, you, you got it for me, basically. Thanks so much. Hell yeah, Dan. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Richard's house is covered in, in cat hair. Um, yeah, my neck is kind of fucked. Oh, wait. Actually, I gotta... I gotta wrap presents. Yes! It says she knows what it is now, though. God damn it. Yeah, cool. All right. A couple small presents is better than no presents. All right. Uh, we got that. Got that. Uh, hey, I wanted to open this. I want to make sure... Oh, God. The box has popped open. Oh, no. Please still be in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the... This is the Crossfire Nanos, but let's, uh... Let's, uh... That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. figure out how to open it. Um, I'm on the full size module now. I'll even ship it out. If you want to give it away for the two hour mark, Micro TX needs a good home. If every single fucking person in here doesn't go and subscribe to Remy Tim's YouTube channel right now, 
I'm gonna personally come to your house and take you and another human being that I can find and just smash your heads together. Because... He be doing a giveaway for us since I got nothing left. <laughs> I gave everything away already. <laughs> uh, Daniel Maurer, that's super fucking cool of you, dude. Um, uh, oh, well, no. I'll, I'll just do this. Uh, however much the, uh, the, uh, the super chats are, I'll send it to you. Um, we gonna go... Same thing. Two bucks. Two dollars super chat or PayPal and you go on the wheel. Kevin Young became a patron for $5 a month. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. That's super awesome. But then right above that, from 157 is Daniel Maurer sending $200 via PayPal. And he says, Murray Tremis. Murray Tremis. Dude. Huge fucking ups. To this guy. YouTube.com search field Remy Tim. Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, FPV. I forget that there's like other people, you know, on YouTube. I always think it's like just us. If his subscriber count doesn't go to like well over 300 because it's at 289 now if that shit doesn't go well over 300 i'm gonna sh i'm gonna fucking shiv someone i don't care if i go to jail um cool yeah the uh the this is this is perfect um b-man riot nine going on the wheel the prize Courtesy of Daniel Maurer, the rimmiest of Tims, is a Crossfire Micro Module. That's what I use because it's still got a bunch of power and it sits completely flat, so it doesn't. You don't have to take it off ever. You just leave it on all the time and pull the uh, and, and it fits in a normal bag. Um, it's the it's the jam. It is the absolute jam. Oh my God! Did it hit 300 already? Oh my god, nice. Keep going. It's got to it's it's yeah, 301 ain't gonna cut it. It's it's going farther than that. Um and now Daniel's gonna feel just that little bit more guilty about the last time that he put an edit up. So he'll make more edits and he's a fucking great pilot. I love watching him fly. Um so I love doing this stuff for people. Um You gonna throw up, buddy? You okay? I think he's alright. I got a I got a a hint of a of a vomit meow. Um and I like to corral him to the to the non carpeted area when he's when he's getting ready to throw up. Um where's my window with the wheel? There it is. There it is. All right, we got the wheel. We've got... Close that. And... Okay, we can... Kill that. Uh, I am gonna put... Alec on the wheel. Alec always goes on the wheel. And then... All right, let's fill this fucker up. Riot 9 wants to go crossfire. B-Man FPV wants the smallest crossfire module in all the land. Mr. Relentless, he wants the crossfire micro in his life and in his face. And then we've got some PayPal's. Greg Letty wants it. Why am I awake, he says. <laughs> Greg Letty's on the wheel. We've got a little bit of Kyle Newcomb going on the wheel as well. G 
giveaway is for a Crossfire Micro. You know you want it. It's not this one here, but it looks just like it. Mmm, yum yum. Mmm, micro. Look how flat it sits. Ooh. I heard it's cooler than Tracer because it makes you an OG. Remy Tim going on his own wheel. If he wins, he's gonna ship it to himself. Josh PFPV with the weed number of dollars, four and 20. Family MacGyver, Merry Christmas, love TBS. Go-Kart Mozart, he's getting in with 299. He wants the micro. Your rando wants the micro. Oh my god, it's painted orange, so it's more powerful. Oh, the people that already have crossfire micros, now they're gonna get oh for fuck's sake, what just happened to the wheel? Redo. And then down. There we go. Got it. Why is the camera still in there? The the losing the keystrokes on the keyboard for the control OBS two hours into the stream. <laughs> Continues to bite my ass. <laughs> Tom Stout is on the wheel for a fiver. Thank you, Tom. Double A is getting on there. He knows, he knows that the orange paint makes it more powerful. He wants that. He wants that orange power. Free Range Chicken RC is getting in on the deal. Two ninety nine. Oh shit. Pieter Vorster, Merry Christmas from RSA. RSA, and the currency is ZAR. RSA. RSA. I'm not gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. He's, oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. Um, see, I, I swear to God, I hit copy and it didn't copy. Sometimes it doesn't. I seriously think it's me. Russia, that would make sense. It's only missing like a couple letters. Nice, and the and Z-A-R, that sounds like a, a Russian-ish. Uh, uh, currency? No, it's not. He says South Africa. Oh, Republic of South Africa. No shit, I had no idea that... Republic of South Africa. Huh. My name's Aaron Ciotti, and I learned something today. Should that become, like, my, my thing? Or me, Tim's like, I was way off. Uh, okay. We're good here. Back to the PayPal. We've got Tom Coughlin sending $5. Thank you, Tom. You go on wheel now. <laughs> and then we've got Justin Stridler sending a $5 bill. He says that's gonna good that's gonna look good on the new transmitter. Alright, Justin is on the wheel. Private Island was already subbed. And he says thanks for the giveaway. Private Island is on the wheel. Pieter, I got you on there. Tom, you're on there. Justin, all right, we are good. Update the onesie count. Yeah, I know, I gotta do the math. Um, let me start doing the math. So, $1.50, and then I'll round that up to $2. $2, and then Josh P did $4.20, so that's four. Go Kart Mozart with three, so that's five. Urando with three, but it's Californian money, so it's different. Shit, I already lost count. Uh, two plus two plus one, five. Tom Stout brings it up to eight. Free Range Chicken brings it to nine. I'm not gonna do the czar conversion. We're at nine, and there's ten. Private. Oh wait, no. Well, we'll just say 10, because I'm not going to do the math. 
Ten more on the suffering account. And then 200 more. Because Remy Tim is a goddamn superstar. He sent so much money that the damn thing isn't even lined up correctly anymore. I have to remove some dashes. That's how money that's how much he sent. A Merry Christmas indeed. You guys ready? Anybody else? We're gonna go get mail. And we're gonna go full screen. And I'm gonna hit this button. And somebody's gonna win an orange extra powerful crossfire micro. And that person is gonna be. It's double A. Here it comes. Double A wins! Congratulations, brother. Send me all your info. You know the deal. Uh, shoot me a message. Tell me. Oh, wait, no. Ah! Send Daniel. Your first name, your last name, your address, your email address if you'd like tracking if he uses stamps.com. I don't know if he has a stamps.com account. If you don't have a stamps.com account, you guys should get one. It's really fucking handy. And it's free. Congrats, Double A. Hook up with Remy Tim, and you'll win yourself. You'll have yourself a, uh, a lovely new Crossfire Micro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ah, shit, I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 times 2 equals 36. 36 dollar ow my neck yeah it's uh it ain't getting better unfortunately my neck hasn't miraculously healed itself oh i forgot i forgot what i said i forgot the number already <laughs> Oh wait, no, I can just open the calculator back up. Ah, oh, I deleted it, you son of a bitch. Thirty-six, that's right. Thirty-six. Come on, PayPal. There it is. look it up I have to look it up you're better than this PayPal you're better than this <laughs> Zanek has lost power what the fuck is that a thing I've never had that happen I can't even imagine if that happened on Christmas that would be the weirdest thing ever um here we go. There it is. Alright, I got that. And then I'm gonna go here. And... Ah, there we go. And 36. Okay, sending to friend, send payment now. All right. <laughs> in the in the silliest trans, transaction of money back and forth, I sent Dan $36 because that's the $2 from everybody for the, for the Crossfire Micro. <laughs> so he basically sold his Crossfire Micro for 36 bucks. But he, but ten minutes before that, he sent me <laughs> two hundred dollars. So. Nukem says I could lose power in Connecticut. It's super windy, but it would suck. But it might happen. Oh God, Nevin, that's hysterical. That uh, that you lost power on Christmas. That's ridiculous. Um, 
All right. We got that. We got that. I got to go back to work. Time for more work. Uh, what time is it? 2.21. Damn, I better hurry up. I guess we're not building the Sin Explorer, so... <laughs> Uh, we'll build the Sin Explorer on Sunday. Uh, okay, let's put this back together. Mm, actually, let me let me uh, let me check on the cat, and I'm gonna grab a little snack. Actually, um, that brings us up to March 29th. Oh, you guys have seen this though. Um, this is. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the, the pandemic flying that, uh, Steel and I did. Yeah, you guys know this. Uh, so we're gonna go up to the very next day, 3.30, March 30th. Uh, I probably went out alone. And it just says Buckhead. Where the hell was I? Let's see. Where is this? Oh, the impossible dive. Oh, yeah. Enjoy this. This is nuts. <laughs> Well, I think you guys have seen this. Uh, Nukem, I already did the emu flight thing. It, it didn't help. Um, which makes sense. I mean, that, that's... that's I, I pretty much knew that was going to be the case. And now I don't know which goddamn... Well, you're not getting the impossible dive because I don't know which file that was. Oh, wait, I found it. There we go. Uh, this is one of the impossible dive batteries. I don't know if I actually got it. I probably didn't get it in here, but... Here's something. I'll be back. Uh... Oh wait, you know what? This program will automatically will automatically rip between these. So I hope I didn't do anything super sketchy in here. Because I am going to grab a little snack. So I'm going to be away from the computer for a minute. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to the, uh, I'm going to go back to the playlist. That's, that's a much better idea. All right, here's this playlist. I'll be back. No more shrimp. I ate all the shrimp. I gotta, I gotta go scrounge for some food. Um, didn't, did, did Krista not say she was going to make food? I think she fell asleep on me. <laughs> she's, she's probably drunk. Um, that is what you do when you're out until... 303 subscribers, not gonna cut it. Not gonna cut it. That number needs to be higher. Go subscribe, people. Go subscribe, I'm serious. I am serious. Uh, there we go, okay. I'll be back. I gotta go get some foodsies or I'll die. save you guys from this music. Hold on. That should be a little bit better. Alright, I'll be back.
Ruby Tim's going to sleep because he's not a crazy person like the rest of us. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, brother. Thanks so much for the fucking super, super, super generosity, man. Super Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. Amazing, brother. I'm a very lucky dude to, uh, to have a, an awesome friend like you. Thanks, brother. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna finish eating.
Merry Christmas, double R.
Enough of that, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Let's go back to the Christmas music. Uh, Latest release, play. There we go. Alright. And let's get this closed. There we go. Hey, Harry, if you keep doing this, I'm gonna light you on fire. You pick. You've been warned. You've been warned. It's darts with a 499 super chat for losing the bet. <laughs> we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go 1040. Ha! All right. Uh, hold on. Just played away. Oh, God. Fucking onesie. Whose idea was this? Um, yeah, I guess, I guess technically I could... Oh, no, I can't. Um, we are covered up until... So, basically, I didn't wear it for the first hour. I didn't wear it from... From, like, 11 to 12... And then, I think there was another hour gap that I didn't... So I think... I think I'm in this thing until... Yeah, oh fuck it, I'll wear it until 4 no matter what. Um, trying to think if I, uh... If I have to wear this for an hour on Sunday. <laughs> Alright, back, back, back to, work. to work. We gotta get this done. We gotta get something done. We didn't get anything done. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff done. Didn't get nearly as much done as I thought we would, but that's okay. Um, it's, uh, these streams are about hanging out with you guys, not about getting a lot of work done. Oh my god, look at those beautiful Crossfire Nanos. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Awesome. Okay, so, all I have to do... Yo, my, for the record, too, my neck is fucked. I can't, like, turn my head to the right at all anymore. I don't know what happened. What are you doing, Harry? What? Why are you being such a goddamn lunatic? Yeah, you're a, you're a fucking crazy person. Why are you being like this? Oh, my God. A little prima donna. A little fancy boy. Uh... <sighs> 
<laughs> so, what do we got here? We have to desolder these two wires from each other. <laughs> don't, it says, don't light them on fire, please. Apparently they don't, uh, th there's a video of a, I, I've always had nightmares about this. It's, it's one of the reasons why I don't, um, I don't do the whole candle thing really. Um, there's this video of a cat jumping up on the coffee table and there's an open flame. Uh, there's a candle on and, um, its tail catches on fire and the, the cat doesn't give a fuck. The cat's just like, whatever. He like, he takes a look at it. He's like, Pfft. Fuck that tail. I don't give a shit. And, uh, it, it put itself out. The, the fire. Cats, uh, cats fur, um, doesn't, uh, yeah, doesn't, doesn't burn. Or whatever. The, 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 the super floofy layer burns, but then it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't go any, any farther. The random things that you learn on the internet. All right, Cam goes to the Cam Pad. One more time here. And then VTX, go figure, goes on the VTX Pad. And now that the other end of this wire is hooked up to the correct pad on the VTX, we're going to be just fine. <laughs> uh, nothing like having wires in the wrong spot. Am I right? That looks good. That looks good. That looks good, and oh, that beautiful double wire lunatic. <laughs> Give them a little bit of Oompa Loompa, make sure they're nice and strong, and good to go. Problem solved. I need to flip this thing upside down, and then we'll be in business. All right, which way do I flip it? This way? That's gonna put an extra turn in that wire and I'm cool with that. What's going on here? What's going on with you, white wire? Are you cool? You gonna be cool, bro? No, you're not going to be cool. You're going to sit there and try to be a jerk. I knew I felt something weird. You're eating plastic bags now? What are you doing? You're just gonna look at me? No, I don't, don't, no, I don't, no blinking. You're being bad. You can't get out of this. Stop being bad. You're just gonna sit there and mean mug me? Really? Damn, homeboy getting fucking brave in here. Jeez. Mean mugging me? Ow. Fucking person. Like a hundred of you come at me like that. How dare you? <laughs> homeboy getting homeboy getting fresh. Alright, I just want to get this wire. There we go. All up on that pad. That wire had that thing going on I was telling you guys about where there was a little bit too much. Um, exposed wire and that was taking the uh, the brunt of the the like movement and that's not what you want 
That's not what she wants. Okay. This little fella is gonna go here. Oh, shit sticks. I didn't realize that was going in that direction. Oh my god, this fucking cat. What is you what is your deal, dude? What are you doing? He's just walking around fucking yowling. Yow! Yow! Be cool, man. Sit down. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, I forget which show that's from. Sit down! Shut up! <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I need to find... Yes! Hi! Hi! You're back. You gonna be a bad boy some more? More, more, more bad time? More bad boy? That's right. You better get over. I'll beat you. This is what you get. You get beatings. You get beatings when you're bad. God damn. <laughs> beatings is... Uh, uh, beatings are when I go on the side of the cat's body and and whack him. Like, between his between his spine and his, and his, like, ribs, there's a good, like, a good little, good little spot to beat him. Ah, Toxic FPV hurt his back, too. I'm right there with you. Merry Christmas to you as well, Chopper. Um, okay, I need to get this um, this Runcam hybrid board mounted up here. Uh, or I put the Tarsier back in. Because if I have to pay 60, $60 is insane. But... Man, this is going to be so much better in there. This is going to be so much better in there. It's going to fit so much better. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I kind of have to... I mean... This did fit, though. What? Now you're eating quads? Oh my god, and you like sneak under the chair and like look at me. You're not hiding any. Oh my god, you're you're being so bad. Why why on Christmas? What 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 am I missing here? I mean, this does fit though, and it doesn't hit it. I mean, it it's it's close, but it's not hitting it. And it totally fits. I can probably even move it forward a little bit now that I just looked at that. Um, I'm going to put the Tarsier back in it. Favorite H HD analog camera setup. What do you mean, Toxic? Um, do you mean basically like between these two, the Runcam Hybrid or the Tarsier? I like the I like the Runcam Hybrid better. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put the Tarsier back in here because I just, I don't want Super Deluxe to have to to deal with this this situation here. Um, and I don't, I don't have another, um, I don't have another lens. I, I thought that I had another lens for this, but I don't. I would have to take it off of the 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 uh, the rip squeak actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this back in it. The the Tarsier is still a really good camera. 
and the FPV view is better. The FPV feed is, like, for sure better. Not even like, eh. Like, it's definitely better. The Runcam Hybrid FPV feed is fine. It's totally fine. But the Tarsier FPV feed is like, it's crazy good. It shouldn't be as good as it is. It's crazy. Video power ground. My beautiful little ground, double ground wire joint is uh, is ruined, but that's okay. All right, and let's zap these little buggers down. We've got. Video. Let's get a little bit more solder on this pad. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And then we need a little bit of power. And we'll finish it off with a little bit of ground. Just a, a touch of ground. And of course I push the other wire right the hell off of the pad. <laughs> Come back, friend. I think that looks good. Let's double check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just terrific. Um, uh,. Tristan Stoneman says, what do you think of the full speed tiny pusher for indoor Insta360? Um, I was hoping that, that we would, uh, that we would have a little bit more time to, uh, to, to mess around with it. Um, I'm not, I'm not impressed. Uh, the, the motors that it comes with are... 1103 8000s? 1103-8000s, um, and they're very underpowered on 3S. Uh, so I moved it over to these Newbie Drone uh, Flow 1202, 11,000-ish. 11, yeah, 11,420 KV. Um, and the, the, the power is here, but the um the frame is just too wobbly like the like this is just too much flex and with these motors on it it's just not happy the the it, it's creating way too many vibes i cranked the the filtering way down and it still didn't help um a big part of the problem is it's a 16 by 16 flight controller that's hard mounted um hard mounting flight controllers is bad and it causes problems and this has problems um, which is a real shame because it's the right size it's it's kind of the perfect size um, to carry an insta360 go around um, the uh, my uh, my my best insta360 go carrier at the moment is this silly little um, 
65 millimeter build on 0802 uh, 25,000 uh, uh, happy model motors. And yeah, it's great. With, with the 300 mAh uh, newbie drone gold batteries, this gets incredible footage. This is what I was flying in the uh, GMG performance uh, video from a couple weeks ago that's on my channel here. Um, I'm really excited about this setup with the new newbie drone cockroach 75 frame uh, but I've been having jello problems in the uh, in the insta 360 video so this is not ready for for prime time quite yet um, I tried uh, red shifter frame pusher frame um, and this is having a lot of vibration problems too just like just like the tiny pusher is um, so yeah, I'm in a weird place with the with the tiny whoops trying to get them trying to get them going uh, and, and carrying Insta360 goes around, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. It's uh, it's a new thing, you know. The Insta360 is brand new, and we we've never had this like 18 gram payload that carries HD to like figure out the best way to carry it. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, Josh P FPV with the eight dollars super chat. He says gonna uh gonna keep watching on the TV, but off for the night. Been here since six. Merry Christmas, Siati and everybody. Merry Christmas, Josh. Hope you have an awesome morning in a few hours. <laughs> We're going up by eight over here on the torture fund. Ten forty eight. Thanks to Josh P. Merry Christmas. Um. So, Sinek is, uh, Nevin has had his third power outage. Obese Quads just ordered all the pitchiest 3 inch M5 props I could, uh, uh, since I put the 1408s back. Uh, that's, those are the right props for the 1408s, hell yeah. Um, Obese Quads says, what's your prop choice, uh, uh, prop of choice for the Acrobat T Motor 3140s, hands down. Um, Toxic FPV says thoughts on the Mobula 6 HD. Uh, they put the wrong motors on it. They should have put their 0802 25,000 kV motors on it. Um, they that that build is is basically this right here. The the red shifters Muon that uh, I somewhat recently put back together or no put together. I guess this last week on Whoop Wednesday. This is just a Mobula 6 HD, really. Um, but with the uh, the proper 25,000 kV motors. And it's it's so much better on these motors. I don't like these props, by the way. I was just testing these. Uh, uh, but yeah, this is a Mobula 6 HD. And with these 25,000 kV motors, it feels so much better uh, than the ones that they ship it with, which are 19,000 kV. Um, I don't even like the 19,000 kV motors without carrying an HD board. Um, so once they have to also carry an HD board, they just become sluggy and fat. I was, I'm, th this, this makes me sad. Um, I, I was really, I, I, I really, I, I really had high hopes for this. Um, I I don't know where to go with it at this point. Um, I don't think there is anywhere to go to. I, I, I think that this is just uh, a situation of you can't hard mount a flight controller on a frame that's this wobbly. They're, they're, it's just they're gonna be like all these different harmonics of vibrate like the frame wobbling is gonna be one vibration and then like the the, the prop and, and motor is going to be another vibration frequency and then like the battery wobbling around is going to be another one they also used a very a very like half-assed mounting setup for the camera and, and for this and it's like like look how much that moves and like the camera doesn't really sit level like the, the camera is a little bit sideways because it's just mounted on these like sort of janky ass strips of tpu um yeah. Sad. Um, 
All right, we're caught up. It starts, says, I bought the 25,000 KV, and it cut the flight time in half. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The 25,000 KV motors are, are brutal. But the biggest problem with Tiny Whoops is, is horsepower, or, or lack thereof. Um, I, I just tell myself that it's very quick and very easy to swap Tiny Whoop batteries. Um, that's how I justify it. And that's true. Right? It is just whoop, sh whoop, back out. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm, I'm willing to, to make that sacrifice for the, for the performance. Um, um, if you're looking for... Um, I, I, I think this is... I think this is, this is the way to go. Um... I think I already figured out the, the jello problem too. Uh, but yeah, I think this is it. Um, on 1102 motors. Uh, Happy Model makes an 1102. Beta FPV also makes an 1102. Um, or maybe even an 1103. If you can find one in, in high enough KV. Um, make sure that the motors you get are 3 bolt. Not being able to use these, these keystrokes really sucks. Uh, make sure that you get motors that are three bolt. And um, yeah, I don't I don't have a favorite AIO at the moment. I kind of hate all of them. <laughs> um, this Insta360 Go mount up here is brilliant, and it's it's on Newbie Drone's website. I forget what they call it. Internally, they call it the bunny ears, but I don't think that's what they call it on their website. Um, but yeah, I think this is, I think this is the way to carry an Insta360 Go. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I hope. I hope it is, because I've put a lot of time into, into okay. trying to figure it out. Uh, okay, more building Tarsier's back in that's wired up um, this is backwards I need to put this the other way and I think that is the last time I will be turning the soldering iron off for the night I believe that there will be no more soldering, which is cool. Uh, which way do I want to turn this? Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. All right. I've got Super Deluxe's stack here up on M3 hardware, which is really awesome. I, um... Any, any opportunity to not use M2 hardware, and I'm going to take it. Um, M3 hardware is just so, so, so much stronger. And, um, and it's just, and, and just easier to deal with, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just so much less fiddly and, and frustrating and maddening and... And FPV Cycle just sent me an email. I think they sent all of us an email. Uh, explain what is M2 and what's M3 in terms of stacks. Oh, God. Um, fuck, man. I used to know. I used to know them all. But see, then, then there was this explosion early this year of 20 by 20 components and now I feel like I don't know any of them anymore and and most of the 20 by 20 stuff that I know is discontinued because like I you know I try to to fly something a while before I kind of decide that it's it's the one that I want to go with so it's like by the time I've done enough testing and I'm like able to confidently say like this is the best 20 by 20 ESC it's been discontinued <laughs> and there's there's a new one that's replaced it that I then have to buy and then test 
and then by the time I know if it's good, it gets discontinued. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I just, I don't know anymore. I, I don't, um, I don't have a feel for which, for which ones are, are M2 and M3. You just gotta, when, when you're shopping for, for them, just really look closely at the pictures. You can, you'll, you'll easily be able to tell from the pictures which ones are M2 and which ones are M3. Um, it's, yeah, it's like just, just visible enough, sorta. So, I'm gonna see if I can kinda finagle this stack forward a little bit. I think that the, the, the holes in the frame are M3. So, if I don't tighten this thing down, if I leave these all loose, I should be able to slide it forward a little bit and um, just get a little extra bit of, of clearance, which I kinda desperately need. So, that's kind of the deal right now. Uh, Chomper says, have you seen the Lightship 85? Jason something or other is working on it. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that. What is it? Spacer. Yes. All right. Big win there. There's the Tarsier puts these spacers in between their two boards, and like they they move around, but like they're kind of locked in there, but not really, and it's 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 a fucking nightmare. It's not even like. It's a nightmare, but it's like a pretty typical nightmare in, in the world of 20 by 20 stuff. In, in, in fairness. Oh wait, no, 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 I didn't want to tighten this down. Right, got it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not going to be able to do what I was hoping to be able to do, but that's okay. This still does fit in here. It has like a millimeter of clearance, which is all you need, but it's it's still just like, damn, <laughs> like, that's tight, yo. Uh, what's this? Ew. Oh, no, it's not for this. It's for the uh, 25 by 25. Yeah, yeah. A whoop size. Come on. Off of there. Okay, here we go. Sacramento in the house. Merry Christmas, brother. You're a beast. I've been sh stopping by, checking your stream hours. Hours. <laughs> nice, man. Merry Christmas to you as well. I am the endurance streamer. God damn it. 12 hours. Pfft. It's a joke, man. This is a warm-up. This is a warm-up stream, yo. This is just practice. <laughs> I would do a 24-hour here, but Kristen would divorce me, rightfully so. Because if there's one rule in marriage, it's don't do a 24-hour stream on Christmas. <laughs> we don't have kids or anything like that, so it's 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 easy to, to do shit like this. And we probably won't. It's just not our thing. Alright, there we go. It's looking exactly like it did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking 
nightmare. Jesus, I switched the camera out. I fucking tore into it all the way down to the VTX. Jeez. Almost there. We are all most there, people. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. I just want to make sure that this uh, flight controller is seated all the way down in the grommets to make sure that these nuts don't back out. You never want your nuts to back out. It's kind of worst case scenario. <laughs> All right, that looks good. That looks good. This little guy's happy. Let's put some zip ties on this to hold this little VTX receiver package together. What's that say? 340, okay, we're good. Guys, remember, at four o'clock, I have to stop this stream um, make sure that, make sure I do. If, uh, I started the stream a little bit late, I started the stream at 420 to give us 20 minutes of leeway, because the problem is if, if you stream for over 12 hours, uh, YouTube can't process the stream, so it just disappears, and it's gone forever, there's no getting it back, there's no, do not pass go, do not collect any hundreds of dollars so yeah we got time but I uh, I would rather end it at 401 and have 19 spare minutes than fucking forget about it <laughs> and uh, and at 421 realize that we're screwed because that's how we lost the 24 hour stream. And that was a really good stream, man. We we had a a really good time. I got really loopy. And it was really fun. After uh after about I think like 14 or 16 hours uh, it just yeah it just got fucking crazy my brain was just like nah bro I'm done <laughs> like I'm out of here this is over there we are Okay, this guy comes all up in here, put them on the little grommets, and I'm gonna secure this guy first here. Smashing the computer with a screwdriver for no reason. Zanakis with a $25 super chat. Thank you, Nevin. You are the goddamn man. He says, never give up. Don't 
キュッとするの必ず目標達成できるだからこそイエローピーバー I was about to give up on fixing that. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Gear fun goes to. Four, it'll be 75, but then minus 2, 73. 10, 73. Look at us go. I'm going to have to wear this thing forever. <laughs> Thank you, brother. If you guys haven't been over to FPV Exchange, to uh, to get yourself set up with an account and start importing some stuff, go do it. You're only hurting yourself. Um, it's uh, it's it's just yeah. You want to be on there, believe me. You want to be on, be there. on there. It's the place to be, man. Um, okay, we got that. Now I'm gonna go and screw this camera on which is the worst part about the Acrobrat. And it's not really all that bad. Like you just go like this and then you put the washer on there and then you put the camera into the washer and Bob becomes your uncle. Just like that. New uncle. That's all it took. Tell your old rapey uncle to go away. You got a new one. <laughs> Here we go. Hope you're ready. This shit show is about to leave the station. Um, that part is easy. This, this side is hard. Um... Not hard, just fiddly. Fiddly. And I've done it a bunch, so it's it's actually not that bad. But like the first time you do this, and then the second time as well, you're gonna fucking scream and yell. But you'll get it. Just uh, it's just one of those annoying ass things that you have to like. Fuck you. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Come on, you little shit. Get in there. There we go. Okay. Now, gently. Gentle. Gentle. Oh, shit. No, this doesn't want to close. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. And... Don't fall off, washer. Don't fall off, washer. Stay. Yes. There we go. Thank you, washer. Always nice when the washers listen, you know what I mean? It's the, it's the little things. Uh, so there we go. Now the easy part. Fly it. Uh, bought an Omegod frame from FPB Exchange for 40 bucks. Um, yeah, you got a few of those, right? Um, I saw that he was selling them for 40 I was like, damn. He's really trying to get people over to the site. That's crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, it makes sense. It's a great way to pull people in. And, um, I really do believe in that website. Um, I didn't at first. At first I was just like, this is, there's no, uh, this makes no sense to me. Um, and then when I, once I realized you could pull your previous purchases in, I was just like, man, just the ability to do that, I'm in. And then all the other stuff is, is just like cool on top of that, but yeah. 
I just can't, I can't, I don't have the time to fucking set up individual listings for each item that I have in, in Facebook Marketplace. Like, I just can't. I have a big box of shit that I need to do it with behind me that's, like, not FPV stuff. And I just, I <laughs> just, like, it's just too much time, man. It's too much time dealing with fucking morons. Okay. Done. Uh, is there a battery strap? Or are we just going raw? We just raw dog in the battery on this one. Raw, raw dog confirmed. Fucking Super Deluxe's Acrobat is nicer than mine, man. Mine doesn't have crossfire. Look at this fancy thing. Alright. So now we get to see if we can leave a dent in the ceiling. <laughs> With somebody else's rig for a change. Well, I've actually never done that. I've never, uh, I've never had a rig betray me inside and go carumphing into the ceiling. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy up here. And tuck that in like that. So it sits like that. So the, the battery wire is protected. This isn't going to want to go into the props. This works really good like that. Um, I think the motor should be spinning in the correct direction. I think this is, um, I think this is ready to fly. I feel like I might have even hovered this. Did I hover this at the end of the, uh... You know what's nice? Is I can look that up. I haven't actually, uh... I haven't done this before, but this is, this is really handy to be able to just do this real quick and, and, and look up and see what the hell I did with this rig. There's a chance that as soon as I saw... It didn't have video. I got demoralized and just gave up. But let's see. It's going to be red bar. There it is. All right, so it looks like I did go through beta flight. Did I check the motor direction, though? Doesn't look like I did. Yeah, it looks like I saw that the, um, that the video wasn't working and just said to hell with it. <laughs> Not super... Not super shocking, if I'm honest. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not bound. I don't think I'm bound to this thing. Am I? Oh, what am I saying? It was flying before. Yeah, this was a flying rig before. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I remember. I remember. Yeah, so I don't really need to... Uh, I don't really need to do anything to this. This is, this is done. This is ready to go. Let's just make sure that the video still works, though. What do you say? I'll turn the radio on, too, just to... No, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not bound to it. I, I know that for a fact. I know that I'm not bound to it. Because... Well, I can actually double-check that. I only have one crossfire... thing. Yeah, I'm not bound to it. But that's fine. It, it was... It was a flying rig. Cool. So that's done. Awesome. And I can check the motors in beta flight. So let's do that. And we'll be good to go. 
Dirt, 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 dirt. Nine minutes left. Thanks, it starts. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Let's see what direction these motors are spinning. Out! 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 And out! This is a working rig, my friends. Man, they are so fucking smooth, man. X Nova 1804s. Un goddamn believable. Uh, sick. Done. Super Deluxe, you have one of the world's most pimp acrobats. And that's pretty cool. Was, something was just... Something was just really hot. What did I just touch that was hot? Oh wait, no, I wanted to check to see if there was video. That's right. Um... Also make sure the video is not like upside down or anything. Oh, thank God, Jesus. There was, it was a gray screen. I was like, no! Um, yeah, we got video. We don't have OSD, though. Why, why is there no OSD? I know some of these Tarsiers were, were PAL and not NTSC. And that would explain the lack of OSD. Uh, let me switch it to PAL and see if the OSD comes up. Uh, oh, I see. Starting to lose it. Listen to this music. L listen, listen to this nice soothing jam. Oh, that's why the OSD elements were so far down. Yeah. This is gonna fix it. This will fix it. Ask Grace, there's actually only five minutes left. Um, I, I I delayed the start to make sure that we didn't come anywhere near 12 hours because if we go over 12 hours, it'll delete the whole stream. So, five minute warning. And then I get to go sit on the couch and get caught up on YouTube and try to try to wind down. I hope I hit save on that. I think I did. Come on, OSD. There's the Betaflight logo. There's the OST. Fucking A right, Bubba. <laughs> oh, yes. Ooh. That feels good. That feels good. I like that. I like that. Finishing something up right before the end. Yeah, buddies. Yeah, that's a good thing. Here's the box. In goes the battery. In goes the quad. Some prop nuts for good measure. Oh man, I can't wait for Super Deluxe to fly this. It, it's this this ri like motor motor selection has always been the bane of my existence with micros um, and this year it finally started to get better and I'm just so happy with 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 these motors on on this build like ugh, it's so good it's just such a good combination um, and yeah, it's just so confident in the air, and like that, it's so easy to tune. It's uh, it's a really special thing. Acrobats on on 1804s are a uh, a unique uh, and just fantastic machine. 
And as long as you don't bash the shit out of them and crash them really hard, um, they're just fantastic. Oh yeah, here we go. Closing a box. Yeah, on its way back to Super Deluxe so he can make some cool ass edits with it. Oh. 358, bro. Nukem720 with a $5 super chat. He says, Good night, buddy, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you as well, Nukem. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for being an awesome human being. We're going up to 1078 on the gear fund. There it is. Technically speaking, if you want to see me wear this onesie for another hour, which will be on a future stream, you guys have two minutes to get it from 1078 to 1100. It's on you if you want to see me suffer some more. Riot9 with $2.12 Australian. I'm going to assume that's two-ish dollars in cheeseburger money. Bringing us up to 1080. And there we go. You guys are the best. All right. Um, I'm not going to clean up. This is silly. We're going to build a, uh, a Cinesplore Sunday. That's going to be... <coughs> fun and that's gonna be a lightweight Cinesplore <coughs> oh. um, yeah this is gonna be a lightweight Cinesplore I mean my other Cinesplore is is pretty goddamn light um, at like 400 and, and some change grams uh, but this one is gonna be even lighter okay oh yeah oh yeah my neck is my neck is, has has decided that it's gonna go off the reservation completely. That's annoying. Um, oh my god, we did it. Three fifty nine, and I don't have to wear this thing for another hour because that is twenty dollars shy. <laughs> oh my god, it says four oh oh. We did it, and I suspect a shocking number of you have been here the whole time. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Four o o, and a twenty dollars super chat from Nukem. The l I don't even care. It's worth it to get the nice round number of eleven. Goddamn hundred. My friends, that is three and three quarter months of health insurance for Kristen and I in the beginning of 2020. And for that, because it might literally save our lives, I thank every single one of you guys. Merry goddamn Christmas. Um, I hope you get everything that you wanted and more but let's be honest this christmas is about the people who are still with us and yeah that's enough presents are great and all but people not being dead that we love is way better than presents um you guys are absolutely amazing you guys for example i'm glad that to my knowledge i didn't lose any of you guys that's pretty awesome and that's the most merry of christmases Thank you guys so goddamn much. It is 4.01. I am ending this stream so that it doesn't disappear. You guys rock. I will see you Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. I think. I don't think there's any reason for me not to. Uh, Merry Christmas to every single one of you. You guys are fucking great. And this song is ending.